Gia. Yeah. Echo up in this bitch, man. Once again, <laughs> goddamn. They sell. And we on. I heard some something in the background. Maybe that's my shit or something. What's going down with y'all, man? Appreciate that super chat from Mark Wonderlick. Soon as we step up in this bitch. So let's go plant 100. Sunset Sherbet is on the menu. Yeah, man, I'm fucked up right now. I've been on this goddamn me, uh, this this OG sour shit. You know what I'm saying? Square Ben, I heard some kind of uh, feedback and shit. Yeah, I'm going to start at the top, though, man. My, my, my man Mark One licking this bitch say, you tie in the house, the Bears, hashtag LDBC. Kev Harris, what's up with it, man? Salute. Antoine said, let's go block fan tracks. I need that heat, man. You know, I already know I'm going to give it to you like God gave it to Moses. You ain't got to worry about it. So like button I already smashed, man. Definitely appreciate that. Mason Balu, what's up with you? Say, plan about to go to work on this fellow. Yeah, I think he is too. This motherfucker ain't nobody to go to work on, though. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no amateur background. But we're going to get into that shit in a minute, though. My man d Low 44 boxing in this bitch. Salute. What's going down? MZ Talk Boxing, a.k.a. Pecos Bill, the OG, what's up with it? Say, what's poppin'? Avery Yapendo, what's going down? Say, ready for this one. Salute to the corner. Gia. Moyo Sauce, what's up, man? Say, yes, sir. Hashtag LDBC. Tom Sauce, say, catch them sweet hands. Yeah, it's going down, man. We're going to see what sweet hands talking about. This is second title defense. Second person that he done defended his title against that wasn't worth a fuck. But we're going to see, though. Cypher Supreme TV, was going down, man? Say, salute, family block gang, goddamn. Hey, Tony. Tony Boswell, why you block Kim Brown? She she always come through, man. I ain't seen nothing wrong. All right, all right. Uh, Tom, where I'm at? Uh, Antoine said, I'm dropping my pick early. I don't know what round, but I got planned for the knockout. He should knock him out. This guy done been knocked out twice already. You know what I'm saying? He started fighting when he was 16. He done got knocked out twice. He got knocked out the first time in his second fight. And he got knocked out like 11 fights ago. He been on a 10-fight win streak, but he ain't been fighting nobody worth a fuck. Gil Coles was going down. Salute to the corner. I'm still hearing that feedback. Clyde X was happening. What's going down? Send get Jay. Say salute panel in the chat. Huh? I said, I don't hear nothing. I hear that shit, though. It's just boxing. Salute to the corner. Crush the legend. Salute. Emmanuel Momo, what's good? What's going down with you? Ray Ray, you know, say what time does the car start, man? This shit start in 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? We on Fox. Hey, y'all let me know if y'all hear some feedback in the background or if it's just my shit. Uh, where the fuck I'm at? All right, Kim Brown, she got her shit deleted. Say salute to the chat. What's going down? Tony Boswell say salute to the chat. I already spoke on the super chat. Appreciate that shit from my man Mark Wonderlick. Felix Nunez, what's up with it? Let my man Little Fee say salute Marlowe's Corner Trey X. Luke. MBT Boxing, what's up, man? My man down under. Mike James Boxing say salute, Marlon Trace. What's up with you? Hey, man, y'all let me know in the chat if y'all hear some feedback in the background because I'm steady hearing this shit. Cisco said Drew Hill helped me sing it. Okay. Emmanuel Momo, Z Kittles, and some granddaddy perp on the menu, goddamn me. That's what's up. Like I said, I got some of this sour OG, you know what I'm saying? How Mike said HBO uh, still will be here if they had a job, man. Definitely appreciate you coming through supporting us, bro. Mike Jane Boston said this is going to be a nice fight while it lasts. Plant for the knockout. All right, uh, Tony Boswell said, my bad, Marlo. Uh, thought it was a troll coming. Now, she's been coming through, man. We've been saying her for like at least the last three or four uh, fight calls, you know what I'm saying? Chris Rainer said he hears some, uh, he hears some feedback. SB State Shaw, what's up with you, man? So HBO lost Floyd from being cheap. And yeah, they also lost Floyd for shitting on the man. You know what I'm saying? Every time you do something, they try to put down his accomplishment, put down his fight style, say that he's boring and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? They did a bunch of shit to lose Floyd. Rafael Gooden, what's up with you? Say, what's up, fellas, Marlo and Trey X? SB State Sarge say, uh, salute to the chat. Rafael Gooden said he can hear it. And man, with Momo say, yeah, he can hear it. Rough House Boxing TV, salute to the corner all the way from Nashville and still, let's go champ. Hashtag sweet hands, hashtag block fam. Mike James Boxing say, yeah, he can hear some feedback. Appreciate this super chat from my man Tony Boswell. Say salute, Marlo and Trey X in the chat. Smash the like button and show support. Hell, man. And share Thanks, stop Ray hating Ray. this motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel still- what you say, bro? So do you still hear some? I don't hear it at the moment. I'll let you know if I hear it again, though. What you got over there? You gas my pump. See, I got some Skywalker and some um some acid OG. Some acid OG? 
Mm-hmm. That shit don't that, that don't sound like no pleasant shit. Some acid, OG. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, though. Some gas. Some gas. Mm-hmm. I need to try that Skywalker, man. SB State Shard said Harlem Hayes in my papers, guy. I ain't never heard of that Harlem Hayes, man. It sounds like a good sativa dominant hybrid or something, though. B Bad said, uh, planting six to lose to the corner. What's going down with you? Salute. Yeah, I... you about to say something, bro? No, I'm saying salute. I could I could see uh plant getting him out of there in six rounds. This guy don't have no amateur background, though, and he real stiff. He 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 fight like he a bodybuilder or something. He don't really throw a lot of straight punches. A lot of this shit be kind of looping and hooking and shit. It, it just look real stiff. You know what I'm saying? I can see the motherfucker like taking them jabs from Plant, then Plant open up their lead left hook like he did against Mike Lee. You know what I'm saying? I can see that happening. But this guy is very strong, man, and he's young too. So he's going to come and fight real hard. But I guess that'll be enough to get him to six rounds. I'm going to lock in with you, man. I'm going to say Plant to six. How you think the fight going to go, bro? I don't know how tough this dude is, but. I say if he is gonna get a knockout, it's gonna be late, six, seven round, probably eight. I don't know if he got a lot of experience in D Waters though. The motherfucker, uh, uh, thirty-one and two, I think I had saw. You know what I'm saying? He got twenty-eight knockouts, so most of the time he knocked the motherfuckers out. So I don't really know how much time he done spent in D Water and shit. Uh, King Louis up in this bitch. What's up, bro? Say salute to the corner and all the real ones. Goddamn me. Sir Ken, say Marlowe's Corner, salute. Salute to the panel and the wrenches, and salute to the chats. Smash the like button, got a little cookie. Hope I got a sweet too, goddamn, yeah. yeah. I, still, I, I still hear that feedback, too, bro. I started hearing that shit again. We all know Plant, uh, probably when I moved here. We all know Plant ain't even probably going there to knock off or present himself. He gonna, he gonna get it, but he gonna go in there for the UD anyway. All right, all right. Tony Boswell said he got playing the side of eight rounds. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lock in on that six though. Rafael Gooden say it sounds like you got it. Which one you what you talking about? Sound like you got it. YG Knight, salute to the corner, salute to the chat. What's up, bro? Tony Boswell said, Y'all know me. Then they 250 milligrams of great jolly jolly ranch and gummies, goddamn. I don't even know what to make of that, bro. When you say 250 milligrams, I don't even know what that means, but I know you probably fucked up over there on them edibles and shit. Hot Mike, what's up with it, man? Super glue over here. I had some of that super glue a few times too, man. That shit there, how you stuck on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Underground Asylum, uh, salute. Say salute, Marlo and Trey X. Another night with the corner and the fam. Yeah, it's going down, man, once again. You know what I'm saying? Champ Boxer, what's up with you? Welcome to the gym. This is your first time. Seen and unseen boxing. Say salute, Marlo's corner. Salute to the chat. I got some Z cookies. In my Swisher, goddamn. Y'all come with them exotic strains in this bitch tonight, man. Welcome to the gym. This your first time. SB State Short said, Call Purple Haze. The Dominicans grow grow it in Washington Heights, uh, New York City. They uh, That early 2000s, we the rare and mostly around the New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, New York City area. All right. Tony Boswell, Sir Ken said, Plant going in there with a switchblade. This guy got a lot of scar tissue. I think it would be a stoppage. It probably is going to be a stoppage, man. I, ain't, I wasn't even aware of the scar tissue, but I only seen this guy. I saw some highlights of him. They got a full fight of his on YouTube. I had checked that out. You know what I'm saying? I just tried to read about him. BoxRec said he ain't got no amateur background. He started fighting when he was 16. He just started as a professional. And, and when I looked at his BoxRec, he ain't fought nobody that was worth a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, HB State Sharp said, I got plant six round knockout. Said he going to lock in with that six round. Ali Dago, salute, say salute, fam. Plant about to tag this boy. Yeah, I, I think he is too, man. But like I said, the guy's strong, man. He real strong. So if he able to go in there and put some serious pressure on Plant, hey, we might see some, man, because when Plant fought against Uzgatagi, he got off to a great start in that fight. Dropped him with the left hook and everything. But as the fight went on, Uzgatagi was able to catch up to Plant a little bit and start landing some shots. Hell, and man. And when the fight was Thanks, done, Ray Ray. Caleb Plant's face was fucked up from all them shots that he was taking. You know what I'm saying? Even though it looked like he cruised along for like a relatively easy victory. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that super chat from my man Christopher Jernay. Say salute to Marlo and Crow eating ass Trey X and the fam. I'll be back later, man. Appreciate that, bro. Appreciate you sliding through. You know what I'm saying? Rafael Gooden said, sounded like he got the feedback out, but it but it is back. But it's not that bad. Okay, so he said it's not that bad. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And y'all don't forget, man, y'all content creators, drop your pics in the chat. 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be forgetting about that shit. It just hit my mind. Y'all subscribe to my man King Louie, Two Boxing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know exactly how many subscribers he got, but shit, let's get him to the nearest hundred. You know what I'm saying? If he had 200 something, let's get him to 300 up in his bitch. And y'all already know the same thing for my man D-Lo when he followed from this motherfucker. You about to say something, bro? Nuh-uh. Okay. I, I must be the uh, little feedback I be hearing when I be thinking that you about to say something sometime. The truth, salute. You know what I'm saying? Tony Boswell said he can still hear the shit. But he said it ain't that bad, though, man. So we're going to go ahead and roll with it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and skip this first fight, too, man. We just go ahead and just chop it up about boxing a little bit. I know that first fight got that Austin Dulé kid, but he ain't just no world beater. He already took an L to uh, my man, Little B Hop. That's what made me interested in Little B Hop, how he went out there and styled on uh, Austin Dulé ass. But I did see he was like 100 and and 20 and 13 amateur. I saw two records. I saw 107 and 13, and I saw 120 and 13. So he, he a motherfucker that can fight. He going to be in this first fight. So I'm just going to go ahead and just skip that and stay in the chat. And plus, I need to go get me some more of this uh this food that I was cooking early, you know what I'm saying? Because my, my calories and shit uh kind of low in this motherfucker. But what's going down with y'all, though, man? Everybody up in the chat, relax and shit. You know what I'm talking about? I want to. If y'all really just want to hear the fight call, though, you know what I'm saying, we can go ahead and let Marlo uh, call that motherfucker because uh, I don't think I can uh, call three of the motherfuckers the way that I want to, you know what I'm saying? The truth, uh, the truth say salute. I ain't mean to cut you out. What'd you say? I was telling the truth, salute. Raphael, yeah. they go salute, man. Yeah. And y'all don't forget, man, we back on that trivia and shit, too. We just had a little trivia that we did this past Thursday. The shit was a lot of fun. We're going to crank it back up and start having more tournaments and all that kind of shit, pay out prizes and all that. So y'all come through and fuck with us on that. Hey, I put the results of the last uh, trivia up on the community tab. Y'all want to check it out? I forgot. Who took that number one spot? Was that Ali Dago? Yeah. was number one on that list? Yep. Dago, Gil Coles, I think, second. Yeah, I know Guys Boxing Corner was up in that motherfucker. Hey, it was some fresh new faces, man. Some people that ain't, I ain't even know be on that trivia like that. Most of the time, it just be on Lawrence Williams type motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But we had a lot of fun, though, man. No, it was that Emil, Emil dude second. Emil Hesky was second. Oh, yeah, that Hesky. I think he might have been number one, and Ali Dago was number two. I think that's how the shit went. Type of Supreme salute, fam. G, appreciate that super chat, bro. Said, will it be another hometown jinx? Hell, man. I forgot Thanks, all about Ray, that Ray. shit. And <laughs> hey, yeah, y'all content creators, man. Put y'all up. Uh, don't forget to throw y'all shot up in, out in chat, man. Represent y'all Put y'all link in there. Get to know each other. He said, will it be another hometown jinx? I was going to say, well, this guy ain't got much of an amateur uh, background. But I forgot that Jason Rosario didn't have much of an amateur background. But the thing about Rosario, he had actually fought and beat somebody. He had beat that Justin DeLoach kid who very athletic uh, at 154 pounds. So he showed some evidence that he was capable of an upset. This guy that, that Caleb Plant fight tonight, tonight, I haven't seen nothing like that from him. He ain't fought nobody worth a fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Caleb Plant got the sweet signs, though. He, he boxed like a motherfucker. Swap House boxing salute. Tone Baker salute, bro. Sweet science, salute. Yeah, sweet science, salute. Welcome to the gym. Swafal, so yeah, salute. Gil Cole said the trivia was dope, goddamn. Yeah, man, we do trivia, trivia on the corner. And that was really light work, light work, you know what I'm saying? Because we came here and asked like 40 questions. Normally, we'll come with this bitch and ask up to 100 questions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we said, fuck it, we ain't going to take it to the university. We just going to start out kind of slow and work our way up. You know what I'm saying? Start out with some modern day shit. And then move into like some some more historical type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So that's what you can expect for the next one. But yeah, we getting back up in it though. Tom Baker, that's my brother from another mother, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. It was somebody else that was up in this motherfucker too. I think that was Mike Jane Boxing, man. Y'all go subscribe to his channel too. He got a good channel. Be making some funny videos and shit, you know what I'm saying? Capadonna, what's up with you, man? What's going down, goddamn? I, you know what? Like, I want to see this dude, like, defend his title and shit tonight. But it's a little bit, it takes the energy away because everybody going to be picking plant. Ain't nobody going to pick this guy. So I can't even tell y'all, throw your picks in the chat and all that kind of shit because I already know who you got. <laughs> Bang said, remember, folks, don't skip the ass when you edit the chat. It helps uh, monetize the channel. I think, matter of fact, 
You know, I think that's against the YouTube guidelines to tell people to watch them on them ads and shit, bro. <laughs> when <laughs> I think about it, you about to say something? Uh, no, I, I was gonna say, uh, Jesse Mark, uh, Jesse Mark, salute, fam. My man, little Feezy in this bitch. What's up, bro? Say su subscribe to Marlo's Corner. Definitely appreciate that shit. Jesse Mar say salute Marlo's Corner Tracks and the fam. Salute. Jacob Jennings, salute. Say salute Marlo's Corner Tracks. Adama, salute Kayla Plant is my pick. I just heard it real loud that time, bro. Little Feezy say subscribe to his channel, goddamn me. Definitely would appreciate if everybody subscribed to my man, little Feezy. That's champion first sports and entertainment. Chris Brown, what's up, man? Say salute to the corner, goddamn me, and salute to the chat. Goddamn me, uh, yeah, I see you down there. Shout out to the Young Gun Boxing Club in Dallas. Yeah, Pleasant Grove. The Boxing Creed, what's up, bro? Say, what a do, uh, fam team plant. Yeah, we're going to see what's up with it, man. Why not say what's up with it? You're going to check out some of this boxing and shit, man. Capadonna say, uh, what channel this fight on? It's on regular Fox, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just your normal, regular-ass Fox. Chris Brown say shout out. Yeah, I read that already. You know what I'm saying? He say uh, salute to Trey X. Yeah, it's going down, man. Hey, I, it, it, we getting real close to next week for the big fight, man. This goddamn Wilder versus Tyson Fury rematch. I've been up uh, trying to study the fight and shit, looking at the old fight. I might have watched it too much because I'm feeling kind of nervous, man. I hope this motherfucker don't go out there and upset my man Wilder, but I know Wilder going to be able to touch that motherfucker with that right hand and put him down. I hope he fight more at a measure pace so he don't burn himself out early in the fight like he did last time. Just come in, look for his moment, and explode on this motherfucker like he usually do. You know what I'm saying? K.F. Harris, salute, said he got a plan. Yeah, Cyber Supreme TV said, dumb ass up out of here. <laughs> you know, I don't even know what the motherfucker say. What he say? Oh, he down there saying this shit, motherfucker. <laughs> you can tell him anyway, though, bro. The fuck out my gym. You heard him? <laughs> God damn me, this ain't Showtime at the Apollo, motherfucker. We about to check out some of these fights tonight. We on this boxing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This Brown four five salute, fam. What's good with it? Yeah, we back up in this bitch, man. Hey, hold on one second, man. Let me go grab my little old plate real quick, and I'll be right back. Yeah. Hey, it's on Fox, Capadonna. Start at 5. 5 Pacific. 8 Eastern. Tony Boswell said, let's not forget, it was, it was the left that set Fury down. Yeah, it was the left that sent him, the right that, uh, the left that sent him down, right woke him up. <laughs> Oh, if y'all hey, hey, if y'all want to check and see how many uh, points y'all got up in the business, just hit that uh, that exclamation point uh, points, exclamation, and then put the p o i n t s in there, and it'll show you however many point how many points if you if anybody got some. We ain't figured out what you know how long we're gonna accumulate the points. Probably uh, every six months, and we're gonna you know throw something out to somebody with the highest points. Something like that. Chill. Rod X, what's good with it? Salute. What's up, my people? Salute, fam. King Louis, salute. Why not say the uh, left hook on Sleep Fury next, next weekend? Yeah, I believe so. I, I believe so. I think that's gonna be the weapon. I think the, the left hook to the body, um, the body work on Slow Fury down because uh, early in the fight, um, Wilder was going to the body, man. He just, I don't know, he just changed it up. But he was going to the body. And it, it, it was giving him rounds. I think like the, at least like the fifth, fourth or fifth round, he stopped um, going to the body. Started head, head, head on the more. <laughs> King Louie got one player point. Hey, you see that? I wonder how I did that though. We got D Lo. D Lo got 21. Haplotype got 20. And, um, Tyrone got 17. That's dope.
Hey, I ain't eat nine bit of crow uh yesterday, y'all. I know a few people ate that crow, you know what I'm saying? I already peeped. They quiet today. I ain't gonna say nothing though. We'll talk about it later. Oh yeah, the player, that's what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know how we uh you know that somebody had to throw, throw us off though, but you know how we be um doing the trivia and shit and be doing the um different little shit for the little giveaway. Well, we're gonna um do that with the points. I think like every every so often we're gonna whoever got the most points, you know, we probably gonna like I was trying to say, I don't know when to do it. It's gonna be some and we're gonna have to see how you know how to how everything come in, but it's gonna be something. We're gonna give away some whoever got the most points at the end of a certain amount of time. Raphael Gooden got two player points. I think the people that was at the trivia got a lot of points that night too. Whoever was in the trivia, check and see how many points y'all got. Because all them names, uh, Haplo was there, D'Lo was there. Yeah, we're going to yeah, we're gonna accumulate them, man. We're going to do something. Something fly. Because the top, top something, you know what I'm saying? I still got merch and stuff, a little bit of merch. Hey, what you think about that uh that zone car last night? That what? The zone car. Ryan Garcia and the motherfuckers. I mean the car was all right. I would like it the showtime car better, but um Ryan Garcia Fonseca took a chance early, man, and got slept. Straight slept. Shit was crazy. Uh Lenari's uh, performance was pretty cool though. You saw Lenari's fight? Yeah, I saw that motherfucker. The dude that he uh, fought, he started out looking kind of sharp out there on Lenares. But Lenares was just able to stay focused, man, and catch up to that motherfucker and start putting some hard shots on I remember when I saw that motherfucker pride vanish, too, man. I was looking at his face. I was like, y'all, oh, he's starting to crack. You know what I'm saying? And that motherfucker did. He folded under that pressure. And then uh, when I was looking at that Ryan Garcia fight, yeah, he stopped the dude with a check hook. But shit, we all know Ryan Garcia got a check hook. You know what I'm saying? He he do the same thing every fight, man. And they talking about putting him in there with Lenares in the next fight. They talking about like in July or some shit they said. I don't even remember. I think Lenares got a chance to go out there and beat that little motherfucker Garcia. Unless they fix the fight or something and there ain't no square business shit. But I think he got a chance to go out there and beat Garcia, man. I'm just not super impressed by that little motherfucker. And then after the fight, he over there acting like he'll fight Devin Haney or something like that. Man, that boy know. I'm glad I'm trying to get in there with Devin Haney right now. I'm glad you brought that up because that shit was fake. He called out everybody that's not with the zone, and then he said he's gonna save somebody with the zone for last. Yeah, I was like, this shit was staged, man. Get the hell out of here. The easiest yeah. fight is in the ring right now. Make it happen. I think it was fake for him, but I think it was real for Haney though. I think he really do want the fight. I think he think he can beat the motherfucker. Oh and yeah. And after the fight, you know, him and his pops they approached B Hop mm -hmm. talking about how they want to fight and shit. B-Hop wasn't saying what they felt like they wanted to hear. They like, fuck it, then we'll go to 140 then and we can't get no fight at 135. I think no dude really do want to fight. Yeah, that's why I said um, it was staged because Haney said, why you say me last? You know what I'm saying? He was kind of offended. And he's like, he's like, you must be scared of me or something. Then he went and got at B-Hop and asked B-Hop, man, why you say me last? And he was like, well, we're going to say the best for last. The easiest fight, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the easiest fight on there for them to make, man. Easy fight to make. Square bidding. Let me look in the chat a little bit. Picasso said in attendance, salute. I'm driving, but ear hustling, man. Appreciate you pulling up. Rafael, uh, curses, salute. What's up with you, man? Salute. Rafael Gooden said he missed the trivia, bro. We're going to be trying to do this shit like once a week, though. It's going to be like on a Tuesday or a Thursday, man. Be on the lookout for it. But we're going to try to do this shit at least once a week. You know what I'm saying? Tony Boswell, okay, talking to Christopher Jernay. King Louis said, I'm going to need a recount, goddamn me, on this point system and shit. <laughs> hey, the point system shit is new to me, too, man. I don't even really know nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Chris hey. Brandon said, you get points by watching and interacting in the chat, answering questions, trivia night, and by super chat, all right? Hey, it's crazy because uh, I think um, Chris was looking at it, he was like, damn, those motherfuckers that be in the chat be uh, – Interacting a lot, I guess they just went up on points because there was no points on there. Now it's a lot of points. Okay, Jared Eleven Green, what's up with you, man? What's going down with you? 
Gil Cole said Devin beats the hair jail out of right, of right guard still. <laughs> yeah, I think you do too, man. I don't think that same little move is going to be able to work. Like anytime somebody try to get on the inside on Garcia, he take a little half a step back and try to hit you with a check hook real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit ain't going to work on them top level fighters. Like, like it's a good move, don't get me wrong, but it's not. it can't be your only move. He can't resist people from getting on the inside on him. And I've seen that in just about every fight that he's had besides these first round knockouts in his last two fights. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really been fighting nobody worth for fuck. But I just see once he get in there with somebody that can put that pressure on his ass, it's going to be tough on him, man. It's going to be hard. Tough. You know what I'm saying? Jared, salute, fam. D-Biz, OG, salute. Let me go get my station ready. Tony Boswell said, I think Haney does want all the smoke. Yeah, I think he think he could beat him, man, because the dude, like, he been whooping on grown men and professionals since he was a teenager, you know what I'm saying? Y'all all know I boxed when I was young. I used to spar professionals when I was young, like 15 years old, but I wasn't whooping them. See, before we get in the ring, we already have an understanding. Like, my coach would tell them, just move around with the youngsters. You know what I'm saying? And we'll get in there and we'll just move around and shit. And, and, and they'll let me work on some things. But he was actually in there getting some serious sparring with these uh, champion, uh, well, not champion, but like uh, serious professional fighters. And he was holding his own up in that bitch, man, since he was a youngster. You know what I'm saying? They know about this. This boy got all kind of confidence, man. He he, he want all the smoke. d bit OG, uh, say peace, boxing fam. He said, listen, uh, catch y'all before the fight, so all right, man. Appreciate you sliding through. Tom Banger said, Trey's called his undercard fight, man. I was really gonna just try to chill, bro, uh, on the first fight and just try to chop it up because we don't really get a chance to really just talk to y'all that much. Like when we we don't we only go on one time a week and we'll go on 30 minutes early so we can chop it up a little bit. Then once the fights come on, you know, we just da 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 call it a fight and shit. So we don't get a chance to really just talk boxing, you know what I'm saying? Lesher, what's up with it? Said, what's up, man? Uh, just chilling, talking up. Gia, uh, what it do? Shit, we up in this bitch chilling, man. I'm going to keep a look out, though, man. I see this motherfucker, Diego Magdalena, fighting against this boy, Dulé. So I guess this like a, I guess I, I guess it's like a step-up fight for him. You know what I'm saying? Even though the best opponent that he's fought has been Little B-Hop. So I can't just really say it's a major step-up, but it's a step-up compared to the guys that he's been fighting, though. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what he do, man. La La D, hold on. Stop the presses. The woman of the hour too sweet to be sour. Vamos con Fiona. God bless the queen. La La D up in this bitch. What's up with it? What's going down with you? So myself, Trey X, homie. You seem like she might be trying to be slick throwing that little homie in there on me or something. God damn it. You know you was my, my digital valentine yesterday going on with that bullshit. DB OG said, all love on the love feeling good, but got to work the real ones understand. Okay. I guess I ain't real then because I don't know what the hell this man talking about. He said, all love on the love feeling good, but got to work the real. Yeah, I don't even know what you're talking about, bro. I think I ain't real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, appreciate the mess of frogs in advance from La La D. I'm damn sure going to try to earn them hoes. Jay Susan say, salute to Marlo and the family, man. What's going down with you? Y'all let me know, man. If y'all want me to call this bitch, I can call this motherfucker. If y'all want to just chop it up about a little boxing or something, we can do that too. Y'all, I don't say nothing. I just jump on that shit and start calling that motherfucker. While I did dropping these emojis, you know, I don't even, I'm not, I'm on this, uh, this tablet, man. So I can't see none of that shit. If I was on my iPhone, I could. You know what I'm saying? Gil Cole talking about that digital Valentine. Yeah, she knows she's my digital Valentine. She coming here talking about what's up, homie. She ain't never in her life came in this motherfucker talking about what's up, homie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, King Lewis say vote one. What that mean, man? What y'all typing? With that upside down exclamation point to say vote one. What that shit mean? My man Decane Dibs up in this bitch. That's social scientist, man. Goddamn long time no see. Boy, what's going down with you? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, what that shit mean, man? Everybody typing that shit. Cyber Supreme TV, Tony Boswell. La La D said, chop it up. All right, we got to vote for chop it up. DB and OG said, all love on the corner. I'm feeling good. Oh, you on them drinks. That's what it is. That nigga, that done cracked open and get some, some whiskey in this motherfucker. <laughs> no wonder, uh, I ain't know what the hell he was talking about. King Louis done typed that shit again, man. What, what do that mean? That vote one shit. Somebody explain this shit to me. 
La La D said, check my chest, homie, is my new word. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Hey, man, you know I ain't going around here trying to find what people is posting in chats and taking screenshots and all that shit. That ain't, that ain't for me. That ain't my job. Let's just say that's what the stream's saying to do. That's what the stream's saying to do. What the fuck you mean that's what the stream's saying to do? I don't even know what the hell y'all... Okay, you talking about the bot. You talking about the stream bot. Okay, so that's how they voting. They voting for who they gonna think gonna win the fight. So if you type one, you, you voting for plant. And if you type two, you taking Fagan butts. Or Fagan Burks, whatever the fuck his name is. Okay, I got y'all, man. I was confused as hell because this point system and this Streamlab shit and all that, that's that's new for me, you know what I'm saying? Tom Banker said, let's chop it up. Goddamn, let's chop it up then, man. Goddamn, me talk, uh, let's, hold on, D-Build OG said Platinum OG. Oh, you talking a lot, lot D got some of that Platinum? I ain't had none of that shit in a while, man, but I definitely do like that Platinum OG. That's one of my favorite strains when I'm trying to give me some rest and lay down somewhere. Let's just say Streamlab saying the vote Two means for plant. So two means for plant. Uh, you mean one uh one mean for plant and two for the other cat. Okay, La La D laughed and said, Yeah, that was dumb. Check my chest. Yeah, check her chest. <laughs> this woman crazy as the motherfucker, man. Uh lessons, yeah, Jill. Russell Hitchens, what's so we said fight fade gonna cause a big upset, man. I don't think so. I had gave the Yambiar a chance to pull off the upset against uh Gary Russell Jr. last week, man. I know I'm back in my right state of mind. Fuck that. I'm taking Caleb Plant. We ain't gonna get out there bad this time. Renee Box Young, salute. What's going down with you? So uh, what's up to the fam? Chris Ray said, Trash losing his mind. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm not what you talking about losing my mind. I'm saying I ain't losing my mind by picking against this motherfucking Caleb Plant. Goddamn, because I already know what time is gonna be. Renee Bajan said, I love y'all, though. What is this man talking about? Somebody slipped that man the X pill or something? Somebody done gave Renee Bajan a molly in this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he come here talking about he love everybody and shit, man. We got love for you, bro. Cyber Supreme TV said his name fucking butts. <laughs> he gonna get his ass whipped tonight, though, fucking around with those sweet ass. But like I said, though, man, he look like one of them fighters that live whites a lot and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But once I saw that he didn't have no amateur background, he turned pro at 16, and he just been learning on the job. But one thing I will say, though, the, the guy, he learning on the job. He young. He ain't but 24 years old. So he actually might get better as his career goes on. It goes forward. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you never know. Maybe tonight he'll take a big jump or something and, and cause some problems for Caleb Plant. But just, just looking at him, man, I don't think so. I think I got to Take Caleb Plant. I think Caleb Plant gonna knock his ass out. That motherfucker better have some boxing skills. Give a goddamn hot. How young he is. He about to get schooled tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Tom Baker said, waiting on some of this granddaddy diesel. That sounds like some granddaddy perp mixed with some sour diesel. That's a hybrid if I ever heard one, goddamn me. Renee Bajan said, Plant putting up a boxing clinic. I think he is too. King Lewis said, smash that light button and make a, a hater mad instantly. <laughs> Square Builder, man. Appreciate it for everybody. Hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, Renee Box Young laughing for this shit. Say you got a sister. You, I, I can't see the emoji mark. One of the little King Louis. Oldest Parker, man. What's up with you? Welcome to the gym. This is the first time. Say that motherfucker rolling, ain't he, man? Welcome, yeah. Man. Yeah, he on some of that goddamn MDMA. He on that real deal, Molly over there. Come in talking about I love everybody in here. Like, damn, nigga. God damn, we, we on that gas. Last time he came in, he talking about he don't smoke weed. But he said he'll pop in one of them mollies, though. Uh, Chris, uh, Cass, what's up with you? What's going down? My man, the King Deal, said his name is shit, uh, Firegen. Is that what you're saying? Firegen? Okay. Firegen boots. Firegen boots. Okay. <laughs> what's that shit called, man, when they, when they, uh, when you don't know how to, uh, pronounce a word? And then they put it out there so you know how to say it and shit. What's that shit called? I forgot the name of that shit. Uh, Kaz was going down. Chris Rainer said, Trey X, let the people watching on Facebook uh, to come on over to YouTube. We just got a follower from Facebook Live. All right, man. Shout out to everybody. If anybody listening on Facebook Live, goddamn me. Most y'all definitely. Y'all motherfuckers just make sure that y'all don't tag me in that shit, goddamn. I ain't trying to be out there like that. You know what I'm talking about? You about to say, bro? 
I was I was in most definitely. Shout out if you're listening on Facebook. Come on to uh, join the chat on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Tom Banger said, "Men, older women are greedy. Goddamn, here he come, he back. Goddamn, control your hormones, son. Control your hormones. You back up in this motherfucker, goddamn be the male gigolo. That's my man, Tom Banger, though, man. That's my brother from another mother. I keep on looking back at this fight and shit, man. It looked like uh." Magdaleno, he, he coming to try to win. You know what I'm saying? He just took a two-piece right upside his head from Dulé, though. Dulé a pretty decent fighter, man. Like I said, my boy Little B-Hop, Christopher Colbert, Prime Time. I think your yeah, Prime Time is his nickname. That motherfucker went out there and styled on this motherfucker, Magdaleno, man. So I got a chance to see him in a two-way street early in his career. That's what made me think, hey, this guy probably can fight a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right next to town. What's up? If I ain't said what's up to you already, bro, he said phonetically. I don't even know what the fuck that mean. What's right next to town talking about? DB and OG said, I'm done for a couple of hours getting ready for work. All right, getting ready for work. Say, he going to work fucked up. A day sports talk. What's up, bro? What's going down? Say, these dudes with these weird names getting their ass whooped. These dudes with these weird names get the ass. What are you talking about? You talking about the, the vegan, the uh. Fegan butts or summer. Let me scroll back up on that shit. How uh the Kane Deal said to say that shit. Fegan boots or some shit. I don't even see that shit, man. I done lost track of it. But yeah, he gonna get his ass whooped tonight, though, man. I can't even see nothing else that's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why I say, man. I hate like I like to see the champions and shit, but I hate nights like this when everybody gonna be picking the same person. I can't talk no shit. I can't serve no crow. But it might be good though because uh uh. I've been eating a lot of crow lately. You know what I'm saying? What this motherfucker say? You some for not showing the fight, goddamn. You's a whole ass nigga for not being able to watch this shit on Fox. My nigga, go get you an antenna. You smoke dope, don't you? You know <laughs> all about an antenna. Don't, you can't don't. watch the fight on regular Fox. <laughs> what do you say, bro? Go on, uh, jump. You yeah. smoke dope, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> go on, jump. God damn me. <laughs> Lala D said it means pronounced exactly as it's spelled. That's what that shit mean. That Rod X the Champ said. Lesha said he was asking your question from like five minutes ago. So that's what that shit meant. When I said how you, uh, that shit that you put up to pronounce a word, that's what it means phonetically. That sound like I might have heard that word, man. My vocabulary ain't just the best, though. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? A lot of D talking to the to the ghost smelling motherfucker said nobody on YouTube can show the fight. Nah, we can't show no goddamn fight, man. This dude can't even go get the antenna. He tripping out there. Look at Renee Bosch Yard talking about Izzy is tripping, man. He tripping bad. Square bit of DB and OG say you already know, Trey. Yeah, he going up in that motherfucker lit. I ain't mad at you though, bro. Akil Man Mandin, welcome to the gym. This is the first time. I don't even see his emoji, man. So I I don't even know if I should be saying welcome to the gym, but shit. What's up with you, man? What was going down? Cypher Supreme TV is crackhead. Yeah, yeah, you smoke dope, don't you? Goddamn me. Jacob Jennings, let your uh, Tony Boswell laugh and said, I ain't ate crow in weeks, man. I wish I could say the same thing, but I ain't going to. Hey, I done had a couple of some some, some picks that, that went unnoticed. Like when I picked that cat, that mirror drawn dude to go out there and upset that boy like two weeks ago, that champion. Well, I can't even remember his name. I think his last name was Roman or something like that. I done got me a few picks to slide through, but I have been eating a bunch of crow, man. I got to keep it 100. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? My man, the KD, will say, you smoke crack, don't you? You go kill yourself. Go do it expeditiously. Yeah. <laughs> Real shit. Cass said he only got uh, UHF channels. I don't even know what that means, bro. What that acronym stand for? God damn me. Renee Box Young said, what the heck? Is whatever buzz record. It's like 31 and 2 with 28 knockouts. He took he, he got his his two losses have been by knockout, both of them. The first time he got knocked out was in his second fight. Uh the second time he got knocked out was 11 fights ago. He been on a 10 fight win uh streak ever since then. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had no amateur background. He started fighting when he was 16, just went straight pro. So he learned it on the job, you know what I'm saying? And really when I thought about it, when I looked at all that. It made me have a level of respect for him because it's hard to just go straight pro without having no amateur background. But I was reading some shit about David Benavidez. Uh, Marlo had asked a trivia question. 
kind of related to this shit. And he was talking about why he only had 15 amateur fights. And he said one reason is because his pops gave him a, a professional style. And, uh, and another thing, a lot of fighters, like, when they in the, in the amateurs, they pick up bad habits. And I, that made me think. And I was like, yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, let's say you, you got 200 amateur fights, but you making mistakes and shit, and you practicing bad habits. Yeah, it's good that you got 200 amateur fights and you've been seeing different styles, but at the same time, you've been practicing bad habits for 200 amateur fights. So, then, you know, that kind of made me think a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to have that pedigree, but it's also good to have a good coach where you ain't out there making all them mistakes and shit, you know what I'm saying, for 200 fights. Tom Bangles said, oh, that motherfucker in jail on a prepaid phone. Yeah. <laughs> Square minutes. A kid, a man, that gave me a thumbs up. Hey, so I guess he cool. That remind me of something that Derrick James said because he said that when he got with um hooked up with uh, Earl, he was already beating people just off athleticism. You know what I'm saying? So he had that. He just put the tools in uh, uh boxing, the fundamentals of boxing in, at, you know, pro boxing too. Earl style was a pro as an amateur, and he still got far with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's true. He damn sure had a pro style. And that pro style is might have what prevented him from going further than he did because it take him a few rounds to really get everything set up the way he wanted. By that time, he'll be behind like a Sarek Sepiav or a, 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 a Zam Kavoy or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Renee Bajan said, me tripping? I'm clean always, man. I'm just fucking with you, man. Hey, if you want to be around me, man, that's just how we are. We going to talk shit. It's cool if y'all talk shit to me. People that came here and said all kind of shit about my ass. I don't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't sensitive in this motherfucker. That's why me and El Finichi get along so good. That motherfucker be talking all kind of shit. Y'all got to hear some of the shit he say when we ain't online. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that goat smell motherfucker too in case he listening. Jacob Jennings said he can use foil in the hanger. Yeah. <laughs> he needs a, something, man. This shit is on Fox, my nigga. And he come here talking about can he see the fight. Cypher Supreme TV said this uh this Naker trying to watch the fight on a big a big back TV with a paper clip in that motherfucker. Yeah. Renee Bashian said, of course, for sure. Respect to all fighters. Yeah, we got respect for the fighter. Tom Banks said his name is <laughs> nah, I ain't even about to read all that shit, man. Hey, don't even put that nickname in my mind, bro. You gonna fuck around and have me saying that shit while I call the fight. King Lewis said, what channel of the fight on? It's on regular Fox. Regular ass uh, fox, garden variety fox, is what I call it. Chris Rayner said, I ain't even gonna lie. If I ain't using free TV trials, I got the paper clip with a little bit of foil. Goddamn me. I don't even know nothing about that shit, bro. Y'all talking about paper clips and some foil and shit. Oh, man, that's, hey, that's, that's how you get your uh, TV to have good reception, man. What you talking about, Trey? You don't know nothing about that. Yeah, I don't <laughs> even know nothing about that shit, man. Yeah, back in the day, we used to have to put the, uh, the, the paper clips of the foils on the broken antenna, man, to make that shit work. Unk them broken antenna, man, used it for his you-know-what. <laughs> <laughs> I done heard of that, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I, hey, we always had cable and shit uh, when I was growing up. It might not have always been legal cable, but we gonna have some kind of cable, though, you know what I'm talking about? See, we watching all the pay-per-views and everything. I know y'all remember that old school chip you used to put in an old cable box. Yeah. And we getting everything. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we used to have a box. Yeah. Renee Bajan said, I know Big Trey. It's all love. Yeah, it's all love, man. I ain't never meaning no shit by it. Some motherfucker come through here and be mad, though. Be on the panel and everything. Then they'll jump off the panel. Then all of a sudden, we got a dislike on our shit. Because I done made them mad. I done hurt their little feelings and shit while they was on the panel. Get your little sensitive ass away from me then, goddamn, because everybody that know me know how I am. That's just what it is. Even when I go to the boxing gym, I'm going in there talking shit. I'm calling niggas out. I'm whooping you, 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 and you today, goddamn me. All that kind of shit. That just, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I am, but I don't, I don't be tripping, though. The Kane Deal said, good point about the pro style trade. That's why I cry. <laughs> this motherfucker, this is first day. His first night back in this bitch, he already coming at me with the shit. So good point about the pro style trade. That's why Crawford was 58 and 12 with the amateur, right? Right, goddamn me. Hey, man, let me think about it a little bit, man. He think he done played the big joke on me. Y'all know how y'all come here thinking y'all done played the big joker, and it's really the little joker. Let me find that big joke on his ass, though, man. Goddamn. I guess if I got to give some credit to Earl, I got to give some credit to this guy. But goddamn, Earl was a lot better than 58 and 12, though, bro. I mean, that just, that's, that's a little too much for me, man. 
Goddamn me, Renee Box. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Trey Fall on the antenna. Good back in the day, man. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that, but like I said, we always had cable. It might not have been legal cable all the time, but we had some kind of cable. Mark Wunderlich said, we all digital here in Utah already. Goddamn me, King Lou. Renee Box Young said, Big Trey, uh, you trained in a boxing job. It's been a while, man. Well, I ain't going to say it's just been a long time, really. What knocked me out the boxing gym was YouTube. I started YouTube in March of 2018, and that, that pretty much just took over, like, all my free time and shit. You know what I'm saying? So YouTube is what killed me in the gym, but I'm still in shape, though, because that's just part of who I am. I'm always going to be working out and, and staying on, you know what I'm saying, staying on point. King Lewis said Magdaleno letting them hands go on his motherfucking ass, man. I ain't even peep back in a while to even see that shit. La La D said nothing more beautiful than illegal cable. You ain't bullshit, man. Square business. And that's that's really what made me just like go all the way in on boxing. Because I started getting involved in all the pay-per-views. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, you know, when I'm young, we'll order some like like really like when I was real young, we would order all the Mike Tyson pay-per-views. But after that, it kind of slowed down a little bit. But once we got that illegal cable, I started watching every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? And then I started having access to HBO and all that kind of shit too, man. So that's when that's when boxing really uh took off for a motherfucker. My man Joe Brown, hold on, all rise for the honorable judge Joe Brown. What's up with it, man? Say uh salute Marlo and Trey X. What's going down with you, bro? Salute, bro. Y'all subscribe to his channel, Massive Well Movement. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Renee Bosch Young said, oh, okay, I used to train and spar here in Mexico in a local boxing gym. Trainer used to train with Juan Manuel Marquez. All right, that's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of motherfuckers in the, in, the, in, the, in the boxing community that ain't never picked up no glove, man. So that's what's up, man. I like when YouTubers and shit have actually been in the boxing ring and done something. Go spar, do something. You know what I'm saying? La La D says, salute Earl Spence. Can't wait to see him again in the ring. Yeah, that's real shit. I can't wait to see the motherfucker. I've been uh, reading some shit saying that he in remarkable shape. You know what I'm saying? Say that he been getting it in. But it kind of made me worried about him a little bit because I had read one where the motherfucker say that Earl been in the gym every day, like seven days a week. And I know he got a lot of motivation right now to come prove people wrong. Because, you know, some people saying that he might be finished. Some people saying he damaged goods. So he want to come back and get in the ring with a good opponent. And he want to prove everybody wrong. Well, not prove him wrong, but he want to show everybody what's up off the top. So they saying he training like a motherfucker. And I'm just hoping that he not overtraining. Because, goddamn, I know you, you want to get in there and do your thing, but you still got to rest, though. You can't train seven days a week. I don't know how true it is. But just hearing that kind of made me worry. Like, I hope he don't overtrain himself trying to prove something. My man Bonton said, I D-Town in this bitch, man. What's up with it? Said, we up in here already. King Lewis said, Dulé don't like it to the body. A lot of fighters don't. Hey, I see Magdaleno stepping to him, though, man. Hey, ain't this the same Magdaleno that fought against Tiafimo Lopez about three or four fights ago or something like that? I think it is. I think I remember him being it, a southpaw and shit. I think so, too. Yeah, because Lopez was able to find some nice counter punches to put on Dulé. But I ain't just been watching the fight, so I can't judge it too much. But every time I look back, I see Magdaleno trying to put the pressure on Dulé. But Dulé just landed a nice little combination and walked off on the motherfucker. Excuse me. King Lewis said, I haven't slapped a motherfucker in a year or so, goddamn me. What you mean, in real life or with a wrench? Muhammad is the one with a wrench. What's up with it? Said, oh, he went back on mute and shit, man. But we chilling, though. Hey, salute, fam, salute. I'm, yeah, I'm over here watching the fight and shit. Yeah, Renee Bosch Young said, yeah, I remember seeing bright spots with getting punched hard in the face from sparring. Makes me really respect all fighters, man. It's dangerous. Absolutely, it's dangerous. <laughs> shit, I done seen more than some, some bright spots in that motherfucker. Hell, I saw the whole ring transform into uh, uh, some clouds one time. The whole ring turned white. Hell, yeah. I told y'all before, man, I got in there with this Mexican dude that was old school. Motherfucker hit me so hard, nigga. I thought about breaking out running. I was like, God damn, y'all know it's fight or flight. Hold on, who the guy dropped? Was that a low blow? Oh, it must have been a low blow then. Yeah. Hey, but King Louis said he already don't like them body shots, though. He said he already don't like them body shots. Uh, Renee Bajon said, I also cracked the real spar. These cats don't play spar down here. Yeah, you down there in Mexico, too. The Mexicans, they be big on, on their body work. But me, luckily, 
And the, the whole time I boxed, I never was in the ring with a body snatcher. Like, I ain't never been hurt to the body before. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know that shit sound crazy, but it's just the truth. I ain't never been in with a body snatcher. And plus, it just seemed like I was just tough taking body shots. I done had people just teeing off on me to the body, and I let them. And the shit just didn't hurt me like that. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I could say I got lucky. Uh, Tony Boswell said, Dulé is letting them stay on the inside too much. Okay. Uh, Rod S. Champ said, what is Plant's amateur record? That would be 97 and 20. 97 and 20. Yeah, King Dulé, Lewis, Dulé worried about counterpunching, man, way too much. And um, letting Magdaleno get them points. Probably lost his ram. They ain't take no point from Magdaleno. Okay, okay. King Lewis said, uh, uh, he fought Lopez last year. Okay, I thought it was like two fights ago, three fights, something like that. Okay, uh, King Lewis said, Dulé got saved in this motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I didn't see what put him down and shit, but when I look back, it looked like he was concerned about something, you know what I'm saying? Lala D said, I think we can trust Derrick James, even if Earl is over ambitious. Yeah, you know what? But you know what, though? That's actually a little harder than what you might think. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, some fighters like Earl Spence, when they grow up and they learn about work ethic and shit like that, like, they really be wanting to use that shit. And sometimes trainers got to tell motherfuckers, like, hey, man, get your ass up out of here. You know what I'm saying? You done already been around the little old circuit and all that shit, and now you trying to go through it again. Like, nigga, you gonna burn yourself out. By the, when, the, when the fight get here, you ain't, when you try to do something, your body ain't gonna respond because you done left it all in the gym. Get your ass up out of here. That's actually a little harder, though, man, because some fighters just like that. They like to work hard, you know what I'm saying? In a situation like this where he got something to prove, that motherfucker probably ended up working his ass off in that gym, man. But I hope I hope you're right, though, and I hope uh, Derrick James can pull back the reins on the motherfucker and tell him, hey, man, chill out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get there. Renee Bajan said, yeah, uh, body is really the worst punishment. You got rock hard abs straight. <laughs> I ain't gonna just say I got uh washboard abs and shit, but I got I got some pretty good uh ab muscles and shit. I got a pretty strong core, but I'm, I'm real good at getting the air out of my body before I take uh body shots too, though. You know what I'm saying? Because a motherfucker can't knock the the wind out you if you already got the wind out. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of them old uh martial art type of techniques that I learned when I was young, and I think that probably helped a little bit. But I still never got hit to the liver. I ain't never, like you said, I ain't never cracked no rib. I ain't never went through nothing like that. Um, Mark Wunderlich said, the last time I seen stars, some bitch hit me. Then I beat a man and his two friends, god damn me. It's a, he done beat three men in, in one night. I done had a night like that. I done fought three motherfuckers in one night. That's why I don't be listening to dudes, man. Like, like even like boxers, I don't really like listening to them too much because two lips and say anything. And I know all of y'all that have friends that be like, hey, man, if we go out there and some shit pop off, man, I'm in there. I'm out there. You know what I'm saying? And then I had one of them nights and I ended up fighting three niggas at one night and I got three niggas with me. You see what I'm saying? So that made me like, man, fuck it. I ain't even trying to be listening to what motherfucker got to say. Uh, King Lewis said, Dulé might be ready to go. He might be ready to go. God damn, say this, hey, this the year of the upset, huh? I see Magdaleno putting that jab on his ass from the sample stand, pushing him back to the ropes, rip some body shots on his ass, came upstairs with the fold. God damn, yeah, he over there trying to put some shots on this boy, man. Dule out there looking like he kind of doing some running right now. <laughs> King Lewis said that motherfucker might be ready to go. Nitty G, what's up, man? Salute. Renee Bachion said, Big Trey, what's your body weight, man? Right now I'm about 180. I'm a little bit higher than I like to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> I like to be probably around 175 at this age. You know, so I'm getting up there a little bit. Your boy about 35 now. So I'm talking about about 35. I am 35 years old. King Lewis said he beating Dulé ass out there, man. That's what it's looking like. Hey, man, but you know, that's how it is when you fight those southpaws too, man. Those southpaws can, can present some problems. Like, I want y'all to think about the boogeyman that's been in boxing in the last few years. Think about a Demetrius Andre, Southpaw, Gary Russell Jr. I know some of y'all say that he clout chasing, tanking, all that, but there's been a lot of fighters that didn't want to fight Gary Russell Jr. That's a Southpaw. Look at Luis King Kong Ortiz at heavyweight. People don't be wanting to fight him. Another Southpaw. Look at Guillermo Rigondeaux. People avoided him for years. Another Southpaw. Like, if we sit up here 
and we think I'm pretty sure we could come up with at least a, another half a dozen or so southpaws that have not been able to get the action that we think they deserve. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's still it's still alive and well, man. Goddamn me, the southpaw is like the modern day uh, black murderers roll up in this motherfucker. Tony Boswell said, "I just thought Dulé without boxing. I thought he would too, man." But you know the Magdalenos, they got amateur backgrounds too, though. I don't know Jesse Magdaleno's amateur record, but I done seen other fighters uh, beat him in the amateurs. Though. I can't remember the names, though. It seemed like it might have been somebody like a, uh, Jesse Vargas or something. I can't remember. But I saw that they was fighting good fighters in the amateurs. So I can't be too surprised that this motherfucker showed up to fight. I don't know if I said what's up to El Finici with his ghost smelling ass already, but what's up, bro, if I have it? Renee Bush, you know what I said? I also remember spawning a guy who weighed about 45 pounds more than me. He punched me in the stomach and my heart literally vibrated. <laughs> it sounds like you standing in front of these motherfuckers too much, though. Uh, Renee, goddamn, you got to get out there and box a little bit. But I got to say, though, man, I was blessed. I ain't saying my man's name in a long time, but I had Lynn the Bullet Ball that taught me boxing, man, because before shit, I would basically fight Mexican style. You know what I'm saying? But when I met my coach, man, Bless his heart. <laughs> he taught me boxing. He taught me how to hit and not get hit. And that's when boxing became fun. Mark Wonderlick said, that happens to me, Trey. It's three fans with me. I got jumped by three Polynesian motherfuckers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Motherfuckers always talking about what they going to do. El Finici said, yeah, I'm about no talking. Happened to me. Happened to me, too. Got jumped at Red Bird Mall and had six motherfuckers with me. <laughs> what I'm talking about, bro. I don't even be wanting to hear this shit, man. Motherfucker talking about what they going to do and all that shit, man. Show me something. Lala D said, my rules, sorry. Maybe you were joking. Five minutes, I don't even know what she talking about. She might be talking to somebody else. I don't know what she mean by that. Bontan said, Luis Ortiz, I had said him. Who is this dude lay on the ground and he counting, man? It's my man, fucking dude like getting his he, ass whooped. And this would be the fight that I choose not to call in this and he got that nigga body brittle as hell, man. He go right down. So any reaction on the yeah, building. Magdaleno not. still digging on body shots. Back up step with two more shots. Dooley had to get his ass up out of there. God damn, Magdaleno stepping to him on the sapo jab. I right, looked like some decent defense from Dooley that time. He had to get his ass up out of there, boy. <laughs> Real shit. Uh, Renee Bajon said, actually, I use a lot of footwork just at times. I would get caught. Okay, it's part of the game, though, man. You ain't going to playing in the rain and don't get wet. Dulé is on the ground again on his hands and knees. God damn, he looking like Luis Ortiz when he fought against Wilder in the first fight. The middle body shot. Massacre. He about to count it as a low blow. Oh, you count it as a low blow? I hope that don't deter the motherfucker from going down there with them body shots, man. Because he doing some work. Mark Wonderlick said, down goes Dulé. Down goes Dulé. Jack of Jenna said Dulé is getting caught, man. Nitty G said Dulé getting his ass whooped out there. Mark Wonderlick said, yeah, he down again. He about to, he, said, damn, poor Dulé. He about to quit. <laughs> he going to quit? He going to quit, watch. He Jay about to Cooley, do Amir Khan. Up, Amir Khan all over. Jay Cooley, what's up? Say, I swear to God, if I ever get jumped, it's Call of Duty on site. <laughs> <laughs> Salute, Jay Cooley. Yeah, if it needs that trade transition smooth into that play calling, goddamn. Yeah, Renee Bosch Young said, who the heck is Dulé? Dulé was a decorated amateur. If I'm not mistaken, Dulé had two fights against Shakur Stevenson. They was two and two. I think he won the first two and Shakur won the last two. He also had a fight against a, a little B-hop, Christopher Colbert, as a professional and shit. It was only an eight-round fight. He pretty much got styled on, but like I said, he was a decorated amateur. I saw two records. One was 107 and 13, and the other one was 120 and 13. I'm leaning towards that 107 and 13 being a real one. It might have been uh, the record without the walk on the walkovers. Uh, okay, Mark Wonderlick, hold on. Lala D said three Polynesians beat him with pineapples, goddamn. Mark Wonderlick said on the belt line. Okay, it was it was on the belt line, so that shit should have it should have been legal then. ADA Sports, I said, Trey X almost start calling the fight. I almost start calling, man. It would have been. I, you know what, what made me not start calling? Because I done already missed a lot of the good shit. So I just said, fuck it. I might as well let it roll. But that motherfucker, Dulé, is getting stalked like a woman on Lifetime. Magdaleno digging on body shots. God damn. Man. Uh, Mark Wonderlick said, uh, took a 
took a I don't even know what you mean by that, bro. King Lewis had Jack Reese on that bullshit talking about that shit was a low blow when it was really good on the belt line. Tom Banks said, God damn, his granddad's the diesel is righteous, god damn me. Go ahead and hit that shit, man. Lil Fee said, Dude, they making my city look bad, man. What's your city, bro? What's your city? Uh, Cypher Supreme TV said, I'm going to have to drop a frog on that shit. <laughs> yeah, I should have called this shit, man. I'm dumb as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'm over here being smart because I regretted not listening to my first mom last week. And this this week, it looked like I should have been calling that motherfucker. Seen and unseen. I said, them body shots killing that boy. Hey, man, they say head shots make you mad. Body shots make you quit. So it is what it is. Nitty G said, I pray to God that Jack Reese is not the ref next week, man, for sure. Square business. I think uh, Wilder going to take everything out of everybody's hands, though. He's going to take it out the judge's hands, the referee hands. Ain't nobody going to be able to help this motherfucker Tyson Fury. Nitty G said, I pray to God. That, yeah, I read that. I'm tripping. Jacob Jennings said, do lay down again. Derrick Bailey, salute. What's going down with you? King Lewis said, call that salute. shit. Salute. Salute. Yeah, man, this nigga do lay his fucking weak, weak as a knee, man. I picked that whole weak ass nigga on the Chan Raw shit, too, man. I did, too. Weak in his knee. That one was a, them, them um two when he said uh whoever said it was right it was right below it wasn't like I ain't saying it was a low blow but it wasn't no no uh growing shot it was like a thigh you know what I mean hey but you know what though that's one of them old tricks though where you hit a motherfucker on the thigh and shit to slow him down yeah yeah you know what I'm saying hit him hit him on the hip flexors and shit like that so I guess it's good for a referee to speak on that if that's where he hit the motherfucker because. That can make your opponent slow down, take that mobility. It just boxing. Salute to the corner. Was going down. Jacob Jennings said the check engine light on. Do lay ass out there, man. God damn. King Lewis said nine to eight for Magdaleno. I guess that's what he's saying. That round with the uh, the point deduction or something. I guess they took a point. All right, little Fee said he from Nashville. I ain't know that motherfucker do lay from Nashville, man. My one lady said my bad. He took a point. Okay. Renee Bajan said, it's fun chopping up with y'all, though. Trey, yeah, definitely appreciate you coming through, man. You know what I'm saying? A little feed said, Dulé got 615 on his trunks. Okay, that's the area code. Jacob Jennings said, Magdaleno, low blow, low blowing ref, called him out on it. So he low, uh, shooting them low blows out there. Mm -hmm. El Fenici said, facts, it's, it ain't going to matter. Bomb squad, goddamn. I hope so, man. Y'all know how I am when water fights and shit come. I start getting all nervous and shit. But it is what it is, though, because Wilder, you know, he a bad motherfucker in these rematches. You know what I'm saying? He is not kind in rematches. So hopefully the trend continues and he go out there and knock his ass out like I, like I know he can. Seen and unseen boxing said hop shots. Hold on, hop shots take away um, body shots, take them legs away. Yeah, them, what, what are you saying? Hop shots? I ain't never heard that term before, if that's what you mean. To say hop shots, but yeah, them shots on the hip flexes on the thighs and shit, man, they definitely can take your legs away. You know what I'm saying? Tom Banks said, This nigga got me eating crow. That's what I'm saying, bro. This bitch ass dude got me over here eating crow on the Chan Raw shit, man. And, and, and Rough House got out to a big ass lead on me and Marlo in the first week. He beat us by like 30 points. So I got to catch up to this motherfucker, man. I don't need to be eating no crow. The uh, dead game boxing said, What station is the fight on, man? This shit is on Fox. It's on regular ass Fox and they out there fighting like a motherfucker. Normally I would be doing blow by blow commentary, but my dumb ass decided to take this fight off and focus on the last two fights. But they out there squabbling though. Uh Nitty G said, Do they need to press the action? Shit, that don't look like that's part of his makeup though. It looked like he just a person that tried to be like safety first in the ring. Renee Bajan said, One more week, folks. One more week. Gia is going down. Iceberg nerd, salutations, man. What's up with you? King Lewis said, do like crying in there from shots to the head. He crying from everything now, huh, man? <laughs> Eric Law, what's up with you, man? He said, can't wait to hear hard right hand from Wilder. He's not getting up next week. Yeah, it's going down, man. Appreciate you coming through. Shout out to the Netherlands. That's my man, Mark Blake. Peace. What's up with you? Seen and unseen boxing. Oh, hip shot. I mean, I'm dumb as fuck. I couldn't even put two and two together and, and say and think that you mean in hip shots, man. I'm dumb as fuck, but yeah, I got you. Real shit, man. Make it hard for a motherfucker to move. Jacob Jennings said, Dulé is hurt. He can't get into this fight. Shit, what you mean he can't get into it? Motherfucker better think of something. Getting your ass whooped like this, man. 
on national TV. Like that motherfucker, uh, uh, Roger Mayweather said when May when, when Floyd was fighting against a Tiro Gotti. I told y'all he was gonna get his ass whooped on HBO. You know what I'm <laughs> talking about? Tony Boswell said Dulé ain't even throwing, man. See, yeah, he, so that sounds like a motherfucker that's in survival mode. You know what I'm saying? You don't even want to throw no punches, man. Don't even want to open up at all. El Finiti said that Garden Variety Fox, absolutely. Lala D said Wilder will win rounds too. You think he go out there and win some rounds? I thought he won some rounds when I went back and watched the fight again after I watched it the first time. Because the first time I thought Fury won the fight. And then when I watched it again, I had Wilder win in like seven, eight, seven to eight rounds of the fight. You know what I'm saying? So I thought he was able to win rounds in the first fight. So hopefully able to win some rounds in this one too. Raw Raw said, I want to see Canelo fight for the unification with Charlo and Andre. Boxers must fight the best. Absolutely. I agree with you 100%. Welcome to the gym. This is your first time. Frederick uh, Didier win. I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Uh, ADA Sports House said, Jack Reese always saving motherfuckers out here, man. Real shit. Hey, yeah, he was, he was the referee in the first fight, huh? When Tyson Fury got his ass knocked out. Then he jumped up and put his put his arms on on Reese's shoulders and shit so he can steady himself and get his balance back right. I had forgot about that shit. King Lewis said, Wilder said, one week don't blink, goddamn. He also said he wish he would take a loss in Black History Month, goddamn it. So yeah, we coming to get this victory in this motherfucker. Excuse me. Uh Jacob Jenner said Diego is using his jab and using the one-two combination. And it looked like he going to the body too. Well, obviously he going to the body, but it looked like he put a big focus on the body. Look at that. Touch with the jab, went to the body with a phone on his ass to the corner of the real cage. That motherfucker, the <laughs> doula had to get his ass up out of there, boy. That body shot hurt. It looked like he was towards the liver area too. Then he came upstairs with a double jab and a short enough hand right upside the motherfucker's head. Yeah, man. He putting some hard shots on this motherfucker, man. Real shit. Like I said before, man, I've been saying it all year. This is the year of the upsets. We've been seeing multiple upsets, man. So it looks like the trend is going to continue. It seems like just about every fucking fight card that we've done, done this year, it's at least been one upset. Whether it's been on a televised card or it's been on the preliminaries, it's been an upset in this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 2020, man. PBC wrong, put wrong. you in tough. Look, keep saying it. PBC put you in tough, man. Yeah, been saying that shit forever, goddamn. That's why I like the PBC, man. Raw Raw said first time on your site. Thanks, man. Definitely appreciate you, man. Uh, we just checking out this first fight, but uh, you know, we do blow by blow commentary, man. So come through on the next one in the Cater Plant fight for the, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna show you what we about on our channel. King Lewis said Magdalena won this fight. Easy work out there, man. Easy work, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my boy King Lewis, man. He over there got a player channel, you know what I'm saying? Talk that boxing. That motherfucker know a lot about boxing too, man. King Lewis, smart dude. Elfin, he said, Trez can't resist, man. Yeah, he be kind of hard looking back seeing that shit, you know what I'm saying? I just feel kind of weird about putting an incomplete uh, product out there. Nitty G said, this dude, Dulé, not even throwing punches, man. Cash said, Dulé take body shots like AJ. I didn't even know AJ had problems with body shots. I ain't even think about this shit. He made me think more like he take body shots like Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman shit, he'll get up and break out running if you touch him with a body shot. Joseph Brown said, bang that light button, man. Definitely would appreciate that. Tony Boswell said, damn it, I thought Dulé would win at home. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's been a lot of fighters getting upset at home, man. That's been that's been what's going on, bro. Seen and unseen box said, I done found me a new corner to post up on. Y'all talking that ish over here, man. Definitely appreciate you coming through, man. Real shit. Mark, uh, Mark Wonderlick said he'll be back. All right, man, we're going to be here on this gas. I'm over here fucked up. Been on this sour OG all day, man. I've been to <laughs> man, man, I took me one to the dome earlier, man. What'd you say, bro? Man, that whole, this home, what's this, this home court jinx home? Ring jinx ain't no joke for these motherfucking fighters, man, especially these young ones. Yeah, Shit, you know, shy to throw a punch around. He just want to counter punch the whole goddamn round. Gonna have a nigga eating crow around this motherfucker. See, but you know, some uh, it, it kind of makes sense though, because some people they react to shit differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got some football team, like, everybody think if a football team play at home, they automatically 
have the advantage. And that's not true all the time. You have some teams that play better on the road than, than they do at home. See, when they play at home, they got a lot of pressure on them to get tickets and, and all this kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? And they got they, 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 they got their side piece and they see over there stressing them, you know what I'm saying, the kids and all kind of shit that they be thinking about. When they go on the road, they'll just tighten up and come together as a team. I imagine the same thing would be with these professional fighters. When they at home, they got pressure. They got family that's watching. They got family that want to get tickets and come to the fight and all that kind of shit. If they go on the road, they might like tighten up, like the the hostile crowd or something might make them might make them go to another level or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of makes sense, man. Fighting at home put a lot of pressure on you. BP salute. Say what to do. Back in this bitch once again. Call these fight. Marcus Johnson salute. What's going down with you? King Lewis said Magdaleno hasn't fought since losing to Tia Lopez last year and then her whooping Dule. I guess that might have been good for him, though. But Tia Fima Lopez put a hell of an ass whooping on this boy, uh, Magdaleno, man. You remember when he hit that motherfucker with them, uh, I think it was three left hooks to end the fight. It was a lead left hook, lead left hook, lead left hook, and knocked his ass out. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, man, he got an amateur background and shit. I don't know his record as an amateur, but like I said, I saw that he had fought some people as an amateur. So he got that muscle memory and shit, man. So it, when you got that kind of muscle memory, taking long layoffs don't hurt you that bad. Look at Gary Russell Jr. This man fight one time a year, and we don't never see him with no ring rust or nothing. He looks sharp every time he fight, and he fight one time a year, man. So, you know, we got that muscle memory. It be like that sometime, man. You can, you can take some time off and come back whooping ass. You know what I'm saying? BP said, yeah, he whooped his ass. Who whooped his ass? Which one are you talking about? I don't forgot what the hell I said. I, I said I'm on this gas, man. I'm fucked up. <laughs> well, who you say whooped his ass, though? Mark Blake, uh, said, I mean, Mark Wonderly. Why I keep calling this man Mark Blake, man? Mark Wonderly said he back in the house already. Okay, Lala talking to Mark Blake and shit. All right, Dulé came on top of that jab with the left hand and some more shots. Then he walked off on him in the southpaw stand. Look like he's trying to fight back a little bit, but you know, that's how them curs do, man. You know what I'm saying? The cur, he'll get his ass whooped all night, and then he'll come back and fight hard in the last round. And make us think he done done something out there. You done got your ass whooped all night, and now you want to fight back. That motherfucker Magdaleno kind of busted up, so he done took him, well, not busted up, but he kind of swole up a little bit, so he even took some, took some shots. You know what I'm saying? BP said, uh, Tia Fima, okay, yeah, he did put a hell of an ass whooping on that boy, Magdaleno, man. He put some hard shots on the dude, man. He was able to land the counter left uppercut and shit. And, and, and I know that this guy, he ain't no Lomachenko, but it made me think Tia Fima had a little shot against Lomachenko when I watched him fight Magdaleno. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw that he had counter punches that he was able to land on the southpaw. That's not easy to do. But, you know, Tiafima Lopez, 150 and 20 as an amateur. So he another one of the motherfuckers with that muscle memory. All right, uh, Raw Raw said plant wins in four rounds. Fegum Bus is a bum, period, goddamn me. Yeah, like I said, bro, uh, he started fighting when he was 16. Like, he started as a professional at 16. No amateur background. He get knocked out in his second fight. He go on the win streak. He get knocked out 11 fights ago. He on a 10 fight win streak right now. But if you look at his opponents, them motherfuckers ain't nobody that you ever heard of. They record's not that bad. Like it was motherfuckers that were 25 and 3 and all that kind of shit. But it was people that ain't never heard of. And plus, they wasn't in the United States. They was over there in Germany and all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? But he 31 and 2, 28 knockouts. But he ain't really been in there with nobody. He ain't got a lot of experience in the deep water. He ain't got no amateur background. I mean, shit, I, I got to lean toward Bum too, bro. I hate to say it, you know, I got a little respect for him because he's he literally started from the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Now he's fighting on Fox against Caleb Plant for the championship, so I got a measure of respect for him, though, but he ain't nobody to be reckoned with, though, that's for sure. King Lewis said, this dude lay best round. Yeah, that's what, they, that's what them curves do, man. They say the best for the last round that they ain't been doing shit. Jacob Jenner said, dude lay just waiting for the fight to be over. <laughs> that's the definition of survival mode. My man CSMHB J Dog in this bitch, man. What's up, bro? Say salute to the chat. He just gave up, in my opinion. That's what Chris Brown said. He done gave up in this motherfucker. Salute, King fam. Lewis. Look at Rough High. King Lewis say, Dule looking for help out there, goddamn. It sound like that BG. Somebody help. 
Goddamn, Nitty G said all of a sudden Dule wants to fight. That's what I'm talking about. He a cur. That's what them curs do, man. Chris Brown, too little, too late. Absolutely. Tony Boswell said Dule just couldn't take them body shots. Well, shit, that's part of boxing. Goddamn, he need to tighten up. He need to, I guess he need to get uh uh get somebody to beat his body with some bamboo sticks or something like John Claude Van Damme did on Blood Sport. You know what I'm saying? Tighten, uh, toughen him up a little bit. Seen and unseen boxing said ain't nothing worse than the ass whooping at home man, in front of your mama, your girl, your grandma, your pops. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's some that's some shit. <laughs> I remember I got my ass whooped in front of my mom one time, <laughs> like a like a real legitimate ass whooping in front of my mama at a at a, at a, a amateur fight one time. That's the only time I ever seen my mama look weary. She had a hand over her mouth and shit. I was like, damn man, that shit was not no good feeling, man. But it is what it is. You play in the rain, you're going to get wet. That's part of the game. Look at Rough Hat. What's up, bro? Sergeant Box. You on mute. He's saying something. He on mute and shit. He at the fight, y'all. Uh, Rough House is at the fight right now. He at the Caleb Plant fight. Uh, Ali Dago said, Plant beats Canelo if the judges are fair. He got action because he, he mobile. You know what I'm saying? That's uh Canelo don't like fighting against mobile fighters and shit. He like fighters to, to stand in front of you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he got a good chance to beat the motherfucker. I think him and Billy Joe Saunders both got a chance to beat uh Canelo. But that's one fight that I wouldn't want to see though. Plant versus Billy Joe Saunders. Would now mother would now one of them ever hit each other. They'll just be moving around the ring. You know what I'm saying? Wookie Wook, what's up with it? Say salute, goddamn me. What's going down? Lala D said, uh, hey, where is Bobby Jean? The queen they call Bobby Jean. Said, I haven't seen her in a minute. She, she came through like about two weeks ago or three weeks ago or something like that. You know what I'm saying? She slid through. King Lewis said, smash that like button, man. Definitely would appreciate it if everybody hit that like button and subscribe. Jacob Jenny said, they slug in the last two seconds in that motherfucker. That's what's up, man. I hate that there was a good fight right there. And I ain't even called the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is Dude, what it is. Dule got the most tenderest ribs and abs a motherfucker ever seen in the boxing ring. And he said he got some tender ribs, some baby back ribs, huh, man? Jacob Jenny, I read that. Raw Raw said, what you think about Charlo versus Andre? Who wins your point of view? Shit, man, I got to lean towards Andre, man. Andre had over 300 amateur fights, man. And, and, and I know this is your first time coming here, but I'm a big fan of amateur boxing. Because you can see a lot, man. You see good fighters fight other good fighters on a regular basis. And this motherfucker, Andre, had over 300 amateur fights. He was whooping them Eastern Europeans and shit in the international competition. He's a bad motherfucker. He ain't had the professional, uh, you know, experiences that we want him to have. But I don't think he's that far behind Charlo, though. But don't get me wrong. Charlo was a fighting motherfucker. He was 65 and 6. He was a toe injury away from going to the 2008 Olympics. He can fight too. Got all kind of power and shit. Underrated counter puncher. Got a nice stiff jab. I don't really see the lead right hand that I would like for him to have to beat Andre. Though I thought that Carbov had a pretty good start against Andre in a fight. Some people felt like Carbov beat Charlo. I don't agree with that. I thought Charlo beat him, but I felt like that the southpaw style gave Charlo a little bit of problems. So I feel like. Andre should be able to uh, give him some problems too. The only thing though that give me cause for pause is that uh, Karboff had a, a nice lead straight left hand because he's a real southpaw. See, Andre is a converted southpaw. And whenever you see them converted southpaws, it's hard for them to throw the, the, the straight two. Like if you're like if you a southpaw, it's hard to throw that sh a, a straight left hand. So Andre, when he throw the left hand, he be kind of looping and hooking with it a little bit. He don't really throw it straight. So that's the only thing that give me cause for pause, you know what I'm saying, as far as stylistic, though. But I think it'll be a good close fight. I would lean towards Andre, but I'm also open to the idea of, of Andre doing well and Charlo catching them late, like in the 10th or the 11th, make the motherfucker do a dance and get his ass up out of there. I think that's a possibility, too. But I would lean towards Demetrius Andre defeating Jamal, uh, Jamal Charlo. That's the way I see it. Wookie Wookie, so y'all just seen that Dulé fight, man? Yeah, man, we saw it, but I ain't even called the motherfucker with my dumb ass. The LJ fighter, what's up, bro? Said Marlo's corner trade, what's going down? See, we on this good gas, man, catching these fights. The queen, they called Bobby Jean, goddamn, said she here. Well, make your presence known a little bit more, lady. You know, we, we want to see you in the chat. Hey, 
This fool do late thought he won. Man, Ray Charles knew you lost, sucker. <laughs> Stevie Wonder could see that through Ray Charles' eyes, huh, man? Hey, Vittorio, what's up, bro? So I used to see my brother smoke smoke him in the amateurs in the pros was a different story. So you used to see his brother smoke him in the amateurs in the pros. It was a different story. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I've, I've been in the gym with guys like that. Like, I'll be talking about my man, uh, Americo Santos. He was amazing when we were young, man. Like, like he used to whoop everybody that came through our gym. He'd go out there and give them the business. I don't give a fuck if it was a pro, if it was an amateur. He was going to whoop their ass. He was a two-time national champion. But when he fought, when he went to the prof- the professional ranks, it wasn't the same, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just didn't look like the same fighter. He had fought some guy named, uh, God damn, I can't even think, uh, Martez Logan. And this guy was like 20 and 19 or some shit like that. And he went out there and knocked America ass out. You know what I'm saying? But I, but he one of them examples of fighters that had a lot of amateur background, but he was doing, he was making a lot of mistakes in the gym because his dad, that was his trainer, and he didn't know shit about boxing. He learned how to train boxing from reading books. And that's what he was using to train his fighters. A fucking book. You know what I'm saying? So the shit caught up to him when he turned pro. Uh, Joseph Brown said Dulé fought lazily, didn't move his uh, didn't move. Hold on, didn't use his movement. He stood right in front of him, flat footed, and got beat up in this motherfucker. Man, it's a goddamn shame. Uh, Jacob Jennings at Marlowe's corner, he got bored reels out there. Them old tender, they falling off the bone. They so tender. <laughs> he took a bath in vinegar this morning, huh, y'all? <laughs> yeah. Bonton said, Deton said, Magdaleno was one of the best amateur fighters in America, finishing finishing his amateur career with 120 and 16 record in 2009. Okay, 120 and 16 for Magdaleno. I got you. I'm gonna remember that. That's the motherfucker that taught me uh uh, Bre- uh Danny Jacobs amateur record. He came in and told me he was 137 and seven, man. So appreciate my man Bonton said, Deton 120 and 16 for Magdaleno. Raw Raw said, I'm with you concerning Andre. Yeah, I got to take Andre over, over Charlo. But it'll be a close fight, though. It ain't going to be no walk in the park for now. One of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm talking about? One of us going to be eating crow that day. We're going to have to serve it up then, man. You know, we got some good gas. We'll have a munch. El Benicci said, that's a close fight, but I'm with the shit. Boo-boo that is. Yeah. <laughs> All the shit. What that motherfucker say on, uh, on Tales from the Hood, bro? You want the shit. <laughs> the doo <Yeah>. doo. <laughs> La La D said, "You got your asthma pump over there." Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you say you got some acid OG and some Skywalker OG on the motherfucker. Wookie Wook said, "Dude, Lake got his ass whooped out there, man. That's what it looked like. That's what happened." To shit. Eric Law said, "Dude, they look surprised he lost." You know what I'm saying, you motherfucker? You know what time it was. King Lewis said, "Ain't no way, Dude, they thought he won the fight." That clown trying to act surprised, yeah. Seen and unseen box said, did Dulé really looking like he got robbed? Iceberg Nerd said, Dulé trying to pretend he's surprised. Yeah, pretend he's surprised, huh? Mr. PBC said, who won, man? That'll be, what's his name? Jesse Magdaleno? One of them Magdaleno boys, man. One of them Magdaleno brothers won. Wookie Wook said, gave Dulé that Sean Porter ass whooping, man. Nitty G said, Dulé got his ass whooped, so I don't know why he looking like that after the decision. Wookie Wook said that, uh, Beat that boy ass like Porter. Child abuse, goddamn, yeah. Uh, uh, my man j Dog said, Dulé acting like he's shocked, yeah. That shit done really resonated with y'all, motherfucker, goddamn. Me. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You got your ass whooped out there, boy. King Lewis said, smash that like button, man. Definitely would appreciate it if everybody hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. My man, DeCane Deal said, Magdaleno got Tia Fimo out here looking even better right now. I was thinking that shit too, bro. That shit did cross my mind. It was another fight, man. You just made me think of another fight where a motherfucker, uh, a dude, a, a fighter beat a guy, and then that same guy went out there and got a good win, and it's making the other guy look better. But the shit is not, it's not uh, coming to my mind, though. But that's real shit, though, man. K of Harris said, I'm back and rocking that Sasquatch OG. God damn, everybody come here with a new strain. Man, what is Sasquatch OG, man? God damn, I ain't never heard of that shit. They come out with a new strain every day. King Lewis said, Diego Magdaleno. Yeah, yeah, Diego Magdaleno. Y'all know I'm bad with them names. What I said, Jesse Magdaleno? Is that his brother or something? Because I thought it was like, like three of them motherfuckers or something like that. DBOG said, I got uh, Andre over Charlo. 
Okay. Damn, I'm surprised. Ain't nobody said they picking Charlo yet. Shit. Uh, La La D said, I'm going to be nervous, but it will be a win-win situation for me because I like Jamal too. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, uh, even above all that, man, we just love boxing. So when it's uh, two undefeated championship-level fighters getting together for a good fight like that, and I, I think it'll be a unification because uh, Charlo got WBC and the other cat got the WBO. But y'all know I'm sorry as hell with them belts, man, so I might be wrong as fuck, but that's just something to be excited about anyway. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no loser in that situation, even if you eat crow, because we got a chance to see history being made. You know what I'm saying? Uh, KF Harris said, PNW strain. What is that? A PNW strain. I ain't never heard of that, bro. The queen they call Bobby Jean said, uh, she got Charlo over Boo Boo. It's just, <laughs> y'all got me saying Boo Boo, man. She got Charlo over Andre. It just been on the field that I had. Well, shit, it, you might feel a hard right hand coming to the motherfucker chin or something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at you, man. Anybody that feel like Charlo going to win the fight, hey, it is what it is, man. Both these fighters, they in their primes. I know Andre, you know, he kind of getting towards the end of his prime. I hate to say that, but he like 32, so he getting up there. But Charlo, and you know, he, he in his prime. Both fighters in their prime. Both fighters are very good. Both fighters undefeated. They very strong and shit. Uh, both of them got skills. I mean, it's a good-ass fight. Good-ass fight. The Kane Deal said, Trey, what you think about Ryan Garcia performance against Fonseca last night? Did you compare it to Tanks and Farmers? I, I couldn't really get much from it, bro. I saw him hit the motherfucker with a check hook, and that was the end of it. Like, like if I watch Ryan Garcia and I get something from it, that's by that's him being able to maintain his range because that's what I saw him having trouble with. Whenever I saw fighters that like to get on the inside and go to the body, they was able to close the range and get on the inside on him. So that kind of disappointed me, especially since he a 215 and 15 amateur. I would think he would have more ability to keep you at his range that he prefer you at. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he came out there, hit the guy with like a check hook type punch. I see that every fight. I already knew he had a check hook. It was just will it was just whether Fonseca could take the motherfucker or not. Obviously, he answered that question. He can't take it. So I didn't really learn much about Ryan Garcia, bro. I, I gotta see some more. But I, I, but from what I've been seeing in the past about him not being able to maintain his range, I even saw that in sparring. That made me think that that goddamn uh, Lenares, I think Lenares will go out there and get that boy hell, man. He might go out there and upset the little motherfucker. Cypher Supreme TV said, off topic, but I got Devin Booker from the Sun for the three-point contest and Pat Conn from the Bucks for the dunk contest. I hate to say it, bro. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know who the contestants are and shit. I don't even know who the last guy that you just said either. The Pat Cotton. It seemed like that sound kind of familiar. That that white dude? I don't know, it, man. I don't know. I don't even want to be up here looking stupid. Derrick Bailey said, I got Andre in the fight also. I said, he's going to take skill. King Louis said, I don't do fairy tales. Uh, Andre wants no smoke. Okay, man. I, it seemed like I remember some time where he, he at least act like he wanted some smoke. But hopefully we will get a chance to see that shit, man. Jay Cooley said, Andre might be suspect on the chin. I don't know. The nigga look chinny. Okay, y'all, you know, uh, he got dropped by Von Ash Martin Royson with a straight left hand. But, you know, that was at 154. He a pretty big guy. He like 6'1 or something like that. 154 might have been a small weight class for him, so he might have kind of drained some of his cerebrospinal fluid and, and a lot of his hydration and shit, so that might have had an effect on his chin, you know what I'm saying? So he might be a little bit stronger at uh, middleweight than he was at junior middleweight. But we'll see, though, man. We just have to see. Excuse me. We have to see. Uh, where I'm at? J-Dawg said Charlo gonna smoke Andre ass easily. He gonna smoke him easily, man. Get off the gas with that shit, J-Dawg. This man got over 300 amateur fights, bro. All kind of muscle memory. This man ain't about to get smoked out there easily, bro. This ain't gonna be no walk in the park from now on up. Iceberg there said, why this nigga got a suit on? He must mean business. Oh, yeah, the next the next fight, now I gotta get ready to call this shit, goddamn me. Wookie Wook said, I still don't like what I see from Ron Garcia. I ain't just super impressed with it, bro. It is what it is. Hey, you, you know what, though? impressed with that motherfucker. I, I think that Charlo going to bring the fight out of Andre, and we're going to just see how, what Andre really about in that fight, man. And I, and I think that he ain't got it. Andre got to use angles, but I think he can. All right. <clears throat> Let me see who is who. Perella. Perella and Ramos. All right. Perella shot a little paint out there. 
Tried to jab out there from the southpaw stand. Still shooting super to faint. So upstairs to dash there with the faint. Upstairs with the jab. Once the body with the jab, step back of the ring. Ramos stepped in with the jab of the right hand. Looked like it fell short. Perella got back on that jab. Stepped in with the lead right hook. Went to the body with the jab this time and pushed it back to the ropes. Back on step with the jab again from the southpaw stand. That's Perella. Ramos right there in front of him, trying to size him up a little bit. Perella stepped in with the jab this time. Stepped in with the jab again. Little bit of head movement. Bobbing the weaving. Stepped in with the jab. Tried to spit the guard with the jab again. But these shots is coming up short. Ramos just staying cool and calm right there in front of him. All right. Perella looking for opening, touch with the jab, spit the guard with it. All right. Got Ramos in the neutral corner right now. And they brought out there uh, kind of told the total way South Paul's orthodox fighters be doing. Perella stepped in with the jab. Stepped in with the jab again. Ramos thought about throwing that looper right hand. He didn't pull the trigger on the throw. Perella with the jab. Lee right hook off the jab. Back to the body with the double jab this time. Lee left hand for Perella, but it looked like it fell short. Back and step with the jab. Lee right hand for Ramos. Looked like it might have fell short. Back and step with the jab. Stepped in with a stiff jab this time. That's Ramos. Here comes Perella with a lead left hand type of punch from the South Paul stand. All right. My bad. A minute and 50 seconds left to go in the round. Perella shot a little faint of him. Out there, probe with the lead hand, looking like a fence in this motherfucker. Ramos over there, sizing him up, looking for opening. Here comes a jab from Perella. Back and step with a double jab this time. That's Perella. Trying to split the guard with the jab. That's Perella. Stepped in with a double jab and straight left hand. That's Perella. But Ramos stepped back in the range. Perella went to the body with the jab. Back and step with a knee right hook on his ass from the side of stand. Knee right hook to the body from Perella. Back and step with a straight left hand. That's Perella. They in the center of the ring right now. Perella shooting the super defense at them over there, stepping to him. Ramos over there, sizing him up, looking for opening. Knee right hook from Perella, but he didn't commit to it though. I right? Ramos side little fan of Perella. Perella back up, step with the jab. Stepped in with a double jab this time for the sapper stand, push it back. Looper right hand for Ramos, but he missed it though. Perella stepped back in the range, real cool and calm. Then went to the body with the jab this time to the corner of the real cave from the sapper stand. That's Perella over the seven to him. Ramos shooting the series of fans at him. Perella stepped in with the jab and stepped back in the range. Looper right hand for Ramos and the straight right hand and backed him up. Came on top of the jab with the left hook this time. That's Ramos. Jab to the body from Perella. Back and step with the right hook type punch at Perella. Straight up hand Perella. Stop jab with his ass from Perella. He stopped his progress with it. Need Hand on from Perella from the Sapo stand. Came up the top of the devil. The devil was on from the Sapo stand. Looping left hand right on the chin from Perella. D right hook on his ass from the Sapo stand from Perella. Back to the fight with the, with the three. That's Perella. Came with seven the left hand. Ramos trying to fight back. Perella stepped in with the jab. D right hand on his ass from Ramos. Back and step with the devil this time. That's Ramos over the step to him. Perella shot the jab right there from the Sapo stand. Posted up in front of him. Cobra with the lead hand looking for an opening. But Ramos over the step to him. Over there trying to advance on Perella. Right. Straight left hand for Perella. Ramos went to bite with the four. Back and step with the four again. Double Jabbing straight up here, straight down uh, Broadway on his ass from Perella and came back with something. Left hook to the right from Ramos to back the month. Didn't even hook his ass from Perella. Came back with the two this time, this Perella. Touch with the jab as he exited the, uh, the pocket. Touch with the jab again. Need right hand for Ramos. Perella with a check hook type punch. Got back on the jab. Got back on that stick. Here comes Ramos trying to catch up to him with something. Perella ducked up under that shit. Short left hand from Perella. Left hook to the right from Ramos. Came back and step with the jab at the time. It's the end of that round, man. It's the end of the first round. All right, bro. What you think about that shit? Man, this is gonna be a long night for Ramos. Man, Perella got uh, he, he got a uh, a nice jab. He throwing the right punches. He throwing the lead here and there. He changing it up on Ramos. And Ramos is making it's hard for Ramos to figure it out. It looks like he just coming with his head for it, just getting that that chin check. Uh, Perella round. Yeah, man, that motherfucker. Uh, Ramos. I mean, Perella seeing all the openings, and the shit just look real cool and real smooth. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't look like he really having a, to uh, extend himself too much. He just, yep. just landing these shots on that motherfucker, man, real smooth. Appreciate that Mr. Fryles in the chat. Chris Brown said, uh, I don't know why he wore this suit because he not TCB. I don't even know what that means. Tony Boswell said he got Pharrell one to nothing for sure. Can't get right, said, uh, okay, talking to social scientists. KF Harris, man, appreciate that Mr. Fryles in this motherfucker. Get some more water. It ain't looking like the first fight we're looking, but they out there trying to fight a little bit, though. Appreciate that Mr. Fryer from a man type of print TV. Uh, the Kane Dip said, uh, I guess Perella really does mean business. Yeah. All right. They both out there pulled with the lead hand a little bit. All right. Ramos trying to catch up to Perella. Perella on that stick. Came back with the jab again from the sapper stand. Back to the body with the jab to the corner of the real kid. That's Perella. Knee right hook on his ass from Perella. Step back at the range. Stepped in with a double jab this time. That's Perella. Ramos trying to bob weave a little bit. Stepped in with a right hand this time. Perella got back on that jab and shit. Stepped in with a jab. Looping left hand, but he missed it though. Check hook on his ass from the sapper stand from Perella. Straight left hand from Perella. Knee right hand to the body from Ramos trying to get on the inside. They got tangled up. Perella working the left hand, the free hand, and the missing the clinch. Uh, 
Ramos trying to fight back, trying to dig a little body shot on his ass, then push him up off of him. Then Perella stepped in with the jab this time for Sabastan. Spit the guard with the jab on his ass again. That's Perella. Knee right hand for Ramos. Perella with the counter left hand. Ramos came back with the counter left hook on his ass. Perella got back on that jab from Sabastan. Knee right hand for, per uh, for Ramos. And Looper right hand. I might have fucked up on the names right there. My bad. All right? Perella shot the jab right there. Trying to go to the body with the four, but he misses though. Dumping up on the right hook on his ass. Ramos came back with a hard right hand. Perella got back on that jab and shit from Sabastan. All right? Trying to mesmerize him a little bit. Knee right hand to the back from Ramos and push it back. Perella came back from the left hand, but he missed that. Back on stab with the jab at the time. Looper right hand from Ramos and brought back the hook, but he missed the hook. Looper left hand from Perella, goddammit. Then Perella came with the left uppercut, brought back the right hook, dug a few body shots on his ass and turned him. Got back on the jab and shit. I right? right hand on his ass from Ramos and back his ass up. Looper left hand to the back from, from Perella. Back on stab with the straight left hand, that's Perella. The blood is trickling out the nose of Ramos right now. Ramos fight back. Came with a with the fold. Brought back the three on his ass. He over the stalk of Perella. Perella shot the jab right there. Went to the back from the left uppercut. Right? But he missed it. Back on step with the double jab at the time. That's Perella. Right? Leave right hand for Ramos. Goddamn, where you going? Back on step with the jab on his ass. Perella had came back with something. Straight up hand for Perella. Straight down. Juan Luther King. Right? Here comes the right hand for Ramos and they got tangled up. It's a minute and 11 seconds left to go in the second round. Jack Reese just had to talk with Ramos. Here comes Ramos over the step to him. Got his hands are good. Loop it up hand for Perella. Right up a cut from Perella. Came back with the hook. Rip body shots on his ass and came back upstairs for some more shit. Then they got tangled up. It's 56 seconds left to go in the round. Both are working the free hands in the midst of the clinch. All right? Ramos just pushed him back. Now he over the step with Perella. Got his hands up good, kind of squared up right now. Perella shot the jab right there from the side of the stand. Shot the jab right there again, but he ain't committed to it, though. Loop enough hands to the back from Perella. Back and step with the jab this time. That's Perella. Ramos tried to come back with something. Perella stepped in with the jab. Short enough hand on his ass from Perella. Ramos said he ain't going nowhere. Double jab beside his head for Perella. Back and step with the jab. Jab again, that's for so it's center of the ring. Short enough hand for Barella. Hit him with a check hook type punch. The exit stayed right. Here come Ramos on the catch to him. Sack hook from Barella. Came back with the loop of left hand this time. Step back in the range. Put that jab on his ass. Right? Lee right up a cut from Perella. Right? right hand to the body from, from Ramos. Ramos caught that left hook and brought it back with the missing. Straight left hand from Perella. Then he walked off on him. Lee right up a cut from Perella. Ramos putting that jab on him. Lee left hand from Perella. Then he turned him back towards the center of the ring. Jab with a loop of left hand around the guard from Perella. Ramos got back on the jab. Jab with a straight right hand from Ramos this time. Perella looked like he took it well though. Right there in front of Ramos. Straight left hand from Perella, but he missed it. Loop him right hand from Ramos. And it's the end of that round, man. Appreciate that best of frauds in the chat. We start with you, bro. What you think about it? Man, um, Perella is taking a, a grave advantage of the 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 holes and the weaknesses and uh, what's the name? Cause he, Ramos looking like he frustrated, man, just walking up to Perella like that, and he ain't really throwing no punches. He just walking up in the high guard and just getting him straight left, straight to the bust of his nose and everything. Another Perella round. Yeah, yeah, Ramos. He ain't even thinking about the lead foot dominance and all that kind of shit. It'd be good if he threw more lead right hands. Mix it up. Lead with the right hand to the body. Lead with the right hand to the head. Kind of like Salido did when he fought against Lomachenko. This guy just walking straight to him. He ain't, you know what I'm saying, he ain't using nothing. Uh, appreciate it if everybody hit that like button and subscribe too, man. Appreciate all them frogs and shit. Get a little bit more water. When he come in, he set himself up to throw one punch and get pieced up. Straight fool. Yeah, yeah. He gonna have to make some adjustments in this motherfucker, man. He can't just keep walking in the front door on this guy. This guy got some pretty good accuracy and shit, and he got sense to throw shots around the guard and shit. He coming up the middle. He's stepping in with the lead right uppercut and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Action back of the way. Ramos over the step to him. Jab to the back from Ramos. Jab to the head from the south. I stand for Barella. Stepped in with the double jab to Tyler Perella. Right hand to the back from Ramos. Check hook from Barella. Lead right hook to the back from Perella, but he misses it though. Straight left hand for Barella. Looper right hand for Ramos. Double up on it. Look like Perella might have did a little dance. Shot the jab at third. Shot the jab at third again. Jab to the body again from uh from uh Perella. Back and step with the jab. That's Perella. Got that good knee flex in this shit right now. Shot the Jab at third, threw it from too far away. Shot the jab at third again. Looper left hand, but he uh missed it. Threw it from too far away. That's Perella. Ramos went to bite with the right hand. Left hand to the bite from Perella. They got tangled up a little bit. And Ramos just pushed him back. All right. He over the step to Perella. He right hook to the bite from Perella. He ain't had no steam on it though. Touch with the jab, then they got tangled up. Perella trying to work the left hand, the free hand in the midst of the clinch, pushing it back to the ropes. Came with the left hand. Going to the bite with the right hand. Then he uh exited the pocket. All right. Here come Ramos over the step to him. Perella spit the guard with the jab. Back and step with the jab again. Another jab from Perella. All right. Ramos over 
when they tried to catch up to him. Jab was side to head for, for Perella. Back up, step with the jab again. That's Perella in the side stand. Ramos over there crashing at the waist a little bit. Stepped in with something. Check hook type pump from Perella. Walked off on him. Back to the body with the jab. The time is Perella. He right up a cone is from Perella. From the side stand, they got tangled up. Perella hit him with a short left uppercut in the midst of the clinch. Then they uh, broke themselves. All right? Jab from Perella. Jab from Perella again. Here come Ramos with a jab. The time trying to cut the ring off on Perella. All right? Perella posted up. Jab him straight left hand from Perella. Hit him with a D right hook type punch so he can work his way. Uh, goddamn, Canada's hand was there from Perella. Bro, back the right hook and Ramos did the sauce in this motherfucker. Perella came in with like a five punch combination. Ripping shot to the body. Back and step with the left uppercut. Loop left hand. Pushing it back to the rope. Getting physical with him. Ramos started to push it back. Perella with a two punch combination. Ramos trying to wave him in. Perella put two shots on his ass. Loop left hand and grabbed the guard from Perella. Slick the guard with a stiff jab. That's Perella. He right there front of him. He right hook from Perella. Went to the bottom to right hook this time for the sapper stand. Touch with the jab this time. That's Perella. Back and step with the jab again. That's Perella. Ramos trying to bob weave a little bit. Straight left hand from Barella got back on that jab and shit. Ramos trying to catch him to him with a lead left, left hook type punch. Barella was surviving the loop with left hand. Back to the bike with the four again. Loop a right hand around the guard from Ramos trying to come back with the left uppercut. Jab to the bike from Perella. Back up step with the right hook and went to the bike with the left uppercut. Lead right hook was there from Perella. Ramos trying to fight back with the four this time. All right? Here come a jab from Perella from the stand. Double jab from Perella this time. Ramos trying to bob we a little bit. Trying to catch up to him. Short left hook from Ramos, but Perella ducked up under this shit. Right hand to the bike from, from Ramos. Trying to come back with the hook. Perella was long gone. Jab from uh, Perella. Ramos trying to get on the inside and get physical with him. They got tangled up a little bit. Referee just came and broke him. All right. Here comes Perella. Right. Perella with a double jab right inside the head. Left hook to the back for Ramos. Left hook to the body for Ramos. Perella on that footwork and shit. Touch with the jab this time. Got him on that bicycle and shit. Then they got tangled up. All right. Perella riding him to the ropes and shit. All right. But Ramos trying to work in that shit. Right hook from Perella as he exited the clinch. Right hand to the body from Ramos. He over the step to Perella. Perella touched with the jab. Straight up hand. Ramos tried to come up with something. Perella threw a loop of left hand, but he, it was kind of raggedy. Looked like he getting tired. Two one combination for Ramos. Came back with a fold this time to exclamate the round. It's the end of that round. All right, isn't it? All right. What you think, bro? Man, I think Perella beating the dog boo boo out of uh out of Ramos, man. He just walking forward, taking some punches. Uh he hurt him. He made him do a, a hell of a dance. I don't know whether the, the stinky leg or the soldier boy. You know what I'm saying? But he was tearing his ass up up in there. This is a straight boxing ass whipping, man. He just walking into perfect, nice, uh uh, well taught punches. That's all that's happening right now. Yeah, see, the, but the thing is, I see Perella kind of slowing down a little bit. It looked like I saw a little bit of uh, weariness on his face. You know what I'm saying? Wookie Wook said that boy working, Marlo working. Shit, this is Trey X, man. For all the people that's that's confused, I'm Trey X, and this Marlo. Iceberg there said this a ragged ass little fight. It's all right, man. I just seen a lot worse. I done been calling fights and been like, damn, I can't wait till this shit over. Christopher Jordan, they said, come on, Ramos. God damn, I think I had picked the other guy with that uh, John Ross shit. Chris Brown said, I saw that hook last year. It was so slow, yeah. All right. Getting ready for the third round, I believe. All right. <clears throat> They touch girls and sports and shit. Ramos stepping to him behind that orthodox jab and shit. All right. Uh, Perella shooting the jab out there, trying to mesmerize him a little bit. Ramos trying to catch up to him with the jab. Jab was there from, from uh, Perella. Went to the Bible to jab. Stepped in with the double jab, trying to hook off the jab. That's Perella. Looping right hand from Ramos, trying to come back with something. Looks like Perella did a little dance again. Touch with the jab. That's Perella. Got back on the jab from the sapper stand. Looping right hand from Ramos. Counter left hand was there from Perella. Came back with something. Straight up hand from Perella. Ramos with the lead right hand. And then Perella just went down, looked like he slipped and shit. The referee. About to come dust the debris off the gloves. All right, action back of the way. Two minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the round. All right, jab from uh, Perella trying to come back with something. Ramos on his ass, though. Hard right hand to the body for Ramos. Down to fold his ass up like a roly poly. Another right hand, kind of left hand for Perella, but I, I couldn't tell if he landed that shit, though. Then they got tangled up a little bit. They broke themselves. Perella with the jab, right hand for Ramos. Perella came back with the jab. Check hook from Perella. Ramos on his ass with the right hand. Jab to the right from Perella. Left hand for Perella came back with the hook, but it was raggedy, though. All right, but Ramos right the front of him. D right up a girl from Perella. Right hand for Ramos. Still jab from Ramos right on the on the nose. Here comes a double jab from Perella. Looper right hand for Ramos, but Perella was holding the phone and came with the left hand. Jab from Ramos. And left hand from uh, Perella got up out of there. Right hand to the bike for Ramos. Perella came back with left hand right up a cup for Ramos. Jab from Perella got back on the move on that bicycle. Bling, bling. They got back on the jab and shit. Three jabs in the row from Barella. Ramos trying to catch it to him. He right hand to the right for Ramos. Kind of left hand on jab from Barella. Then he walked off on Ramos. Ramos trying to cut the ring off on Perella. Shot the jab out there from the orthodox stand. Perella trying to mesmerize him. Stepped in with a short three punch combination 
like a shoe shine combination. No power. Touch with the jab. Straight up hand. Got back on the jab again. That's Pirella. Right hand to the right for Ramos over the stop him. Right hand to the right for Ramos again. Pirella stepped in to initiate the clinch. That body shots didn't feel good and rolled him to the ropes. Ramos trying to work the work in the midst of the shit. Pirella working in the midst of the clinch. One, two, three on his ass from Pirella from the south stand. Back and step with the straight left hand. Loop it up. Hand around the guard from Pirella. Bob and weave a little bit. Got his handle good. Came with time of the jab with the jab was on. Loop it up. Hand from Pirella. Loop it up. Hand. Go back to hood. Left uppercut. Loop it up. Hand on his ass from Pirella again. Ramos got them clamps on that motherfucker. Jack Reese had to get the jaws of life to get him off of Pirella right now. Pirella said, I ain't going nowhere, though. Now he over the stepping to him. Over the ripping shots of the body. Back and step, left uppercut. Right hook. Left uppercut on his ass. Then he walked off on it. Back and step with the jab this time. I ain't going nowhere. Touch with the jab again for the sap. I said, that's Pirella. Touch with the jab again. Straight right, straight right hand for Ramos so he can back him up. Straight left hand for Pirella. Another left hand for Pirella. Right hook in the left hand for Pirella. Then he turned to the motherfucker. Back and step with the jab this time. That's Pirella. Then he right hand on his ass for Ramos. Pirella came back with a check hook type pump from the sap. Then he got Tangled up. It's 21 seconds left to go in the round. Here come Ramos over the square double black sponge by square pan. Pirella put a little something, something on, and Ramos came back with something. Ramos right there in front of him. Got the right hand from Ramos. Check hook over the from Pirella. Looks like Pirella might have had to check in to like turn it on. Right hand left hook type from Ramos. He over the step in the Pirella. Pirella with a stiff jab this time. Came on top of the jab with the jab again on his ass from Pirella. Then he walked off on him. Right. Here come Ramos trying to advance on him. Went to the right left hook. Back up step to the left hook. All right, it's the end of that round. And that motherfucker Ramos shows some bravado in that bitch at the end of the round. We start with you, bro. What you think? Man, I think this is Ramos' best round, but I still can't give it to him, man. Pirella jab is the difference. Uh, I think he hurt Ramos probably twice in the round, even though Ramos was bringing it the whole round. Uh, still got to give it to Pirella. I agree with you. I got to give that shit to Pirella, too. I think he got hurt towards the end of the round, but it looked like he hurt Ramos like three, two or three times in the round, like you said. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get that shit to Pirella, man. Appreciate that mess of files in the chat. And appreciate if everybody hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, damn, Chris Brown said, I think I still might have a shot at boxing. Checking these two motherfuckers out. I think Pirella looking all right, though, man. He ain't just, you know what I'm saying, the best motherfucker I ever seen. But he's doing some pretty good work in that, huh? Yeah, I, I think, think he's going to be no easy work. Yeah, he's he doing a good job of uh, the right space to be able to land the solid punches that he needs to, though. Because look at his stance. Yeah. Like Andre's almost. He remind me of Kalzaki. Watch him. Say so remind him of Joe Kalzaki. All right, we're getting ready for the fourth round, I think. All right, we're almost coming at that jog. We're in the fifth round. Pirella shooting the jab out there, hooking off the jab. Need my right hand on Zab for Rama. Pirella had to get up out of there. All right, we're almost trying to cut the ring off from Pirella trying to bob weave a little bit. Pirella trying to measureize with some shots, put the jab on. Right hand to the right for Ramos. Back up step with the right hand again. That's Ramos. Uh, excuse me, over there bobbing and weaving. Need right hand for Ramos. Looping left hand for Pirella. Then they got tangled up. Pirella just pushed it back. Came back stirred with the jab at the time. Right hand to the right for Ramos. Cut up hand on Zab from Pirella. Then Ramos came back with like a three punch combination. Touch with the dab with his head on the center line. All right, Pirella came back with the jab. Loop it right here for Ramos with the missing. Pirella put all kinds of shots inside the head. At least two shots for this shit. Jab to the body from Pirella. Back and step with the lead up hand. Check hook type pump for Ramos to back them up. Right here to the body from Ramos. Tried to double up on it. He over the step to him. Touch with the jab. All right, Pirella came on top of that, uh, that stiff arm type shot with a hook type punch. Loop it left hand to the body from Pirella. Back and step with the double jab. This time for the side bust. That is Pirella. Back and step with the jab again. That's Pirella. Still on the stick and sit on his head. That's Pirella. All right, Ramos over there trying to get him in the blue corner. Pirella him with a double jab, wants to buy with the fold this time. Back and step with the jab this time, that's Pirella. Back and step with the jab again. Lead the hook to the body from, from Ramos. Pirella up, step with the jab. Went to the body with the fold. Turned him. Came up, step with, two, with two jabs this time. Back and step with the jab again. All right, that's Pirella. Here come Ramos with the lead up, pulled and pushed it back. Pirella had to put the clamps on the man to turn him, but put it back on uh, against the ropes. Jack Reese's came and broke him. A minute and 36 seconds left going around. Here come Ramos over the steps to him. All right, got the defense kind of relaxed right now. Pirella with the lead right hook type punch. Then he turned him. Got back on the jab. He got that good knee flexion. That's Pirella. Ramos right there in front of him. Pirella spit the garbage jab, spit the garbage jab, straight up hand. Then he tied him up. Then he over there put the clamps on him, trying to ride Ramos to the ropes. They broke themselves and the referee needed. Here come Ramos over the step to him. All right? Pirella shot the jab at there. Shot the jab at there again. Another jab from Pirella. Another jab. Right hand to the body from Ramos. He came back with the left uppercut. Pirella back on the jab. Double jab, left hand, right hook to the body from Pirella. Back on step with the lead right hook this time from the south. I said it's Pirella. Back, got back on the jab. Right hand from Ramos this time. Lead right hand from Ramos. Check hook from Pirella. 
almost at angle. Jab to the body, to the corner of the rib cage from Perella. Back to the body with the jab again. That's Perella. Got that good knee flexion and shit. Posted up in front of Ramos right now. Spit the garment of the jab. That's Perella. Got back on the jab. That's Perella. Right hand to the body for Ramos. Back and step with the right hand. A jab for Ramos this time. Perella had to get up out of there. Got on the jab. Loop a left hand from Perella. Ramos with a cat and left uppercut. Some more side. The right hand from Ramos. Sack hook from Perella. Ramos came back with some. Left hook on the jab for Ramos to back them up. Perella got on the jab. Right hand to the body from Ramos. Back and step with the right hand and still jab. That's Ramos to back them up. Jab to the right from Perella. Back and step with the jab again. It's Perella. Need a hook on his ass for Ramos and came back with a straight right hand. Perella with the jab. Right hand to the right from Ramos. Check hook from Perella. Right hand to the right from Ramos. Perella got back on the jab. Here come a jab from Ramos. Another jab from Ramos. Got uh, Perella in the, in the red corner. Lead right hand from, from Ramos. Started to double up on it. Perella got up out of there. Got back on the jab. Jab left hand, right hook on his ass from Perella. Step back in the right. All right. Side to stiff form. Lead looper right hand side pump from, from Ramos. Perella looked like he might have blocked it. Might have been holding the phone. And it's the end of that round. Yeah. Right, what you think, bro? Man, I, I think this is a tough round, man, because uh Perella was throwing the majority of the power punches and uh that was his his asset and the jab working off the jab was um Perella asset. So I don't know, man. I think I gotta add, edge it out for uh Perella because I think he was the busier person off the jab, but it was another good round for Ramos though. Yeah, it seemed like every time Ramos started putting something together, he run into something from uh from Perella to maybe start thinking Perella got the advantage again. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a tough little fight, man. Snacks B was so weird. It said Ramos throwing the kitchen sink on every shot. Yeah, Iceberg there said Perella is looping his left when he throws it straight. He tags Ramos. Look at what said Perella looking good in this fight. I can't even hate on the man. Hey, every but, other che- every other check hook, too. You know what I'm saying? Is 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 one land, one don't. Like 50% look like. Yeah. Appreciate that mess of fries in the chat, man. Nigga G, d what's up, bro? I ain't even see you up in this bed. If I ain't said what's up to you already. Nigga G said Perella using his height and reach to his advantage. I think he is, too. All right, <clears throat> Perella on that jab and shit. Ramos trying to catch up to him. Perella shooting the jab at there. Lean right here to the body for Ramos. Our camera left hand was that from Perella. Back to the body with a double jab at the time is Perella. Back up with the jab at the time is Perella. Lean right hook from Perella. Got back on the jab and shit. Side little fan and Ramos and backed him up. Got that good knee back and shit. That's Perella. Right there front of trying to measure Ramos. Stepped in with a double jab at the time from the Sabbath stand. Right here to the body for Ramos. It looked like it might have went low. Back up with the jab. Try to come back with the right hand. All right, here come a double jab, the loop left hand from Perella and back his ass up. Ramos trying to crash down low, went to the body with the right hand, back and step with the right hand. This time, this Ramos got back on the jab and shit from the orthodox hand. Jab to the body from Ram- from Perella, side of the frame, straight left hand to the body from Perella, back and step with the jab. This time, this Perella, they deterred the motherfucker. Loop with left hand from Perella, then they got tangled up. Perella just rolled him to the neutral corner. All right, saw a left uppercut type punch in the midst of defense for Ramos. The referee just came and broke him and warned that motherfucker Perella. Lead right hook to the body from Perella, back and step with the right uppercut. Came back from loop with left hand, the right uppercut. Hit him with like a th- Three six type combination. That's Perella. Solid little paint. Touch with the jab. Saw the pants to the body from Perella. Back and step with the jab. This time from the Sabbath stand. Got back on the jab. Hooking up the jab. Looping right hand from Ramos. Came back with the hook. Left uppercut from Ramos. Got down here with a stalk in this motherfucker with a step in the Perella. Perella with the lead right uppercut. Ramos came back with the right hand this time. Here come a two punch combination from Perella. Then he turned the motherfucker back towards the center of the ring. Here come Ramos. Lead right hand to the body from Ramos. Then they got tangled up a little bit. Perella just rolled into the ropes. All right? They both trying to fight after this shit. Here come Ramos over the center. Still jab from Perella this time. Got a defense relax. Sneaky left hook type punch from Ramos. Perella came back with the left hand. Looping right hand from Ramos. Here come a three punch combination from Perella. Touch with the jab. Looping left hand from Perella. Got back on the hook. Came back with the jab again. Got the left hand on the from Perella. Ramos over the fight back though. Perella touched with the jab. Stabbed his head back with the jab. Hooking up the jab. Knee right hand from Ramos. He doubled up on it. Went to the body left hook. Back and still the photo. Time that's Ramos over the step of the Perella. Perella with the double jab and the left uppercut. Goddamn. Step back in the range. All right. Got the defense relaxed right now. Right double cut from Ramos. Perella Put a three plus combination right upside the head. He right up a cuff from Perella. Back and step with the jab. That's Perella. Here come Ramos over the square up. Looking like sponsored by a square pan. Lead right hand from Ramos the time over the shot to stop Perella. Lead right hand again, but he missed it though. Perella was back on that boxer. He said, bling, bling. Now he's standing in front of the blue corner. Stepped in with like a three punch combination. Then he turned him. Got back on the jab. Hooking out the jab. Might have been a check hook type punch. That's Perella. He over the boxing this motherfucker right now. Ramos trying to catch him to him with the jab and shit. Trying to cut the ring off. Shot the jab after again, but Perella had extra stays right. Right, right, back and step with the jab. Perella standing in the front of him right now. Touch with the jab. Straight up hands to the right from Perella. Back and step with the right hook this time. That's Perella. So he can get out the ropes. Touch with the jab. Touch with the jab again. That's Perella. But Ramos trying to catch up to him though. Right, trying to get on the inside. Jab 
him with a straight left hand for Brella. Loop him right hand for Ramos and landed right on the chin. Jab from Perella. He stepped in to initiate the clinch. Ramos just resisted the clinch and pushed it back. Jab from Perella. Right hand for Ramos. Jab from Perella. Ramos pushed it back to the ropes with a jab, trying to hook up the jab, but he missed them shots, though. E right hand to the right from Ramos. Trying to come on set with a two punch combination, but he missed it, though. Right? Left hook on his jab from Ramos to exclamate the round. Man, it's the end of that round. All right. What you think, bro? Man, I think um, Ramos is a tough SOB, man, but Perella just uh, a little too much for him, man. Too long. Uh, his punches is too sharp. Uh, He's turning him. He just, he just making him look bad, man. He, he's walking in. His style is just all bad, man. Perella's style is just all bad. Another Perella round. I think so, too, bro. Perella out there boxing his ass. <clears throat> My one of said Ramos' head is hurting out there, yeah. Iceberg Nurse said Ramos not moving his head, taking two for one just to close the distance. Yeah, there ain't no good game plan, man. The motherfucker needs to bob and weave. Like you say, he needs to move his head so he can get on the inside. Tony Boswell said that Perella ever stands flat footed in the front of Ramos is over. <clears throat> for which one, though? Chris Randy El Chapel said smash that light button one time. G. Nitty G said uh, Perella stand on him, but he better stop putting his hands down like that. Yeah. Real shit. Appreciate the mess of Frows in the chat, man. Underground Asylum. So I like Perella working out that jab. Good work. I think he's doing a good job too. <clears throat> Let's see if he can keep it up and get some more water. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> that motherfucker Ramos sat there jogging to the motherfucker. Jab from Perella. I turned him right here from Ramos. It looked like he hurt Perella. Perella got back on the jab. Double jab on the straight left hand to the right from Salvador stand. Back step to jab again. That's Perella. Got back on the jab. On that footwork and said, Lean up, hook on his ass from Ramos. He came back with the right uppercut. Lean up, hook on his ass from Ramos again. Perella tried to come back with something. They got tangled up. Perella tried to hit him with the left uppercut. Then he came back with the right uppercut as he exited the clinch. Touch with the jab at the time. That's Perella. Lean right here on his ass from Ramos. Brought back the hook on his ass. That's Ramos. Hook up a jab to loop it up hand from Perella. Ramos over the rip shot on the body. Back and step with the folded time. That's Ramos. Hook up Perella with a three punch combination. Back them up. Hook up a jab with the right hand from Ramos. Perella came in with a counter punch, and Ramos went to the body with the left hook this time. Then they got tangled up. All right, and back. Here go Ramos over the seven toe. Knee right up a cut from Perella. Went to the body with a four. Here go a four from Ramos to broke back to three. Broke back to four again. That's Ramos. Here go a jab from Perella from the south stand. Jab from Perella again from the south stand. Loop the right hand to the body from Ramos to push it back to the blue corner. All right, left hook to the body from Ramos. Brought it back to the head. That's the left hook. Here go a jab from, 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 from Perella. Ramos came back with the left uppercut cut type punch. Tried to come back with it again. Here go a double jab and a loop and a pan around the guard from Perella. Came back with the left uppercut this time. This Perella pushed him back. Came back with two more shots. Right hook from Perella. Right hand to the body from Ramos. Perella had to get up out of there. Touch with his jab. Put a little shoe shine combination on this Perella. Hard oh, right hand to the body from Ramos. That shit hurt. Pushed him back. Another right hand to the body from Ramos. Then he got tangled up a little bit. Right hook to the body from Perella. Right, right hook to the head. Right hook to the body. Left uppercut from Perella. Then he pushed it back. Two push combination. He staggered the motherfucker with the left hand. He got a two three from Ramos this time. Perella pushed him back so he can get some space. Touch with the jab. Straight up hand, brought back the right hook. Then he got back on the move and shit. Here come Ramos with a two three type combination. Perella had to step in to facilitate the clinch. All right, the referee just came and broke him. It's a minute and 11 seconds left to go in the round. Jab from Perella, looping left hand to the right from Perella, right here to the right from Ramos. All right, Perella ripped a few body shots on him. All right, knee up uppercut for Ramos. Brought it back again. That's Ramos. That's the knee left uppercut. Here come a double jab and left hand from Perella. Ramos is right there in front of him. Check, I mean, knee right hook type punch from Perella so he can get off the ropes. Right hand to the right from Ramos. Looping left hand from Perella so he can get back on that bow secret shit. Bling, bling. Touch with the jab, trying to hook off the jab from the southbound stand. That's Perella. Ramos over the step to him, though. Jab from Perella. Right hand to the right from Ramos. Check hook tight from from Perella so he can get off the ropes. Ramos trying to cut the ring off on Perella. Perella touch with the jab, touch with the jab again. Left hand just came back with the jab again, but the shit is kind of raggedy. Loop left hand from Perella this time. Man. Ramos trying to get on the inside on him. Knee right hand from Ramos trying to double up on it, push it back. All right? Perella had to step in and initiate the clinch. They broke themselves, no the referee needed. All right? Saw a right hook tight from from Perella. Hit him with a 6 3 tight combination with the three going to the body. Back and step with the jab, trying to hook off the jab. Touch with the jab again, that's Perella. Pushing back with the shoulder. Hit him with the jab and the loop of left hand around the guard, that's Perella. Back and step with the jab, this time that's Perella. D right hand is that for Ramos. Perella pushing back with the shoulder. D right hand for Ramos and Perella came back with something. They got that motherfucker in the headlock like he wanted the DDT. They broke themselves and leave, no, no referee needed. D right hand for Ramos, he just touched him with the though. Touch with the jab. R Perella came on top of the jab with the right hook. Then Ramos tried to jump on him and Perella started fighting back in this end of that round. All right. What you think, bro? I think this was a clear, um, clean round for Ramos, man. I think Perella just eased off the gas or something. He looked kind of uh, tired. Maybe the body shots wore him down. Um, but he wasn't as active as the rest of the rounds, man. But Perella, uh, but Ramos was, man. He was on his neck. Uh, Ramos round. Salute to my boy Seth Shot, man. That's the Intercontinental Champion, bro. What's up with you? 
going down. D V O G said, talk that shit, Trey. Man, you know I'm gonna give you my best shot every time, man. I'm gonna give it to you like God gave it to Moses. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Snacks B said Perella needs to uh shoot that uppercut. Uh, he said it was a close round. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, appreciate the message for us in the chat. And appreciate it if everybody hit that like button and subscribe if you have it. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some water. It's a cool little fight. I ain't doing no tripping. Ah, damn. Elf and said Perella took that round off. He might have been. He's been kind of slowing down a little bit anyway. Hey, Helene, so Helene, Helene, Helene is versus Karnacki, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's in March. Going down. I always like calling Kanaski fights. I right, ask you back of the way. Right hand to the body for Ramos. That group tight pump from Barella and came back with the left hand. All right, here go my right hand to the back for Ramos again. Barella got back on that footwork, got back on that bow series. You're moving the group. Right hand to the back for Ramos. Back and step with the stiff jab at the time is Ramos. Check group tight. Pump from Perella, but he missed it though. Loop right hand for Ramos. Per, uh, Perella tried to turn up the jab from hook up the jab, go to the bottom left hand. He got the right hand to the back from Ramos. Perella trying to come back with something. Super jab the time from Perella. Loop the right hand to the back from Ramos. Then Perella had to reach out and grab that motherfucker right into the rope. It, we in the eighth round right now. Two minutes and 23 seconds left to go in the round. Ramos over the steps to him. Perella got back on the jab and shit. Right hand to the back from Ramos. Perella trying to come back with like a two punch combination to the head. Touch with the jab, trying to hook up the jab. Shot right up a cut type pump from Ramos and came back with the jab. He even hook on the jab from Perella. He that hook to the back from Ramos. Check who type pump from Perella. Got back on the left hand, right hook on his ass. Put some more shots on Ramos. Ramos over the fight back. He right hook on his ass from Perella. Got back on the jab and shit. Right hand to the body from Ramos. Came back to the body with the left hook this time. That's Ramos. He right hand from Ramos this time right there in front of him. He got like a 6 3 type combination from Perella. He got Ramos with the back with the right hand. Back and step to the left uppercut. Check who type pump from uh, Perella. You get off the ropes. All right. So a left uppercut type pump from uh, Perella. Then they got tangled up a little bit. Ramos working the right hand and the left hand in the midst of the clinch to the body. All right, here come a jab and a short left uppercut from Perella. All right, short left uppercut from Perella again and pushed it back. Ramos ain't going nowhere. Need right hand on his ass from Ramos. Perella came back with something. Cut a left uppercut on his ass from Perella. Jab and a short left hand on his ass from Perella. Perella pushed it back. Such a jab, trying to hook up the jab from the south. That is Perella. Short left hand from Perella. Short left uppercut from Ramos. Started to double up on it. Now he's trying to bob weed. Stepped in with a double jab this time. Right hand with the misses though. Came back with the right hand again. That's Ramos. Perella had to reach out and grab that motherfucker. Hit him with a short left uppercut to the body. D right up. Cut from Perella with the bike, the loop it up hand back and step with the right uppercut, touch with jab, hooking up the jab and see that's Perella. Ramos trying to get on inside, lead right hand to the body from Ramos. All right, went to the body with some else. Perella came back with the two punch combination, lead right hook to the body from Perella, came back with the left uppercut. The time this Perella, lead right hand from Ramos and brought back the hook, a jab from Perella, another jab from Perella, suicide combination from Ramos. Perella trying to fight back, he come a jab from Ramos and push the back, jab from Perella, short left uppercut that came back with the right hook. The time to get off the ropes, touch with the jab. The time this Perella, double jab, left uppercut, brought back the hook. Who that's Perella. Check who was that from Perella. Came back with the left uppercut this time. That's Perella. Ramos ain't going nowhere though. Two punch coming there from Perella. Came back with the short left uppercut. Then they got tangled up. Ramos going to the bike with the left hook this time for the orthodox not stand. Pushed it back to Lee right hand. That's Ramos. Right there in front of him. Got his hands are good. Lee left uppercut. Came back with the right hand this time. That's Ramos. That shit, that shit didn't feel good either. But Perella trying to fight back. Going to the bike with the right hook. Came back with step left hook, uppercut. Another left uppercut from Perella. Got back on the jab. Trying to hook up the jab. Going to the bike with the right hook. Back and step the left uppercut. Then he stepped in to facilitate take the clinch again. That's Perella. But Ramos trying to fight back in the midst of that shit, though. Perella getting physical with him, pushing back with the form and shit. Hit him with a short th three-point shoe sign combination. Another shoe sign combination from Perella. Left hook from Ramos. R Ramos came back with a shoe sign combination. To end that round, man. All right. What you think, bro? I think that's a Perella round, man. I think his counterpunching, his defense, and being first the whole round uh, won him the round, man. Clear Perella round. Ramos got hard like a motherfucker, but yeah, they ain't enough to win rounds. Hard ain't enough, huh, man? No, sir. Appreciate that, Mr. Frogs, in the chat, man. Appreciate it for everybody. Hit that like button and subscribe. What's up to my man, Mir, man? That's the real boxing fan. What's up with it? Nitty G said, Rama doesn't respect Perella Power. That's why he keep coming forward. Mir said, Bud is crossing the street and fighting the winner next. The winner out of this fight? <laughs> uh, King Lewis said, Perella might give Bud the business and the kitchen sink. Nah, I don't think so. Not this guy. Bud talking about really fighting this Perella. Hey, and this dude, this dude got you don't see Perella gassing? He's slowing way down, man. It's just the style, the style he's just able to manage, man. Yeah, man. It, the only time you can really be a great boxer is when you got somebody coming to you to try to knock you out. So he got a style that's suiting what he's trying to do. But I don't think he got nothing for no Crawford, though. 
Just my opinion on it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Perella working that jab. Lean right hand to the body from Ramos. Perella tried to come in with something. Then he tied him up and pushed him back to the road. Saw right hand from Ramos. Share hook type punch from Perella might have been. Touch with the dab this time from the south stand. Lean right hand from Ramos. Loop left hand from Perella. And can't even have the hook and push it back. Straight left hand from, from Perella. Two plus combination from Perella. Ramos came back with a hook this time. Right up a cut to the body from Ramos. Perella came back with something and pushed it back to the road. Here comes uh, Ramos over the DJ body shot from there. Share hook from, from Perella. Left up a cut. Pump back the hook on his head. Double right right hand for Ramos this time that they got tanked up. Perella trying to push it back. Hit him with a two-punch combination. He exited the clinch. Another like a three-six combination. Ramos jumping all on him. Trying to put hands on him. Right? Shot of the fame. Right hand for Ramos. Trying to come back with something. Perella pushing back with the jab. Trying to hook up the jab so he can get out the corner and shit. Touch with the check hook type punch. Here come a three-punch combination. Four-punch combination for Ramos. Perella trying to fight back. Ramos went to the bike left hook. Perella on that jab and shit. He hooking off the jab. That's Perella. Then he put the, put the clamps on the man again. Riding to the ropes. It's a minute and 58 seconds left going around. Referee Jack Reese having to talk. A close look, and they just broke him. Had a little talk with uh, Perella. All right, here come Ramos over the step to him. Perella shot the jab, but they're going to toes a little bit. Lead right hand for Ramos, but he missed it, though. Got him in the blue corner. And see, that's Ramos right in front of him. Here come a jab, left uppercut. Uh, some ass from uh, Perella, but it was arm punches. No power on it, though. Stepped in with lead right uppercut. Whipped a few body shots on his ass, and he walked off on this Perella. Lead right uppercut again from Perella. Came back with two more shots, but he missed it, though. Looped left hand around the guard from Perella on his ass. Got the defense relaxed. Push, push him back with the double jab, and then looped the left hand around the guard again. That's Perella. Back and stable with an up jab type of punch. Got back on the jab again from the Sabbath stand. Double jab and straight up handle jab from Perella. Roll back the hook on his head. Left up a cut to the body from Perella. Ramos tried to come back with something. Trying to bob weave a little bit. Pick up a double jab from Perella. Came back with the left up a cut, but it was raggedy. He missed it. Came back and stepped with the jab the time from the Sabbath stand. That's Perella. Two, three combination from Ramos. Came back with the left up a cut. Came back with the jab the time. Perella had to get his ass up under there. And she stayed left. Hit him with a left up a cut. Right hook. Left up a cut to the body. Right hook. Rip his shots to the body. Back and step with the right hook. Left hand, right hook on his Ass from Perella back his ass up. Ramos just cocked that left hook and brought it back like he had a receipt. He right in front of him. Here comes a double jab and look for the left hand from Perella. Bounced him off the ropes like WWE. Got him up against the rope. Putting these short shots on the motherfucker. They ain't got a lot of power in it though. Hit him with the short left up because they pushed him back. All right, that's Perella. Here comes Ramos. Here comes Perella. Ripped a few body shots from his ass. Jabbing a foot to the body from Perella. Brought back the three. Touch with the double jab. Short left up because that's the six in this motherfucker. That's Perella. Lead right hand to the body from Ramos. Push it back. Back and step with the jab the time. Lead that hook from Ramos, but Perella had his hands up good. Ramos tried to cut the ring off on Perella. Got the deep splash right now. Here comes a double jab from Perella. Counter right hand from Ramos. Push it back. Hard right hand right on the chin from Ramos. Perella had to reach out and grab that motherfucker. He rolled him to the ropes. All right. Left hook to the body from Ramos as Perella exited the clinch. Now Ramos over the step to him. Looking for opening. Right hand from, from Ramos and Perella tried to come back with something. I don't think they landed none of them punches though. All right. Here comes a jab from Perella. It's time for the shot stand right there in front of him. Leading right hand from Ramos. And it's the end of that round. End of that round. What you think, bro? Man, I think that's another uh, Perella round. He coming in with his head down, man, just letting uh, Perella just accumulate all these points, man. And then when he come in, you know, they exchanging points, and he he missing a lot. Uh, I got to give it to Perella, man. Excuse me. Give it to Perella. Appreciate everybody. Hit the like button and subscribe. Appreciate the Mr. Prowls in the chat. Lala D said, I hope this main fight is competitive. I think, well, I don't think it will be, but shit, hey, it don't hurt to hope, huh? Keep hope alive. Chris Brown said, great spawn session. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Boswell said, Perella out of Gatorade, huh? <laughs> you must be talking about that, uh, that Harrison shit, talking about that Gatorade and all that. Yeah, appreciate the Mr. Frogs in the chat, man. I, I wish I would have called that first fight, goddamn, but it is what it is. King Lewis said, Ramos, Amar fucked up the church's money, man. I ain't never even heard of this, Perella, man. I'm going to be 100. I think I picked Ramos, too. Fucking me up on the Chan Ross. I had started out pretty strong, too, man. Right, here we go. When the, when the 10th and the final round, they touch gloves of sportsmanship. Here come a jab from Ramos from the orthodox stand. All right, Perella got on that footwork and shit. He on the ass of the ring. Stepped in with the jab from the sidebar stand. All right, Ramos trying to cut the ring out. Right hand to the back from Ramos. Came back with the right hand and the left hook. That's Ramos. Perella had to get up out of there. Shot the jab right there. Here come a jab from Ramos. Jab from Perella. Lead right hand from Ramos and brought back the hook. All right, Milo took a check hook from Perella. Jab from Ramos. Went to the back with the right hand. Back step the left hook. Looked like Perella had ducked up under that left hook, though. Referee Jack Reese coming to tell Ramos to keep the punches. 
Marquis up. Keep the shit close to the Marquis of Queensberry rules. Established in 1890. Jab to the body from Ramos from the Orthodox stand. Got a defense relax right now. Crashing tight and hitting dragon. Double jab in the loop of left hand from Perella and backed his ass up. Ramos over the step to him. Jab from Perella. Jab from Perella again. Ramos over the look for opening. Right hand to the body from Ramos. Try to come back with something. Looping right hand from Ramos this time. Jab from Perella from the sidewalk stand. Here go Ramos over the crash down low. Double jab from Perella. Try to push the back. Touch with the double jab. Straight left hand to the body from Perella. Bounce his ass off the ropes like WWE again. Stepped in with a double jab this time and bounced it back off the ropes again. That's what because of the body. Rip a shot to the body. Came back and stepped with the foe this time. That's Perella. All right. Here going over the step to him. Shot the jab out there from the sidewalk stand. Shot the jab out there again. All right. That's Perella. Shot the jab out there again from the sidewalk stand. That's Perella. Over the step to him. Straight left hand. Broke back the right hook on his ass. Right over cut to the body from Ramo. Perella just pinned him up against the ropes. Trying to work a little bit. Ramo just grabbed that motherfucker. Trying to get physical with him. But right, we just came and broke him. All right. Hugo Ramos over the step to him, got the defense blacks. All right, Perella stepped in with a jab this time from the sapper stand, but he missed it. Stepped in with a double jab this time from the sapper stand, couldn't tell if he landed, though. That's Perella. Ramos right there in front of him, posted up. Jab from, from Ramos from Perella came back with some right hook from Perella this time. All right, Ramos right the front, lead right hand from Ramos, brought back the hook, but he missed that shit, trying to cut the ring off. Hugo a jab from Perella this time from the sapper stand. Ramos over the step to him. Perella shot the jab at there. Can't let that up the jab from Perella. Ramos tried to come back with some, though. He took that shit well. Stepped in with a two three combination. That's Ramos. All right, Perella had to get his that's a better. He got his hands are good. Ramos right there in front of him looking for opening. Then he right hooked upon from Perella came back with a straight left hand so he can get up out of there. Touch with the jab this time from the sidebar stand. He got a 2 3 combination from Ramos this time. He over the step into Perella. Perella on the ass of the ring. Touch with the jab. Saw right hand from Ramos on his ass. Went to the, came with the four and came back with the three. He got a 6 3 type, I mean like a 3 6 type combination from the sidebar stand from Perella. Touch with the jab, jab this time from the sidebar stand. That's Perella. Touch with the jab again. Count him right hand for Ramos. Bust back a left up a good damn. They knocked his head off his shoulder. That motherfucker looked like he got Get up, you son of a bitch! All you gotta do is last 29 seconds, motherfucker. Get your ass up. He man, he damn near he hit that motherfucker with a Mortal Kombat Johnny Cage uppercut and knocked his goddamn head off his shoulder down there. Here come Ramos over the measuring with the knee hand, short right hand for Ramos. Like three, four tight combination from Perella, two, three combination from Ramos, right hand to the bike for Ramos. Not a hard right hand and drop that motherfucker again. Might be too little, too late. Man, what we getting with these hard, we hard biting ass curves, man? Get up, get up, motherfucker! <laughs> get your ass up, motherfucker! The ref called it off. Who's the boss? Oh my god! They he stopped the fight, nigga. That's Richard Steele. Oh, with, with Julio that's fucked up. All over again. That's fucked up. Oh my god, man! That oh. is Julio Cesar Chavez and Mildred Taylor all over again, man. That shit is crazy, man. The ref called it off. Who's the boss? Oh my god! Oh. That shit. That's Richard Steele, man. That's Jack Steele. That's Jack Steele. Hey, uh, Seven Langston. This motherfucker ain't no uh Sam Langford or nothing. Hey, tell that motherfucker real quick, Marl. I don't even want to talk to him. The fuck out my gym. You heard him? What happened? Goddamn me. <laughs> oh, he ain't doing said, "Oh shit, I needed Jack Reese." Yes. I thought he Wookie was getting his I ass told y'all, up. man. Oh, you went on me. King Louis, it's over. Yeah, Chris Brown said Jack Reese on some bullshit. Wookie Wook said a real bull dog, man. Miss Lex Lex, what's up with you? El Benita said that BS Jack Reese on me. Uh, D, okay, talking to Seven Langston said it's on Fox, can't show YouTube rules. Absolutely. Uh, Wookie Wook said what I said. Damn. It was crazy. J Dog, what cold. the fuck, man? Cyber Supreme TV, Mark Wonderly. Miss Lex Lex said they cheated this man, man. Hey, I hey, I, I, I really wasn't even tripping on the on the Chavez versus Melody Taylor shit. I mean, he got the hell knocked out of him. You know what I'm saying? I felt like that was a more severe situation because Melody Taylor, he was he was beaten unrecognizably. That ain't what happened in this fight, but the motherfucker posted show the ref that you fit to continue. If you can't show the ref that, we gotta get your ass up out of here. You I could have sworn go no. you gotta get your ass up out of here. Jack Reese told that nigga to walk and he walked. Well, maybe he took a little stumble or something. He didn't like it. Oh man, come. <laughs> I mean, I gotta see it again, bro. I only just saw it in that in, in real time. Damn. That, you know what I'm saying? I gotta that's see it a, again. That's I remember, a, that's uh, Elf and he said Jack Reese a bitch. That's a dramatic comeback, man. If, if that's what it was. I got the most dramatic comeback ever. Yeah, I got to see it again. I got to see the replay. Without a knockout. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Chris Brown said he should have called a Wild and Fury fight like that. Huh? 
Why like one of them said, uh, what's good for the sport? Yeah, E. Wilson, what's up, man? Said that ref is suspect, man. I ain't gonna just get on him. I ain't gonna take up for him either. I just I gotta see the replay so I can see exactly what happened. Iceberg Nair said that, uh he been hitting Perella with that right hand the whole fight. It looked like a left uppercut that actually dropped him. Miss Lex Lex said, uh, that walk was a bit taller, like though. Say so she so she said he did a little dance out there. Yo, Mello, what's up, man? Welcome to the gym. Said Jack Reese is one of the worst in boxing. I ain't gonna get on him yet, man. Let me see the replay first, man. For you know what I'm saying? with a B, what's up, man? Say salute Marlon and Trey. Salute to the chat. Chris Brown say bullshit at his finest. <laughs> the bit OG said, I hear you, Trey, about them verbs. What is that, man? I don't even know what he's talking about. Wookie Wook said, I told uh told y'all that boy Ramos looked like a real bulldog. Yeah. Let's go there. My man Smooth Teddy B. What's up, bro? Said Jack Reese. What the fuck? Now Roger has a Perella guy Reese. Dude with the B said Reese is so inconsistent, man. Yeah, that's what Rough was talking about. How these uh refs and judges be so in inconsistent. Snacks B said Reese want all them to walk down the block and back. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> walk down the block, huh, man? Chris Brown said Jack Reese should no longer be able to referee fights, man. So I know y'all was hot about that Rich hey. Steel shit. So if Fury, Fury walked, he, he didn't walk like he was, this nigga walked, looked like Fury when he walked. Why you ain't call Fury shit up? Man, come on, man. I can't speak for the man in consistency, bro. Shout out to Chris Rice to get them like, likes up, blessings on out, man. Appreciate you coming through. Elvin, he said, man, it was less than 10 seconds to go in the round. Yeah, that's just like Mandra Taylor, bro, versus... Julio says I Chavez. Hell, he man. Said, bro, Thanks, I hear Ray, it Ray. Work, Can't even see it, but it sounds like some bullshit, man. Like I said, all right, they just showed the replay. and I'm Oh, they showed the replay for the first knockdown. I'm going to try to see what happened in this shit real quick. Appreciate that super chat from my man Christopher Jernay. Said Ramos, Marlo. I, I guess he's saying he had Ramos. God oh. damn, that was a hard looping left hand. That Ramos. It might have been a left hook or something. Like he was kind of in the southpaw stance for a minute. And he came with the right hand. Okay, the right hand is what dropped him the second time. So whoever was talking about that right hand, y'all was right. I was talking about that left uppercut that he hit him with the first time. I, I want to see what's going to happen with Jack Reese. All right, right hand upside his head for Ramos. The motherfucker go down. He done wiped out like he's surfing in this bitch. Okay, now Jack Reese about to come. Motherfucker just got up. That's Perella. He looked like he cool. He looked like he got his wits about himself. He over there looked at the rope so he can kind of steady himself a little bit. He looked like he, he walking over here. No, nah, man, no, nah, that's some bullshit, man. It, man, it was I didn't see nothing that happened to see make me think that fight was supposed to be stopped, man. You see what I'm saying? Damn, man. That was some bullshit, man. They cheated that man, man. Jack Reese is a bitch for that, man. That yeah, man, that, hey, hey, Trey, that's exactly what the fuck I was saying. Go ahead, bro. Speak on that shit. Oh, that's exactly what the fuck I was saying, bro. That that dude, Jack Reese, a bitch, bro. And, and the reason I'm saying this is because he inconsistent as fuck, bro. Tyson Fury damn near lose his life in the ring. He let him keep fighting. This dude was good to go, and it was only a damn near about 10 seconds left to go in the fight, bro. He could have made it to the uh, bell run, bro. Yeah, they cheated that, man. Man, that dude did not wobble, stumble. He didn't do shit. And he looked clear-eyed. When you look in his eyes, you look in his face, you can see that the man is good. He good as a government check out there, man. That motherfucker was going to cash, man. They cheated that boy, man. That motherfucker Jack Reese wrong for that shit, man. To me, that's worse than what Richard Steele did. Because I know it was at the end of the fight with Meldrick Taylor. Meldrick Taylor looked fucked up out there. That fight changed his life. This kid right here, he looked like he was cool. He was steady. He had his wits about himself. He knew where he was. He knew he was on the corner, so he looked back to find the ropes so he can put his arms on the ropes real quick and steady himself. The referee told him to walk. He went for a little stroll like he told him to. Everything was good. Wasn't no stumbling, no nothing. That man got cheated in that fight, man. Yeah. But sorry, yeah, I just, Boxer said he stumbled. I didn't see the stumble, bro. I got to see that again. I didn't see the stumble, he, bro. He, stu he stumbled, but he got right back and walked. started walking clean, man. But come but, on, but man. I really don't understand it was though. Is I know I, I couldn't see the clock, but it had to be less than 15 seconds to go in hey, that fight. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We might not. This might look like it's going to the scorecard, y'all. Oh no, it was a TKO. 
Oh, okay. Look, look what it say. It had one second left to go in the fight. The man won by two minutes and 59 seconds. It was one second left in the fucking fight. That's what one I'm saying, second. bro. Damn. That shit, that was crazy, man. <laughs> well, this, uh, let me ask y'all, did, when did he stumble? Did he stumble when, when the referee told him to walk? Yeah, when he told him to walk, he had took like two, three steps and he stumbled, and then he took two, three more steps good. Look, uh, I didn't man. even see that stumble like that, man. I got to go see it again. I didn't see that shit. Uh, Miss Lexley said she saw a stumble. I saw one stumble during the walk. Look again. Okay, I got to see again then because I didn't see the stumble. But yeah. I still don't. I didn't see nothing egregious enough to where the hey. fight needed to be stopped, especially a man that's been winning all night. Hey, let's not saying? let's not take away the fact that he told him when he was in the corner, he said, come here, and he walked to him, and he grabbed his gloves. You know what I'm saying? He told him to walk that way. Yeah. That shit was a goddamn mm -hmm. shame. Man, hold it down for me. I'll be back, bro. And then, crazy, and then, and then, over. What really got me is the time that was left on the clock. Like Trey X said, man, this dude been winning the whole fight. He getting knocked down tw twice in the in, in the twelfth round, and that really probably was because of more fatigue than anything else. Yeah. And then you don't let the man finish the fight, man. After he been winning the whole fight, man, with one second left to go on the clock, that's a bitch ass shit, bro. Let that man uh, uh, finish the fight. Let him get knocked down again. Wasn't no signs and no no real grave danger or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. He was already responsive. Come on, man. That was too much. That was like a DUI test or something. After motherfucker just boxed around the ring for motherfucking how long? You know what I'm saying? Three minutes around, ten rounds, thirty minutes. Come on, man. I, I just don't like how he didn't give him the benefit of the doubt. You know that's that's some bullshit, bro. Like you said, that was more fatigue. The stumble was more fatigue than it was if he was hurt. He already t talked to you in your face. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man. It's cool, though. That's just, that's just what it is. Nah, that's good. That's good for boxing, man. I'm glad Jack Reese did that shit because he do not need to be calling a motherfucker wild to fight next week. That motherfucker just, he just, he just, he just uh, counts that shit. Man. It's what it is, I guess, man. We got to deal with it, man. A lot of this shit been happening, but that was that was a tough fight, though, man. Because uh, Pirelli didn't had no gas tank, man. This shit was like four rounds. He started to slow down, you know what I'm saying? Even though he had some boxing skills, you know that pressure yeah. that pressure caught up to him at the end of the fight. I don't think that it was, it hurt him, you know what I'm saying? But he needs to go work on his gas tank, man. He might got him a little something, a little chance yeah. to get some more wins. That's what Wookie Wook was talking about. He was saying that uh, he seen uh, Romas coming back, and I kind of seen it coming too. But I, I didn't think that that this shit was gonna go down like this. I'm still kind of shocked, bro. That was just really some now bullshit. He, only thing he really did was apply pressure. Man, uh, his defense was good until you know what I'm saying. Like the later round, it's hard to go get your hands up faster than it is when it was. It's round seven. You know what I'm saying? The, right. Uh, the bids like to call them big boy rounds. If it ain't for no championship belt, them big boy rounds when you're trying to get be a, a contender, right? Because you're going into 12 now. So I don't think Pirelli would have lasted uh, 11 and 12 rounds against Ramos. No, nah, it's going to be. And like you said, though, today he got to go back to the drawing board and get his conditioning up, bro. Because yeah. he, was, he was looking good enough with his jab. He worked off his jab, you know what I'm saying? But he just slipped at the last moment. But I still think that he should have had a chance to fucking at least – Go to the bell, bro. That shit should have went to the cars. Jack Reese mm -hmm. uh, trying to be a superstar in there and uh, fucking always inverting himself into these fights, man. We didn't need to even invert himself in that fight, man. Because mm -hmm. that last punch, that, that last punch really knocked him off balance. There was no concussive punch. It went, it hit him off the glove and then hit him in the head. The last right hand, you know what I'm saying, that he delivered, that little overhand, that shit wasn't like flush all the way for, uh, head. It hit off the glove first. So it really then, knocked him off balance. So his leg, that tell you his legs would drink. You know what I'm saying? And then it ain't like he really just hit the fucking mat that hard the second time. That first time he hit the mat pretty hard. That yeah. second time he didn't hit the he didn't hit the mat hard. And he didn't get up all woozy and wild. Man, I don't know, man. But these motherfuckers be seeing some different shit every time they get in the ring. Weird ass shit, man. I done seen this motherfucker done let another motherfucker uh I don't know if it was um was was uh it was a heavyweight, Hispanic heavyweight put his hands on Jack Reese. Then Fury put his hands on Jack Reese. All these motherfuckers be getting away with some weird shit. 
This shit just too inconsistent, bro. That's what I don't like. I don't like that inconsistency, bro. You know what I'm that, saying? That right there was unnecessary, though. That was like too much checking. You know what I'm saying? Way too much checking. It shit was. It, it really was. And then it's at the end of the fight. Come on, Jack Reese, bro. It's at the end of the fucking fight, man. It, 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 he ain't finna take no more damage anyway. He finna fucking put his hands up and the bell gonna ring. The bell gonna ring. So why fucking stop the fight? Because if, if, if at one point he can't even he can't even make no excuse for this because what you gonna say you gonna you stop the fight because you don't want the fighter to get hurt? He won't even take no more punches, bro. That was like so that. Seven- tape, that that was like a seven three um, round right there. Uh, with, with that, with that right there, it'd have been what six, six four, something like that. On my score cards, that's what it would have been. He would have had that win if it would have went the distance. Damn, bro, that, that style was all bad for him though. He was doing a lot of wrong shit. Uh, that gas tank was bad for him. You know what I'm saying? Because it it matched what uh, Ramos needed. Yeah, he definitely didn't have no gas tank, bro. They they dug in. They mm-hmm. they they dug in and that that shit showed that he wasn't ready, like you said, to go twelve rounds with nobody, especially not Bud Crawford. Yeah, he wasn't ready to go ten, man, because round four he was already slowing down. He was his, he was throwing a lot of arm punches. Wasn't really nothing on it. His he was looking raggedy when he was throwing his hooks. You could tell when a motherfucker gassing up in there, and sometimes four rounds, you'd be like, "Man, that's too early in a ten round fight for a motherfucker to be gassing." You gotta keep it real with yourself, and the corner gotta tell him, "Stop throwing so many punches. Stay away. You already up, but four rounds to one, man. Get this dude around. Oh, this the last round, man. If you tired, man, just stay away from Hell, the gas up. I don't know what they should have told him, but he shouldn't have been exchanged and he got caught with that uppercut like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Taking chances. It ain't no, it ain't fun. It ain't really, you know what I'm saying? All that serious in no 10 round fight. Take no chance. You ain't got nothing to prove. Got your third L, my brother. And, and that was crazy, though. Like you said, he didn't have to take no chances. And it, it almost looked like he wasn't trying to take no chances, but he still got caught. Yeah, he took a chance when he got caught with that uppercut, though, because he was about to throw, he's about to throw that right hand. He's about to throw that motherfucker, got caught, throw, got caught in the action, went right down. He shouldn't have did that. And then another thing he shouldn't have did, he should have tied that nigga up. You know what I'm saying? When the referee let him um let him um let him um after the first knockdown and let him um fight, he should have tied old boy up. He should have tied him up instead of putting his guard up and leaning on the ropes. He, that would have bought him some more seconds. He did a lot of things wrong in there, man. So, yeah, man, but Jack Reese still shouldn't have stopped that goddamn fight. That was still was some bitch shit. I ain't gonna let Jack Reese whole ass off the hook. No, nah, I ain't. I ain't. I'm just shit. I gotta just get my opinion on the fight. Shit, That's right though. That right there. He should have. Right he should have clinched. He should have clinched him and tied him up for them last couple of seconds. You know what I'm saying? You right about that, but that motherfucker yeah. just reached, bro. Look what happened. He didn't tie him up. He let him throw them combos right, and then he tried to. Turn him and get up out of there. And on the way out, he caught that right hand off the glove. You know what I'm saying? He know he wasn't his balance wasn't right. He should have he should have held him. But I think it was just that's his corner my, fault. My bad, bro. But I think he I think it was just that fatigue though. You know that shit make cowards of us all, bro. He was I think he was too tired to even probably try to grab this motherfucker. Man, you man, I don't give a damn. That's what all these motherfuckers do. These veterans, they grab your motherfucking ass when they hurt. They be looking up at the clock and shit. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing the motherfucker. He ain't had no experience. No experience. He ain't know where he, where he was at in the ninth round or nothing. He should have known, man. Tie his ass up. I'm back here on mute. Like, grab his ass, motherfucker. Grab him. This nigga went in the fucking guard, man. Grab him. Don't even try to stay away, man. Grab his ass. He's too close to you. That's that's messed up though. He, he he fought a he fought a good fight though. Shout out hey, to him. Yeah, shout out to Perella, man. He fought a good fight. He just he got Reese, like somebody said in the chat. He got Jack Reese, bro. Shout out to Ramos too, man, because he, he brought that pressure the whole fight. He was trying to get the knockout. You know what I'm saying? So his determination got him what he wanted. It wasn't no knockout, but he got him to win. That's true that, man. Ramos was fighting his ass off, man. And whoever was his condition, his coach, earned his goddamn money today. Hell yeah. Shout out to that motherfucker, too. (laughs) 
That motherfucker brought his lunch. <laughs> that motherfucker was eating punches like Pac-Man, tell it. He brought his lunch. He got rock, everything. He kept coming. Don't let me find out he on that shit, though. <laughs> Being real. Don't let me find out he on that shit. Most of these motherfuckers be on that shit, man. Be testing later on and shit. Testing oh, positive. No. I don't know. He might have been, man, because that motherfucker didn't get tired the whole fight. He was coming yeah. in. He was taking a whole bunch of goddamn shots. A lot of punishment, man. And he didn't get tired. That motherfucker was coming. He was ready, ready, man. Well, salute to the corner with that special bottle. <laughs> he was ready, ready for this 10 rounder. Jack Reese just stole the whole action, though. You know what I'm saying? To me, like we can't even, you know what I mean, have a good, good comment on the motherfucker. Cause it, I don't believe, I don't agree with the stoppage. I think Pirella would have won a fight if the motherfucker wasn't over with. Yeah, if the motherfucker would have went all the way, if he would have let him, let it continue, I think Pirella would have ended up winning, man. A close fight. With well, one second to go, come on, man. This is a bad stoppage, bro. I know it would probably would have been like close unanimous. You know what I'm saying? And all skull cards would have been six to four or something. Come on, man. He done stole the whole goddamn get down. They're going to be talking about Jack Reese all over the place. <laughs> and that's why I say that's good. It's boxing. That motherfucker, he don't put his name back on the map. He don't need to be calling no championship fights with that, with that bullshit. And he way in Nashville, too. He usually at Staples Center somewhere. Carson or StubHub or somewhere. He way in Nashville with his bullshit, man. Yeah, this ain't right, man. It's cold. You gonna jump in the chat? Uh, I can't see the chat. Let me go back there. Hold up. Yeah, man, what y'all think about that, man? Let me find somewhere to jump in the chat at. Yeah, I, hey, I did too, uh, Mastermind. I thought he was a Cali ref too. Let me find somewhere. Oh, appreciate the uh, super chat, Christopher Jonay. He said, Marlo, I got a story. I was driving my car uh, about to run out of gas, see the gas station. And uh, guess what's the goddamn red light? What was it, the red light? Uh, Snacks, appreciate the uh, super chat, bro. Snacks B say facts. Uh, he had to hear 10 second bell, man. He had to. Uh, 88 Sports talk, talking to somebody. Get it, get out y'all business. Uh, Mir said Jack Reese out of pocket, way out of pocket, huh? j Dog talking to somebody. Uh, Snack B said uh, they should have told they should have told him to tie up, man. That's what I'm saying. Apollo Spade said uh, it's not on. Basketball is on. What's not on? The fight is on Channel 11. Fox, channel, regular Channel 11. Uh, same as all the other sports, football and and basketball. Uh, King Louis II said, Mar uh, "Marlo, you won." Yeah, I already. I, I figured I was ahead by by far, but. I see, you know, we we'll go back in the, uh to the table and, and tally everything up. Uh J Dog said Ty, uh, Tyson versus Lewis was lit in Memphis. Yeah, that shit used to be packed back then. Uh D Lo 404 boxing said motherfucker should have ran like Keith Thurman be doing. <laughs> Facts. Uh, let me get at y'all business. Now see the dream. Salute, fam. Miss Lex Lex, salute. Uh Ms. Lex Lex say he was tired, all that work, uh, just to lose, facts. I know you ain't just say not seeing the dream. I ain't heard from that motherfucker in a long time. What's up, boy? Salute. Uh, let me get out y'all business. That's D-Lo talking to Gil Code. 
Snack B said, uh, tackle that motherfucker, goddamn me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what Andre Ward did against Kovalev. When Kovalev hurt him, he tackled that motherfucker. Man, I was screaming that shit when you was calling the fight. Man, what the fuck? He just went to the high guard and just laid against the ropes. Man, what the fuck? What they telling you in the goddamn um gym? Raw, raw. He said, I want to see nothing but uh mega super fights only. That's real talk. I feel you. But you know what's crazy, though? Throughout that fight, Perella showed the ability to clinch. And when it, when when the when the time came for him to really use the clinch, he didn't use it. Didn't use it, which is crazy as hell to me. Um, Lala D said, "Oh, talking to Miss Nut Lex Lex, I'm out job, Benny." Snack B said, "Uh, uh, Ramos hit that motherfucker with the with the whole bathroom. Man, he was coming. Oh, he brought that pressure though. That's why I say shout out to him. He brought that pressure, man." Uh, I jump in that road. I said seven more days. Bomb squad. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for that shit. Snacks B said Romo said that Canelo me. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Lex Lex said, "Oh, work smart, not hard." Absolutely. Yeah. Jado said they talking about Canelo scouting this fight, this uh Caleb Plant fight. I think it'll be a tough fight for Canelo, man. Cause like I said, Canelo don't like mobile fighters. He like for you to stay in the front of. Him. Mark Wonderly said the first fight was like that. Yeah, the first fight was a good one, man. I hate I ain't in, I ain't uh, call that shit. La La D said that they interview Perella. I didn't I don't even know. I had went to grab something to eat real quick. She said, what he say? Tom Banks said Jack Reese needs to retire. I'm sick of this John Arbuckle looking ass. <laughs> yeah. Mastermind said, I thought he was a Cali rep. Don't start me lying, bro. Wookie Wook said he done robbed the bank. Yeah, for real. Or he saved the money or something. Which one was the was the uh the money fighter was it Ramos or Perella? I don't even know. Uh, Jesse Souls or Souls said just got home. The fight over now. The main event ain't even started yet, man. Welcome to the gym. This is your first time, my well, man. I seen the dream. Chris Brown said so. Who in the chat say Fury will beat Wilder? Shit, I'm taking Wilder. Wookie Wook said I'm sick of Jack Reese fucking up all these fights. To be honest, get this man the fuck up out of here. Yeah, King Lewis said, no, nah, three-way tie, you win on the wild card. Okay, you talking tomorrow, though. Chris Brown said, quiet as a church house mouse in here, goddamn me. Yeah, Wookie Wook, yeah, talking about that, uh, yeah. that wild and shit. I think, we all, said, I think we all had the um, same uh, picks, too, at the, on this card, I think. All right, all right. Wookie Wook said, y'all kind of right. Ramos probably would have lost on the cards, but he won by knockout because of Jack. Man, that shit crazy. Tom Banker said, I picked Ramos, but Reese disgusts me, yeah. Now, nah, Roger, who, who the fuck is Miller fighting on the undercard? Which one are you talking about? You talking about Big Baby Miller? I don't have no idea. It seems like I heard about a fight being announced for him, though. Felix New Year said, what's up with you? said, bro, Brian Kenny sucks. Why the fuck, uh, what the fuck does he know about boxing to dismiss uh, Geeson's opinion? Goddamn, yeah, real shit. Mastermind said, Jack Reese better keep his ass out of Texas, yeah. And I seen the dreams at Tracks. I was in jail. I forgot you said you had to beat the brakes off a motherfucker. And you might have to go uh, do a little time. I forgot about that shit. Chris Brown said, sweet hands in seven. I'm going to take him in six. Said, I thought he stepped on his foot. Which one are you talking about step on the motherfucker foot? SRT Speed 219 said, we need Floyd versus Canelo one more game, one more time. Welcome to the gym. This is your first time. Wookie Wook said, Ramos hit that boy with that Earl Spence. Lefty, goddamn, yeah. Tom Banks said, Clay, you're playing by unanimous. So, see, this guy is strong, man. You might be right. I'm going to go ahead and still ride with him in six, but the guy is strong. He looked like a big weightlifting motherfucker. Underground Asylum said he got him in five. Nitty G said he got him playing in eight. D-Lo said, so far, I've only picked two winners wrong all weekend. I can't say the same, man. I've been eating my fresh share of crow. King Lewis said, no, I have uh, Ramos and Magdaleno. She you did your thing on that Magdaleno. Now I seen the dream. Some all those corners. This dude was whipping his girl. I told him to stop hitting the girl. That he said some racist shit to me and came to me and had to take that L and they locked me up for it. Yeah, man, that's fucked up. Motherfuckers always be doing that weak ass shit up. They say you tough till the motherfucking shit get real. I see. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, be yeah. Tough when the shit. Get... Hey, hey, I didn't know you pick. Um, uh, what's the name? Magdaleno. That's a good yeah. pick. That was a good. He got pick. down that motherfucker. Yeah. Right, that's the champ said Fury will beat Wilder. God damn, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit, champ. 
He got action, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's going to beat Wilder. I think Wilder going to stop him. Shit, Wilder a motherfucker in the rematches. All right, King Lou talking to D-Lo. Riley's the champ said to the hospital for a cat skin, huh? <laughs> he's going to beat him to the hospital, real shit. Chris Brown said he stepped on his foot the last fight. Okay, he stepped on his foot. Okay, which one for that second knockdown? Because that first one looked like a clean left uppercut. Derrick Bailey said the second knockdown looked like uh, Ramos stepped on Perella's foot. So that's even worse. So he really wasn't even hurt that bad. He just got his foot stepped on. That's why he went down. The fight should not have been stopped. Shout out to my man, MZ Talk Boxing. That's Pecos Bill, man. Y'all subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to Pecos Bill, MZ Talk Boxing. So subscribe to D Lo 404 Boxing and subscribe to my man King Louis. Appreciate that super chat from her, uh Robert Smiley, man. What's going down with you? You don't really recognize you, man, but appreciate you coming through supporting us and shit. You know what I'm saying? Got one more fight to go, man. We're gonna see what man. this boy Kayla Plant gonna Ray do. Ray. Hopefully go out there and give us some action in this motherfucker. My man said shot say plant eight shit. I'm surprised you ain't got a bet on this motherfucker, said shot. Goddamn, they got Kayla Plant at minus two hundred. I mean, two, uh, 2,500. And they got Fagan Boots or whatever his name is. He at plus 800. Eight to one odds. Bet 100, you win 800. Profit. El Fenicia said, just subscribe to Pecos Bill, man. Definitely appreciate that. Y'all follow suit and go subscribe to Pecos Bill. That's MZ Talk Boxing. Now, Roger, I said, AJ Pram, Fury wins, so he won't have to see Wilder. <laughs> that shouldn't dismiss him from having to see Wilder, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, the great eras of the heavyweights, all the heavyweights fight each other. So just because a motherfucker lose to another fighter, that don't mean that you should be off the hook. Just like when uh, Joshua lost to uh, Ruiz. Oh, wasn't that? Yeah, Ruiz. That don't mean you off the hook. You can still get this work. You know what I'm saying? He has got one loss. Goddamn me. Uh, King Lewis said, planning them championship rounds. Okay. Big boy boxing was going down. Said so Jack definitely fucked that one up. Yeah, I agree with you one hundred percent, man. J Dog said Wilder already figured Fury out, and I don't think he's sick this time. He also uh, has been able to use the right hand in camp. Wilder couldn't use his right hand in camp, and Fury won. Most don't know that. I forgot about that shit too. You're right about that because I remember seeing clips of him hitting the miss, and he was working on his left hook. Might have been kind of a blessing in disguise though that he hurt his right hand so that make him work on his left hand it's kind of like uh when bud crawford when he was a kid he hurt his right hand but he wanted to stay in the gym and stay active so that made him develop his left hand and that's that's what gave him his style that he has now where he's so ambidextrous where he can go lefty and righty so sometimes it's a blessing when a motherfucker hurt a hand but you're right though man uh king lewis has smashed the light but man definitely would appreciate that Nitty G said the champ is going to baptize Big Coke next week. Yeah, yeah, I hope so, man. Mark Blake said he lost a string, goddamn. Robert Smiley said I'm subbed on BFTB channel. He put me on you. All right, man, appreciate you coming through. D-Lo said uh, come on over and support, man. Definitely would appreciate it. If everybody subscribe to my man D-Lo 404 Boxing. MZ Talk Boxing said thanks, man. He ain't got to say thanks. You know what I'm saying? We found him. Raw Dog said uh, has the main event start now. It ain't started yet. Seth Shot said he bet the under seven and a half rounds at plus 150 trade. You know how I roll. Yeah, I know you're going to get down on something. That's the intercontinental champion in this motherfucker. I think that might be a decent bet, though. Like I said, I'm taking him in six rounds. I know he definitely got action that's stopping the motherfucker. But the kid is young and the kid is very strong. But he has been stopped two times in his career already. So I think that under is a pretty decent bet, man. That might be uh, the best bet that you could have took. Because if you would have took Caleb Plant, you ain't going to get no money. Shit, at, uh, at, uh, minus 2,500, if you bet 100, you're only going to win like $4. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't made that shit on the, on the under. Uh, MZ Talk Boston said, thanks for the sub, man. Definitely appreciate it. Shit, we need some more people to go over there and sub. Subscribe to King Louis 2 Boxing too. And anybody else that got a channel, y'all throw y'all a shout up in the chat, man. We'll give you a shout out. D-Lo said, yeah, Fury will beat Wilder in the game. I bet I'll fall asleep before you, yeah. <laughs> Real shit, man. Rod out said Fazer broke his arm, heel stronger, gave him that left hook from hell. Well, you know, Joe Fraser was working on this left hook even as a kid. He uh, he told stories about how he made his own heavy bag, I think out of pillowcase and some more shit, hung it up in his backyard. And whenever he got done with his chores, his mom would let him go in the backyard and work on his left hook. 
You know what I'm saying? So I think that's actually where that uh, came from with Joe Frazier. Iceberg Nerds said John Jr. just won the dunk contest. Which one is John Jr., man? I ain't been on my on my NBA uh, that good, bro. Picasso, yeah, who winning, goddamn? Okay, not yet. What the ring car girl looking like? I ain't even seen him yet. I'll give you, I'll give you an update, though. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Hey, who was this dog walking this dude to the thing, man? Is, is that the uh, Nashville Nashville mascot or something? You know, California got the uh, the little bear and shit. Yeah, uh, shit. When I look back, I saw it, and my brain didn't register it. I thought I was watching The Shining or something with with Jack Nicholson and shit. It's some crazy looking shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Picasso said, "Is the ring girls one through a ten? I'll let you know. I ain't seen nothing yet, bro. I ain't seen nothing." Them PVC ring card girl, they don't just stand out to me where I remember them. I like them top rank uh, ring card girls, man. They're my favorite ones. Joseph Brown said, bang that like button. Gia, yeah, absolutely. Help everybody hit that like button and subscribe. A fight like this, it'd be good if we can get up to like 120, 125 or something like that. King Lewis said, this dude, yeah, the motherfucker come out with this motherfucker, come out with a mascot. j Dog said, he has not, uh, no amateur background. No. He ain't got no amateur background at all. He went pro at 16 years old. So he learned it on the job. 24 years old. So he's still young enough where he's still learning. Got a lot of tread on the tires. Very strong, but he looked like he likes to lift weights. And y'all know how we are with the boxing. We don't like you lifting weights. You know what I'm saying? Richard Castaway said, Kato Plant's last fight with that belt. Canelo going to take it from him. Right, it'll be tough on Canelo, though, man. Because like I said, I keep saying Canelo like for you to stay in front of him. He don't like a motherfucker that got that got lateral movement and make Canelo come find him. And plus the dude got the size advantage over Canelo too. I think it'll be tough on Canelo, man. Uh, okay, j Dog said, yeah, he has no uh, amateur background. Yeah, for sure. Mastermind said the slam dunk contest is on fire, goddamn. I ain't even been watching that shit in a while. I do like watching Zach Levine. I like that Aaron Gordon. But ever since they was doing their thing, I just ain't been on it that much. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to go check out the uh, the uh, highlights on YouTube. El Vanessa, wrong sporting person to be learning on the job. Yeah, I mean, the only thing is Caleb Plant has shown that if you keep putting pressure on him like Uskatagi did, you can eventually catch up to him. You know what I'm saying? So there is some shit that this dude can do. If he able to whip with, with – uh, if he able to survive the storm that Caleb Plant gonna put on him early, and Caleb Plant starts slowing down, Fagum Boost can can catch up to him with something. Uh, Eric Law said Fagum Boost look like uh Bershear from Remember the Titans. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's pro- that's probably one of um Plant's uh, weaknesses, man. His kryptonite it's probably his gas tank. You know, he get a pressure, super super pressure fighter on that can take punches. You know, that probably uh, hurt him in the late rounds, but. His boxing skills, man. We're going to see right now. Yep, yep. <clears throat> and plus, you, you see that motherfucker when they got in that snack program. So you can get that gas tank on point. You know what I'm saying? Kick sign socially said Canelo is a fraud. Hey, man, he can fight. He got skills. He's uh kind of uh unprecedented the way he ain't got no amateur background. And he got all the way to the top of the sport. Uh, fought Mayweather, fought a cash cow. He was involved in like the third highest pay-per-view grossing fight of all time, I believe. I think that's number three. So, you know, he he unprecedented. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, his opponents, bro, he ain't fighting nobody in their 20s. Like Marlo always say, he always got stipulations in the contract that give him the advantage and shit. So it's kind of hard to know exactly how good he is, bro. We got to start seeing him with some guys in some fair situations. See him with some guys that's not in their mid thirties, and then we'll see. And just thinking about that, I would say he ain't fighting no Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant ain't old enough. He, you got to be 34, 35 years old if you want to fight Canelo. J. Dow said weights are fine if you uh, lift like a track runner instead of a football player. Yeah, you know, I be getting on the weights, but you're right though. It's the way you do it. Like for example, uh, uh, Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach got a real serious weight program in his gyms. He feel like if 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 the fighter don't lift weights, they at a disadvantage. But it's about how you do it, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's more about reps and shit than lifting heavy weights. This kid, Figum Boost, he look like he lift heavy weights. You know, he look like a power lifter. 
Iceberg Nerd said, correction, Aaron Gordon had another dunk and got a 50 dunk out. Goddamn, so Aaron Gordon in this one, huh? Yeah, I like Aaron Gordon. I like when he jumped over the mascot head and put the ball in, underneath him, his legs and shit and then dunked that motherfucker. I thought that shit was a player-ass dunk. If he said, plant the wrong fight for Canelo. I think so, too, man. Cyber Supreme TV said, Aaron Gordon uh, finna win this one. It looked like he gonna finally get him one, huh? Because he couldn't beat that boy, Zach Levine. If he said, left side, yeah, left side, strong side, yeah. <laughs> when I played uh, football as a kid, though, I was a weak side linebacker. Strong left. Dead game boxing said Vincent is nice. You talking about Vincent Fagan? Is Vincent Fagan boots dude is nice? All right, bro, La La D said Trey just called him Fegan. Goddamn, okay, appreciate that. She going to help me out early. Dead game boxing said I don't like these hard fights at home, man. They been janky. Miss Lex Lex said, do you think Charlo will ever fight Andre? Man, I hope so, man. I don't I don't really know shit. It's hard for me to say if these fighters going to fight each other, but all I can say is I hope so. Uh, Underground Asylum said, thank goodness Jack Reese is not the ref for this fight. Absolutely. D'Lo said, Canelo got tough opponents everywhere he turns. God damn, he's stuck between the rock and the hard place. That motherfucker sound like uh, Jack Dempsey. You can either fight uh, Gene Tunney or you can fight Harry Wheels. Pick your poison, motherfucker. Uh... Well, I'm about to lost my spot. Okay, Seth Shaw said Caleb has had stamina problems in the past. Yes, absolutely. Chris Brown said Sweet Hands has a Gatorade bottle. Yeah. No, Roger, I said let's hope to fight in that home curse don't get planned. Yeah, Phoenicia said Canelo will fight planned at 157 and a quarter for sure. Dilo said I'm more impressed with Wilder and Sergio Martinez than Canelo's. I don't know exactly what you mean by that. I know, I think Sergio Martinez didn't have much of an amateur background. Wilder did have 35 fights 30 and 5 and go to the olympics and win a bronze medal you know what i'm saying but yeah i, I think i feel where you're coming from it's a sign of the times i'm out to get mine all i live is a life of a crime what's up with it man what's going down I say salute to the panel in the chat you know what i'm saying d-lo talking about the accomplishments starting started from the bottom there we hear type shit i ain't mad at you jada said in track we burn out in football we bulk absolutely Derek Bailey said, Facts, Trey, you can't be a serious young contender and a real prospect and expect to fight Canelo. Hell no. Nah. Absolutely not, man. You got to be 35, 35, I mean, 36 years old type shit if you want to fight Canelo, boy. All right. <clears throat> Getting ready for the first round. <clears throat> Give him a little old shit. Turn right. All right, here we go. Action on the way. All right, they meet in the center of the ring. Kayla playing out there, pulled with Lee Hand. Went to the body with the jab from the orthodox stance and pushed the back. Finger boots trying to catch the tune. That's Fegan. All right, pulled with Lee Hand, looking for opening on Caleb Plant over the sides of the Muppet shit. She was, she was a fan. Plant stepped in with the jab. Stepped in with the double jab at the time. It was lightning fast. Step back in the ring. Shot a little fan at Fegan boots. Fegan boots trying to bob weave a little bit, trying to catch up to Caleb Plant, trying to walk in the front door. Stepped in with a jab with his head off the center line. Might have took a jab for the same time from Caleb Plant, though. He over the seven to him. All right, over there. Got the good knee flex and shit. Caleb Plant upstairs with, with the jab downstairs, with the jab back and still with the jab again and stepped his head back. Shot little fan at Fegan Boots. Fegan Boots trying to bob weave. Caleb Plant stepped in with the jab with his head out the center line and stepped back in the ring. Fegan Boots over there bobbing the weaving. Caleb Plant with the jab with his head out the center line and snapped his head back with it. Posted up right there in front of him. Stepped in with a double jab, one upstairs, one downstairs. Back to the body with the jab again. That's Caleb Plant. Then he walked off on him. Shooting the series of feints at Fegan Boots. Fegan Boots trying to go to the body with the jab this time from the orthodox stands. Got the hands up good. Shooting the series of feints. Plant stepped in with the jab, trying to spit the with it. Back up, stir with the jab, back down, stir with the jab, right here to the body from plant. Down, stir with the jab, back up, stir with the jab again. That's plant. All right, got the defense relaxed. Jab to the body from Fegan Boots. Back up, stir with the jab again. That's Fegan Boots. And back his ass up. Over there, trying to put the press on Caleb Plant right now. Shooting the series of fame. Pro with Lee Hand. Lee right here for Caleb Plant. Couldn't tell if he landed clean, though. Pro with Lee Hand. Down to the body from plant to the solar plexus. Back up, stir with the jab at the time. That's Caleb Plant. Got a defense relaxed. Jabbing the short right hand to the body from Fegan Boots. And back Caleb Plant up. Caleb Plant shooting the series of fame. Jabbing the foe to the body from plant. Back and step with the jab, back there, step with the jab again. This Caleb Plant. Then he walked off on V. All right, here come Finger Boots trying to go to the body with the jab. Caleb Plant step back in the range, real cool and calm. All right, trying to measure rise with the lean hand and shit. All right, Finger Boots over there trying to size him up a little bit, looking for opening on Plant. Still jab from Caleb Plant with the defense relaxed. They both hit each other with the jab at the same time. Finger Boots trying to bob weave a little bit, got the defense relaxed right there in front of Caleb Plant, looking for opening. Caleb Plant trying to measure rise with lean hand. Two, three tight combination from Finger Boots and back Plant up. 
playing over there, probably in, size him up, looking for openings, shooting, see what's a fancy figure boost. Step there with the jab, but he ain't commit to it though, it's Caleb Plant. Step there with the jab again, it's Caleb Plant. Loop a right hand to the body from Caleb Plant. Shot a little fancy figure boost and got a reaction. Step jab from Caleb Plant. Left hook to the body from figure boost for a trouble though. Figure boost shooting, see what's fancy. Jab from Caleb Plant with his head up the line. Back to the body with the jab again, that's Caleb Plant. All right, step back the range, real cool and calm. Major rise with the lead hand, put the stiff arm out there. Super see what's a fancy. Here come a jab from figure boost for Caleb Plant. Step back at the range, real cool and calm. 33 seconds left to go on the rab right now. Figure boost over the look for opening on Kayla Plant, pro over the lead hand, trying to cut the ring off on Plant, Plant over there, on the ass of the ring, jab to the body from finger boots. Plant step back of the range, real cool and calm. Mesh rise with Lee hand, look for opening. Jab from finger boots once again. Kayla Plant on the ass of the ring. Shit. Finger boots right to front of looking for opening, trying to find the rhythm. Here come a jab from Kayla Plant to back them up. Hand up step with the jab again. This Kayla Plant. Finger boots over there, bobbing the weave a little bit. Got his hands good, look for opening. Jab up step from Plant, jab down, step from Plant. Looping right hand to the body from Plant. Back up step with the jab at the time. Looping right hand around the golf for Kayla Plant. All right, jab to the body from finger boots. Kayla Plant said he's going to reset on. He on the ass of the ring, and it's the end of that round. Appreciate that, Mr. Frost, in the chat. What you think, bro? No, I think that was Caleb Plant round. Um, he got vegan boots reacting to the feints. The the jab was the perfect punch, setting everything off the jab. Everything that uh vegan boots tried to bring to Caleb was just basically data because it wasn't really nothing flush. Um, landed, but uh, Plant round. Yeah, y'all remember too. This is vegan boots first fight in the United States, and you know if you a professional fighter. You ain't fought until you fight in the USA. You know what I'm saying? Uh, d said, no home fight. Uh, no home fight. Bad air come BS. Plant needs to run over that man. Yeah, Fegan Boots look pretty strong, though. Cyber Supreme TV said, uh, Fegan Boots looking for one punch. Uh, Tom Banger said, uh, Kayla ran. I agree with you. Appreciate the mess of frogs from my man, Joseph Brown. You know what I'm saying? Fegan Boots standing between rounds and shit, trying to get that psychological advantage in the fight. He didn't really look like as much of a fish out of water as I thought he did. I thought I think he looked like a better fighter than Caleb Plant's last opponent, that Mike Lee cat. Uh, they didn't have no amateur background either, fighting in the Bengal Scouts and shit at Notre Dame. He he fought a Notre Dame fighter, you know what I'm saying? All right, playing out there, pro with Lee Ham, winning the second round right now. Figan Boots got his hands on good look for opening. Jab to the body from Figan Boots. Jab up seven from Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant stepped in with like a five-post combination. Looked like he landed three of them. Snapped his head back with the jab. Snapped his head back with the jab again. That's Caleb Plant. Got a defense relaxed, posted up in front of Figan Boots. Figan Boots stepped in with a stiff jab of his own. Looked like he landed right on the chin. Got his hands on good. Caleb Plant trying to mess and rise with the Lee Ham. Lee up hook type pump from Figan Boots, but it looked like he might have missed it. Caleb Plant stepped back at the range with Cooler Con. The referee need to get his Ass out the way. Still jab from Caleb Plant this time. Got the defense relaxed. Jab to the body from of uh, Caleb Plant. Back up still with a five-two tight combination. That's Caleb Plant. Vegan Boost said he ain't going nowhere. He left hook on his ass from Caleb Plant. Brought back the left uppercut. Can't even up with the four this time. That's Caleb Plant. Shot the jab right there. My, more like the stiff arm. Shot the jab right there this time for real. That's Caleb Plant. Here come Vegan Boost trying to bob and weave. Trying to go to the body with the jab this time. Got his hands are good. That's Vegan Boost. Caleb Plant shooting the series of fancy Vegan Boost. Vegan Boost trying to bob and weave. Looking for opening. Still jab from Caleb Plant with the defense real relaxed. Step there with the jab. The time with his head out to the line, this plant. Except then with the jab again, that's Caleb Plant. He hit him, but Figure Boots missed his jab. Right hand to the body from Caleb Plant and step back of the range. Figure Boots trying to bob and weave, looking for opening on Caleb Plant. So right hand from Caleb Plant and backed his ass up. Couldn't tell from Landon King. Snapped his head back with a stiff jab, another stiff jab from Caleb Plant on his head. Here comes Jab from Figure Boots, but Caleb Plant stepped back of the range with Cool and Con. Jab to the body from Plant this time and backed uh, Figure Boots up. Eat up, who goes that from Plant? Ball back and right hand and left uppercut type punch. Might have been a 45 degree type punch. Right hand to the body from Caleb Plant. Man's rise with uh, Rehearsing side. Step down with a three punch combination. End up with a left hook to the body. That's plan. Here come a jab on Vegan Boots, though. It's not his head back. Got his hands are good. Hey, the plant put a stiff arm on him. Thought about coming with the four hand, put the trigger. Step down with a two one type combination. Long range right uppercut type punch from plant. Plant stepped in with a, 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 a four punch combination. Ended with a double left uppercut type punch. All right. Stepped in with the jab the time for the orthodox stand. That's Kayla Plant. plan. Here come Fegan Boots. Kayla Plant shot a little faint at the motherfucking scared the soul out of it like Shane Song. Jab to the body from Fegan Boots this time. He over the seven to plant. Jab to the body from Fegan Boots back up several the right hand, but he missed it though. And motherfucker plant looking at the ring like, where you punching that goddamn? Look like Billy Joe Saunders when he went up against David Lemieux. But here come Fegan Boots trying to cut the ring off on plant. Plant stepped in with a double jab right hand to the body, came up several with some more shit. Left hook and a looper right hand on Zab from plant. Fegan Boots trying to push him back. Double jab and a right up cut to the body from plant. Jab the looper right hand around the guard. From plant this time and step back of the ring. Here go Fegan Boots stepped in with something. Got enough up and cut to the body from plant and brought back the hook to the head and pushed it back. Shot a little fan that Fegan Boots and stuck his head back with the stiff jab at the time. This Caleb Plant. Here go Fegan Boots trying to bob weave a little bit, trying to get on the inside on plant. Stepped in with the jab and plant came on top of the jab with the short right hand. Couldn't tell the landing clean though. Stepped in with that jab. Here go a jab from Fegan Boots and pushed it back. Caleb Plant staying cool and calm, maintaining the range. Stepped in with the jab. Jab to the body from Caleb Plant this time and backed him up again. Jab to the body.
everybody from finger boots like to the corner of the real cage. He over to step in the plant right now. Plant got the defense relaxed, stepped in with a jab on his ass and pushed it back. Right there in front of him, finger boots towards the center of the ring. Hey, lead up, up, hooking and came back with left uppercut. That's plant. Hard that hook to the body from finger boots. Looks like he got plant attention with that shit too. I don't think that body shot felt too good. All right, man. Appreciate everybody. Hit that like button and subscribe. And appreciate that Mr. Frowls in the chat. What you think, bro? I think that was another round for Plant, man. Another dominating, sweeping round for Plant. Everything there, and it's all set up off the jab. Then he mix it up with the lead punches. Uh, another good round for Plant. Yeah. Yeah, Fegan Boots going to have to start working on trying to get him some body work in there. Slow this motherfucker down. Plant is way too goddamn fast. I think that last left hook to the body that Fegan Boots landed, I think that shit hurt Plant a little bit, though. I saw a little change in his in his rhythm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tom Banks said White Chocolate is staying on him. It's styling on him. Yeah, White Chocolate is styling on his ass. God damn, that was a 3-2-5 combination. Yeah, I just saw him laying on the replay. That shit was pretty. Yeah, he punching around that guard and shit, man. Can't wait to start seeing Kayla Plant in the ring with some good fighters. Cyber Supreme TV said 2 to nothing for Plant. And he lost at round 5 TKO. I'm going to stay with my round 6. If he said that body shot hurt Plant. I think it hurt Plant too, bro. Hey, I just saw the replay. He caught that shit on the glove. He caught the body shot? Yep, yep, yep. All right, Plant after man's rise with Lee hand. Good knee flexing this shit from finger boots right in front of him. Jab from Plant, but he misses it, though. Jab to the body from finger boots and push him back. His hands are good. Plant stepped in with a jab. Stepped in with like a six, seven punch combination. He lit his ass up like fourth of these lot. Back and step with a jab at the time. Back and step with a jab again. Jab to the body from finger boots. Jab with the right hand to the body from Plant. Bump back to three to the body. That's Plant. Got a defense relaxed. Finger boots stepped in with a jab. Jab from Plant. Right hand to the body from Plant and backed his ass up. Here go finger boots. Jab upstairs from Plant and snapped his head back with that shit. Stepped in with a jab again. Look from right hand to the Body from Plant. Step to a lead left uppercut. Right here, left uppercut on his ass again from Plant. Lighten this boy ass up. All right? Here come Fingerboo trying to catch him to him, though. He got his hands so good. He over to step in the Kayla Plant. Kayla Plant said he gonna box him a little bit right now. Moving the groove on the ass of the ring. Put that motherfucker bile stick along. Bling, bling. He will move to the left, back to the right, back to the left again. Fingerboo trying to cut the ring off on Plant. Bob and the weaving, shooting series of face to Plant. Plant staying cool and calm. He ain't going for nothing. Stepped in with the jab, staying at home on his ass. Upstairs with the jab, going to step with the jab, back and step with the jab again. Stepped in with the three punch combination. Back and step with the jab again. That's Kayla Plant. All right? Got back on the move and shit towards Ash's ring. Shot a little finger, they and boost his gas and soul at that motherfucker. Finger boost stepped in with a jab at the time, but he missed it though. Kayla Plant over there moving the groove. Jab to the corner of the real cake from finger boost. Jab from Kayla Plant on the move on his head. Got a defense relax. Stepped in with a jab. Stepped in with like a five punch combination and lit his ass up again like a Christmas tree. But here come finger boost trying to catch up to Kayla Plant. Lead right hand on his ass for Kayla Plant. Right? Lead right hand again for Kayla Plant. Right? Here come finger boost. Jab for Kayla Plant this time. Snap his head back with it. Finger boost right there in front of him. Bobbing and weaving a little bit. Look for opening. Stepped in with a stiff jab this time. This finger boost. Kayla Plant on that footwork. Here, right? Got the sweet hands. Stepped in with the jab the time. He missed it though. Lead that upper cup from Kayla Plant. Step back in the rain. Jab to the body from finger boots. But Kayla Plant just parried it. Here come a jab from Kayla Plant this time. Right? Jab from Kayla Plant again. Jab from Kayla Plant again. Got the bird's eye view on him. Right? Looping right hand around the guard, but he missed it though. Finger boots step back in the range. We're cool and calm. Jab from Kayla Plant this time. Right on the forehead. Lead up hoops like pump from finger boots and back Kayla Plant up. He over the second plant. Plant stepped in with the jab to the head. Jab to the body. Step back in the rain. Shot the steel form out there. Looking for opening. Stepped in with like a two one combination. Finger boots came back with something. The finger boots just started leaking out his nose and shit real bad. Jab to the body from finger boots. Shaq who goes out from Kayla Plant. Kayla Plant stepped in with a four punch combination. Pushing back with a stiff arm. Here comes still jab from finger boots. Said he ain't no punk. He up who goes out from Plant. Left hook to the body. Bump back the left rubber cut straight up the middle from Kayla Plant and backed his ass up. Shot to the paint and finger boots. Step jab from Kayla jab from Kayla Plant. It was like a stop jab. That's the equivalent of a check hook, but it's a jab version. Here comes a jab to the body from finger boots and Kayla Plant got back on the move and shit. That box could then turn into a Ferrari in this one. Like a room, room. You know, that's the ring. Stepped in with a jab at the time. Stepped in with a jab, left hook, left up a cut and came back with the right hand this time. That's Kayla Plant. Shot a little fan at Finger Boots. Finger Boots trying to look for opening. Jab to the chest there from Finger Boots. Got his hands are good. Kayla Plant crashing Tiger Hidden Dragon right now. Right the front of him. Stepped in with a jab with his head out of the center line. That's Kayla Plant. Finger Boots said he ain't going nowhere. Still jab from Kayla Plant. We're going to make you go somewhere. Chopping down this tree. Jab to the bike from Finger Boots. Kayla Plant said he's going to take a stroll on that motherfucker. And it's the end of that round, man. Appreciate it for everybody. Hit that like button and subscribe. What you think about the action, bro? Man, I think, man, Plant just beating the brakes, rotors, everything off this dude, man. Oh, you said yeah, that quick. Yeah, no, nah, my bad, the motherfucking neighbor. But, yeah, man, I think he's doing everything getting there, man. You see the little stop jabs. He hit him a couple times with it. You see the combination punches getting in and out. You see the jab. Uh, it's just a hard puzzle for old boy in there, man. He's getting the brakes beat off of him. 
Yeah, it's just a different in class, man. Different in, difference in class. Appreciate the mess of frogs in the chat. Joseph Bass and Sweet Hands ain't playing with Puss and Boots. Yeah, real shit. Nigga G, you yeah, playing. Cyber Supreme TV, Fagan Boots, following and playing Fist. La La D said, good point. Okay, talking to Smooth Teddy B. Miss Lexler, yeah, damn. Randy Socal said, Plant got this fight. Yeah, this shit looking like easy work. My man j Dog said, Plant carrying the motherfucking shit. He carrying them into them combinations. Appreciate that mess of frogs from the queen. Uh, damn, she had spoken. Smooth Teddy B said, that's a scary thing. If Plant fight Benavidez and Canelo, he doesn't like body work. Okay, bro said he had blocked the motherfucker, though. So he said, I was just, I, I, I just saw a mirage. You know what I'm saying? But we're getting ready for the third round, all right? Plant shot the jab out there. He left hook on his ass from Plant and broke back the left hook for cut on his ass. Stepped in with a jab. Pick up a jab from finger boot. Jab to the back from Plant. Whipped a few body shots on his ass. Back and shoved with a jab at the time. Spit the guard with this case of Plant. Finger boot trying to cut the ring off on Plant. Stepped in with a jab, but Plant was long gone. Looking at the ring like, boy, where are you swinging that goddamn me? Still on that footwork. Still on ass of the ring. Shot another fan that finger boots and stepped in with a jab at the time. Shot another fan that finger boot. Stepped in with a jab with his hand on the center line. This case of Plant. Left hook to the back from finger boot for a trouble though. Double jabbing a loop from right hand to the bike from plant. Might have threw it from too far away though. Stepped in with a jab at the time for orthodox stand. He's gonna jab from finger boots. We threw it from too far away. Jab from Caleb Plant. Loop from right hand to the bike from Caleb Plant. Three point combination from Caleb Plant upside his motherfucking head. Right up, pop back the hook on his ass. This plant. Back and step with a jab at the time. This Caleb Plant on an orthodox stand. Posted up in front of finger boots. Stepped in with a jab at the time for orthodox stand. He up hook to the bike from finger boots and Caleb Plant just tied him up and. Put his back against the ropes. We got two minutes to go in the fourth round. The referee just came and broke him. I plant shot a little fan at Fegan Boots. Fegan Boots trying to bob weave a little bit, trying to catch up the plant. Stepped in with the jab at the time for the orthodox stand. That's Fegan Boots. I over there shooting the series of fans at plant. Plant stepped in with the jab at the time and backed him up. Leave right hand from Fegan Boots, but he missed it and came back with the jab at the time. Okay, the plant shot a little fan that moved to the left, back to the right. Leave right hand on the jab from plant. Here come a jab from Fegan Boots trying to cut the ring off on plant. Plant moving and grooving. Shot the jab out there. Here come a jab to the body from Fegan Boots. Okay, the plant was long gone. It stay left. Then he stepped in with the jab, hooking up the jab, right hand on his jab from Caleb Plant. He stepped back to the ring, back towards the center of the ring. Here come a jab from finger boots. All right? Here come a double jab from finger boots. Caleb Plant showing decent defenses, motherfucker. They don't call them sweet hands for nothing. Stepped in with the jab at the time. This Caleb Plant on the ass of the ring got the defense for that. Here come a jab to the body from finger boots. That look like a real strong jab. He need to be throwing strong jab. Caleb Plant trying to maintain that range with the stiff arm. Here come back a three-two-three type combination from finger boots. Caleb Plant had to get his ass up better. Stepped in with the jab, double jab, right hand and left hook to the the body from Kayla Plant. He left off a cup of Kayla Plant and she was pretty. And he came back with right hand. He left hooked to the body from Plant. He doubled up on it. Jab to the body from Kayla Plant. Fiegel Boots tried to come back with something. Bobbing and weaving, looking for opening. Here comes a jab from Kayla Plant. Double jab from Fiegel Boots and Clant stepped back out of range real cool and calm. Got both his hands down and shit. All right? Stepped in with a jab so he punched couldn't tell exactly what that was from Kayla Plant. Here comes a jab to the corner of the real cave from Fiegel Boots. That was a good, a strong jab. All right? Jab with the right hand from Fiegel Boots, but he missed it. Kayla Plant still looking out the ring. God damn, where is he trying to? What is you trying to hit? He stepped in with the jab this time for orchard that stand. Kind of left uppercut from plant. Back up step with a stiff jab on his head. This came to plant. Shot a little pain at Fiegel Boots. Fiegel Boots tried to go to the body with something. I'm going to take a check hook type pump from plant. I think that's what they were. He eat up hook from plant and went to the body with the hook. Shot a little jab. I mean, shot a faint. Back up step with the jab this time. This came to plant. He got a jab right hand left hook to the body from Fiegel Boots. Just rushed in with that shit. Bull rushed his ass. All right, referee just came and broke him. We got eight seconds left to go in the round. All right, and back towards center of the ring. He left uppercut. Can't even have the right hand left hook. That's Caleb Plant. And step back to the ring. He right hand from Caleb Plant. Jab to the body from finger boots. Jab to the body from finger boots again. And it's the end of that round, man. All right, uh, what you think about it, bro? Well, I think that's another uh, dominant Caleb Plant round. Finger boots can't really get off hardly. No work. You know what I'm saying? And, and Plant just working off the jab, man. But the lead uppercut is just catching him off guard. A lot of times it ain't scoring. Well, they do get in there as eye catching uh, plant round. Yeah, see, this is why plant is my favorite one at, at uh, 168. Like, it, the shit just look like some special effects. It just it just look pretty. It looks smooth. I think I saw somebody say, look, Joseph Brown said, plant smooth with it. Yeah, I swear, I swear he just smooth with this shit. Jew with the B said, did plant hurt the man with a jab? Well, when you shoot your jab and your opponent trying to shoot something and you catch him, like, off guard with it, you can't hurt the motherfucker, man. It don't it don't take a lot to hurt a motherfucker with a punch they don't see coming. You know what I'm saying? Cyber Supreme TV got it folded nothing plant. Tony Boswell got it folded nothing. Randy SoCal said he liked that round for plant. You know what I'm saying? Doing good work. Chris Brown said, bring on Ben Avidez. I'm with you. Cyber Supreme TV said plant got to smash the gas to finish, man. I think I had him in this round. I think this, what is this, a sixth round or the fifth round? Might be the fifth. Let me get a little bit more water real quick. Right? 
All right, <clears throat> Luper right here from Petty came back with three more shots on his ass and backed him up. We in the fifth round. Here comes a stiff jab from Caleb Plant once again on the Astro Dream. Here comes a stiff jab from Fegan Boots. Couldn't tell if he landed clean, though. Got his hands are good. Stiff jab from Caleb Plant. Another jab right here to the body from Caleb Plant. Stepped in with a two-three combination. That's Caleb Plant. Fegan Boots said he ain't going nowhere. Stiff jab from Caleb Plant again. Jab to the body from Plant. Back up step with a stiff jab on his ass again for Caleb Plant. Shot a little fan of Fegan Boots. Fegan Boots over there trying to mesmerize a little bit. Here comes a jab from Caleb Plant this time. Spit to go off with it. Came up with a double jab this time, it's Caleb Plant. Back up step with the jab again, it's Caleb Plant with the defense relaxed right now. He could be jab from Fegan Boots, but he threw it from too far away, trying to cut the ring off on Plant. Plant out there moving and grooving after the ring. Trying to hit him with a check hook type punch, but he missed it. Took a jab to the body from Fegan Boots. He could be jab up step for Caleb Plant this time on the move and shit. Putting that stiff arm out there so he can maintain his range. Stepped in with the jab this time, it's Caleb Plant. He come uh, Fegan Boots over there, uh, probably. Yeah. He could be stiff jab from Plant. He could be jab from Fegan Boots, but he missed it though. Caleb Plant right in front of him. Double jab from Fegan Boots and brought back the hook on his head. Hooking out the jab. He got a jab with a right hand to the body from Caleb Plant. Back and step with the jab this time from the orthodox stand. This Caleb Plant. He a hook on his ass from Plant. Brought back the left upper cut. That was like a lead six and brought back the uh, lead five and brought back the, uh, I mean, lead three and brought back the five. Figure Boots trying to put something on Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant out there moving and grooving on the ass of the ring. Figure Boots trying to cut the ring off on Plant looking for an opening. Caleb Plant over there sizing him up and shit. He got a double jab from Figure Boots and they got tangled up. Caleb Plant just turned him and tried to put his back against the rope. Ref, we just came with rope. Three punt combination. Caleb Plant, two to the body and one to the head. Back and step with the jab this time. Back and step with the jab again. It's Caleb Plant for the orthodox stand. Side of the fan that Fegan boots. Fegan boots over there looking for opening. Trying to cut the ring off on Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant was moving to the right, back to the left. He on the ass of the ring. He got a jab from Fegan boots, but Caleb Plant just stepped back out of the ring. He right in front of him. Stepped there with the jab this time. It's Caleb Plant. Still got the defense relaxed. Shooting the series of pain. Eat up. Who to the back from Fegan boots. Back and step with the right hand and left hand this time from Fegan boots. Caleb Plant had to get his ass up out of there. Got back on that bicycle and shit. Stepped in with the jab. Hard right hand. The straight right hand. Straight Right down Martin Luther King Boulevard. Back and step with the jab this time. This Caleb Plant. Seven on oh, hard right hand from Plant. Plant over the rip of shots. Body on his ass and step back to the rain. Stepped in with the jab. Another right cross on this motherfucking ass. Here comes a jab from Figure Boost. Jab from Figure Boost. Good defense from Caleb Plant. Goddamn, he can't touch this like MC Hammer. Looking smooth out there. Stepped in with a jab and straight right hand. Straight down Broadway. Here comes a 2 1 2. I mean, 2 1 combination from Figure Boost. Caleb Plant got up out of there. Hey, another right hand from Caleb Plant and backs his ass up. Figure Boost got his hands are good. Bending at the knees and shit, looking for opening. It's a hard right hand from Plant. Back and step with the jab at the time, that's Caleb Plant. Stepped in with a lead left hook to the body, that's Caleb Plant. So I love the fan of him. Jab to the chest there from Figure Boots. Try to double up a left hook to the body from Figure Boots. Plant got up out of there, right? Back, Plant on that screen. Stepped in with a lead left hook on his ass and pushed him back, back towards the center of the ring. Figure Boots trying to find the rhythm, trying to find the opening. Here come a jab from Caleb Plant, but he missed it though. Figure Boots out there probably and looking for opening. Jab to the body from Figure Boots. Caleb Plant staying cool and calm. Plant touched with a jab with his head off the center line. And it's the end of that round. G, appreciate it for everybody. Hit that like button and subscribe. What you think, bro? Man, I think playing this back to you look like he, he working on his stamina. And I hope that's what the hell he's doing. But uh, he looking like he up in the ring with his little brother and shit. You going to stay away from them corner boys? <clears throat> Jab. Oh, you're not? <clears throat> Uppercut. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Dominant uh, Caleb Plant round. Yeah, man. He, I don't think it's uh he trying to coast. I see him putting some hard shots on this boy. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to put some hurt on the motherfucker. Fecan Boots just saw some good toughness. Uh, Chris Brown said plant beats Benavidez easily. Man, I don't know if it just be super easy, but I think he'll beat that motherfucker for sure. Tom Banger said Fecan Boots is getting frustrated. Yeah. Randy Socal said he like planting that round. Snacks B said them left hooks to the body are paying off a plant. Yeah. Iceberg Nerd said Fecan Boots just can't put anything meaningful on plant. Appreciate that mess of frowns in the chat, y'all. Cypher Supreme TV said, file nothing for Plant. Nitty G said, I got Plant against anybody at 168. I'm with you. Elf Nitty said, Plant looking like he uh, strained something. Okay, I didn't even notice. All right, we're getting ready for the uh, sixth round. This is the round that I picked the fight to get stopped in. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Action on the way. All right, here comes uh, uh, Finger Boots looking for opening on Plant. Stepped in with a double jab this time, but Plant stepped back in the rain. Knee right here from Plant, but he misses, though. Jab to the body from Finger Boots right there in front of Plant. Plant stepped in with a jab with his head off the center line. Stepped in with a four punch combination. Finger Boots trying to chase him down with a jab with the right hand to the body. Okay, the Plant sprawled and got up out of there, though. Side of the fan of Finger Boots. Stepped in with a jab. Here comes a double jab from Finger Boots, but he misses, though. Good defense from Kayla Plant. All right, Kayla Plant shot a little fan of him. Stepped in with a jab, but he threw it from too far away. Finger Boots tried to jump on it with three punch combination. 
combination with the bitches, though. He right there in front of Kayla Plant. Probably he ain't looking for opening on him, sizing him up. Stepped in with a one two one type combination. Looking right here to the body. Trying to put hands on Kayla Plant right now. Going to the body with some shit. Hard left hook to the body. Left hook to the body again. Back on step with a jab with the right hand. Kayla Plant shaking his head, showing Bavado talking about that shit wasn't nothing. Finger boots over there talking shit to him. Kayla Plant talking shit. Got back on the move. Moving to the left, back to the right to crunk up that motherfucking motorcycle again. Finger boots right there in front of him. Kayla Plant trying to put a two punch combination on him, but he missed it. Stepped over the stiff jab the time. Another jab for Kayla Plant. Finger boots said he undeterred in this motherfucker trying to catch up to him. Trying to probe with Lee and look for opening. Jab to the right from Finger boots, but he took a stiff jab right on the nose for Kayla Plant. Jab the right hand straight up the middle for Kayla Plant, straight down Broadway. Stepped in with a jab and loop right hand around the guard. Us there with the jab back down, still with the jab again. This Kayla Plant step back in the ring. Finger boots trying to cut the ring off on Plant, looking for a rhythm. Got his hands up good, sizing him up a little bit. Kayla Plant out there probe with Lee in. Stepped in with a lead level uppercut type punch. That's Plant step back in the ring. Finger boots trying to bob weave a little bit, trying to uh, work him to the neutral corner. Touch him with the jab, trying to hook off the jab, trying to come back with another left foot. And Kayla Plant was long gone once again. So I'm a a little bit, a little, little shoulder, a little shimmy shake a little bit. Right? Lee right hand straight up the middle for Kayla Plant. Here come a one, two, one type combination from Finger Boots. Kayla Plant was long gone once again. Moving to the left, back to the right. Sipped in with the lead level hook and came back with the left uppercut. That's the lead three, and he came back with the five. Back and step with the jab, back and step with the jab, with another jab from Kayla Plant. Got a defense relax. Stepped in with a two, one type combination, pulled back the hook on his ass. All right, he's going to figure boost over there trying to catch the two and leave right here for play, but he threw it from too far away. All right, right there in the center of the ring. Stepped in with a jab at the time for an orthodox stand. That's Kayla Plant. Finger boost shooting the was a fan. Stepped in with a jab, took a jab for a trouble with Kayla Plant. All right, back towards the center of the ring. Finger boost got his hands up good. Jab to the body from Plant. Jab from, from Finger boost. Jab again from Finger boost. Looked like he landed that shit too. Fake Kayla Plant shot a little fan at Finger boost. Finger boost stepped in with a jab to the corner of the real cage area. Couldn't tell if landed clean. Leave right here for Kayla Plant. They got tangled up. All right, referee about to come break from just. Uh, it's 27 seconds left to go in the round. The referee dusts the debris off the girls from Fegan Boots. Serious defense from Caleb Plant. Back and step with the jab. Back down, step with the jab. Came with the right hand left hook. Stepped in with a 2 5 combination this time. That's Caleb Plant. Here comes Fegan Boots trying to cut the, catch up to Caleb Plant. Stepped in with a jab. Took a check hook type one from Plant and a jab to the body from Plant for a trouble. Right? Fegan Boots put the jab to the body. Back and step with the jab this time. That's Fegan Boots. Stepped in with a double jab. Right hand to the body. Back and step with the jab again. That's Fegan Boots. Good defense from Plant, though. Plant stepped in with the jab. Hard right hand from Caleb Plant. Stepped in with the jab again. It's the end of that round. All right. What you think about it, bro? Man, I, it's hard for me to give Fegan Boost that round, man, because his aggression wasn't effective. Uh, it was playing more defense that was more eye-catching than his punches. The plant just controlled the round, basically, man, tamed the line, plant round. All right, yeah, what you think? Yeah, I got to agree with Marlo, bro. I think there was a plant round. But pay attention to plant, bro. I think he hurt himself uh, coming into that uh, – coming out of that fifth round. I think he strained, like, his right abdominal muscle, bro. Okay, okay. Y'all see, we got over 100 people in the chat, so that means that we unlocked El Phoenician. Well, he'll come get on the panel. Appreciate that mess of frogs in the chat, man. Appreciate it for everybody. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have it. Ladies and motherfuckers down here, you break my record. Now I break you. <laughs> Welcome to the gym. This is your first time. Fly is, uh, Fly is God. Hold on. Fly is God on DB. Welcome to the gym. I oh I thought action was back on the way. My bad, I'm tripping. Miss Lexley said they need to hurry up. I need to leave the house in ten minutes. Goddamn, I don't think Fegan Boost trying to go nowhere no time soon. Look like he's trying to take this motherfucker the distance. Fegan Boost is showing some some toughness. He keep his hands up good. You know what I'm saying? Action on the way. I right. two, two two five tight combination for Kayla Plant. Stepped in with the jab at the time this plant. Back to the body with the jab again. That's Kayla Plant in the orthodox stand. Fegan boots out there, pole with the lead hand, look for opening. Stepped in with the jab, stiff jab for Kayla Plant. Kayla Plant with the right hand to the body. Back and step with the left hook tight punch. Then he walked off on Fegan boots. He right hand from Plant. Cut a punch on his ass from Fegan boots. Might have been like a stop jab type punch. He gonna be a jab from Kayla Plant and, and back him up. Stepped in with a jab again. That's Kayla Plant. Fegan boots stand cool and calm right there in front of him, looking for opening. Stepped in with a double jab at the time he commit to it though. Three plus combinations for Kayla Plant in it with the left hook to the body. Jab to the right from Fegan Boots. Kayla Plant shot a little fan of Fegan Boots. Fegan Boots right in front of him. Jab from Kayla Plant. Lead up hook type pump from Fegan Boots. Then they got tangled up. It's two minutes and 12 seconds left to go in the seventh round. The referee just came above them. All right? They towards the center of the ring. Here come Fegan Boots. Probably and looking for opening. Stepped in with a jab, but Kayla Plant stepped back in the range for a cool and calm. Then Kayla Plant on the ass of the ring, moving and grooving. All right? Shot a little fan. Went to the body left hook, back on step and left hook. But he took something back from Fegan Boots. Fegan Boots put a stiff jab on his ass. Here come a jab for Kayla Plant. Fegan Boots trying to. Uh, 
uh, trying to advance on Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant, after his fall, he won't let him hit him clean. He won't ask the green. Stepped in with a jab at the time. He was moving counterclockwise. Stepped in with a jab again. This Caleb Plant. All right. But Finger was trying to bother Weaver a little bit. Stepped down from Caleb Plant right on the mouth on this motherfucking hand. Got the defense for that. So you can boost out there probably. Eat hey? up hook on his ass from Plant and went to the body with the left hook on his ass. Looked like he might have took something back from Finger boosting it in the midst of that exchange. All right. He stepped in with a jab at the time from the orthodox stand. Here come Finger boost with the jab of his own trying to cut the ring off on Plant. Plant out there moving and grooving. Here come a jab from Finger boost with Caleb Plant. Step back in the range. We'll cool and come. Finger boost trying to put in a three punch combination on him. Looked like he might have landed the left hook to the body. But that's all. Here come a jab from Caleb Plant this time. He was moving to the left, back to the right. Lead right hand from Caleb Plant. Cock the jab. Touch with the jab. Ripped a few body shots from his ass and step back to the right. Here comes Jaffa Fika Boost and Caleb Plant stepped in with a lead up hook, but he missed it. Then they got tangled up. Referee about to come break him. He's taking a close look. He just broke him. Caleb Plant shot a little faint at him. We got a minute left to go in this round. Fika Boost over the Bible to weaving. Stepped in with a jab, trying to whip a few body shots on Caleb Plant's ass. He need to be doing that, doing more of that. Here comes Jaffa from Caleb Plant this time and back Fika Boost up. Shot another little faint at Fika Boost. Fika Boost looking for an opening, trying to cut the ring off on Plant. On his toes a little bit, trying to work the lactic acid out of the cab muscle. Stepped in with a jab and took a check. Come on, this jab from Caleb Plant. Here comes Fika Boost, Bible to weaving. Went to the Bible with the jab. Back and step with the jab again. Then they got tangled up. Caleb Plant tried to sneak a little body shot in the midst of the clinch. Came up stabbing the left hook in the midst of the clinch. Referee telling the motherfucker, keep this shit close to the Marquise of Queensberry roots. Established in 1890. Lead left hook is there from Plant that went to the body with the left hook. Here comes a jab from Figure Boo. Three put four, five punch combination from Caleb Plant. Lit his ass up like a Christmas tree once again. Figure Boo's right in front of him. Slip jab from Caleb Plant. Another jab from Caleb Plant. Loop right hand from Caleb Plant. Jack hook on his ass from Figure Boo's the time we got Plant up off of him. Plant out there bending at the waist and shit. Crouching tiger hitting dragon. Stepped in with a jab at the time. Here comes a jab from Finger Boost trying to cut the ring off on Plant. Plant moving and grooving on the acid ring. Jab to the chest there from Finger Boost. Caleb Plant had to get his ass up out there. Plant got his mouth open. Check hoop type pump from Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant looked like that gas tank might be, the, the gas light might be coming on. All right. Uh, everybody on mute. Appreciate the mess of files in the chat. What you think about it, bro? Yeah, man. I, I, um, I can't give, Vegan Boost didn't do enough, man. It was a close round, but I still got the edge of the plant. The jab with the different combination punches. He was able to do uh, his defense was able to uh, also help him out. But man, yeah, this gas tank is starting to kick in. Pay attention. What's this Pay round seven? Huh? Yep. Yeah, what you think about it? Is this my hell? You there? Get your ghost smelling ass off my panel, motherfucker! Uh, fucking up my flow. Cyber Supreme TV said he got a seven or nothing for plant. Chris Brown said tired of these motherfuckers trying to make excuses for Jack Reese. King Lewis said, "I gave that round to old boy. Yeah, that was a, that was a tough round. He tried. I think Caleb Plant won the round, but if you want to give one to him, I guess that was a the best one for Fegum Boots. You know what I'm saying? Iceberg Nerd said, "I want to see Plant finish this cat with a right uppercut. I like how he throwing a lead left hook to the body and bringing back the left uppercut straight up the middle on his head. That shit pretty. All right, we getting ready for the eighth round, I think." All right, action on the way. All right, Caleb Plant with the lead left hook to the body. Brought back the left uppercut to the head. And step back to the rain. Figure boost said he ain't going nowhere, though. All right, but how about the weaving? Looking for opening. Trying to find a rhythm. Stepped in with a stiff jab. He was going to be jabbing the right hand to the body from Caleb Plant. Then he walked off on him. Stepped in with a jab at the time. Stepped in with a jab again. He was going to jab from Figure boost. This different from Plant. Went to the body with jab. Figure boost over the fight back, though. Caleb Plant dug a few body shots. And, 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 and Figure boost came with a one two one type combination. Then pushed him back. Caleb Plant shooting shoes of feints. He was jab from Figure boost. Caleb Plant looked like he got a little bit. Little a bit more alert in his in his in his system right now. Jazz by from Figure Boost took a check hook from Plant. Plant doubled up on it. Here comes a one two one type combination from Figure Boost. Plant just tied him up and put him in the corner and shit. All right, referee just came and broke him. Told Caleb Plant this is not the goddamn be uh, London Prize rules. All right, here comes Caleb Plant put a little combination on him. Another shoe shine combination from Caleb Plant. Figure Boost had to get his ass up under there. Caleb Plant stopped his head back with a jab. Spit the guard with the jab again. Head off the line stepped in with a jab. Here comes a double jab from Figure Boost hooking off that shit. Caleb Plant looked like he kind of he kind of weary a little bit, like like the gas tank. You know what I'm saying? Knee snaps on the petrol. All right, they right there in front of each other. Finger boost out there, probe with the lead hand, look for opening, stepped in with the jab, took a stop jab from, from Plant. Plant stopped his progress with it. And Plant shot a little fan there. Stepped in with a one four one type combination to back his ass up. Might have been a one four five. Here come a two one type combination from Finger Boots. And Plant walked off on him. Plant got a defense black. Stepped in with the jab, trying to hook up the jab. Finger boot trying to do work. Trying to go to the body with the left hook on his ass in the midst of the, 
in the midst of that exchange. Referee just came and broke him. A minute and 28 seconds left to go in the eighth round. Fegan Boots over the step to a look for opening. Jab to the corner of the wheel cave from Fegan Boots. Caleb Plant got his mouth open wide right now. Count enough hook to the bite from Plant and try to bring it back to the head. Then he walked off on it. Stepped in with a jab. Two, three, tight combo left from Caleb Plant. Then they chest to chest right now. Kind of jockeying for position. Caleb Plant with the bite left hook. Back of step left hook. Short right hand from Fegan Boots so he can get him off of him. Shot the jab out there, but Caleb Plant just slipped the jab. Got the defense black. They both hit each other with a jab at the same time. Heads on the center line. Finger boost right there in front of him, though. Got his hands no good. Right? Trying to find the rhythm on Caleb Plant. They both hit each other with a jab at the same time again. But Plant might have had his head off the center line. My bad. Jab from Fegan Boost this time right there in front of Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant shot a little thing, though. Snapped his head back with a stiff jab. This Caleb Plant. Fegan Boost said he ain't going nowhere, though. Pick up a jab for Caleb Plant. Then he walked off on Fegan Boost. Fegan Boost had missed his jab. Lead right here for Caleb Plant. Ripped a few body shots. Back up with two more shots and pushed it back. Stepped in with a lead up hook type punch. That's Caleb Plant. Step back in the range. Fegan Boost right there in front. Stiff jab from Caleb. Plant. God damn, look like a bobblehead when he hit him with that shit. Jazz to the body from Fegan Boots at the time. Came to play out there moving and grooving. Looking on the astral dream. Stepped in with a jab. Hook up a jab from Fegan Boots, but he missed it though. All right? Plan was moving to the right, back to the left, back to the right again. Jazz to the body from Fegan Boots. Right? Lead up. Hook on his ass from Fegan Boots. Plan just glanced up at me. Calling the fight. God damn, that motherfucker looking tired. Referee taking a close look. It's 10 seconds left to go in the round. All right? They back towards the center of the ring. Came to play with the lead right hand. Came back with the double left hook. All right? Then he pushed him back so he can get out of there. Jab to the corner of the wheel. Came from Fegan Boots once again. Eat up uppercut from Planet. Came back with three, two or three more shots on his ass to exclamate the round. All right? What you think about it, bro? I think that's once again another plant round, man. Vegan Boots is walking up, walking in on, on a lot of shots, taking a lot of punishment, different angles and everything else. He getting off work, but it just ain't enough to give him no round. Plant round. Hey, what you think? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you go smelling that. Had to go steal some Wi-Fi real quick. Yeah, I fucking think there's a plant round, bro. He doing everything he can. If plant win this fight, bro, I'm going to be very impressed by plant because I think he actually hurt, bro. Okay, okay. I ain't, I ain't just trying to look for nothing to get it, motherfucker, though, shit. This dude in here with a man with no amateur background or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Get your, get your gas tank on point, man. You break my record, now I break you. Said if he throws a, the hook lower, he going to drop plant. Dennis Zanarkis said something. Welcome to the gym. This is your first time. Pablo Smith said plant couldn't handle Saul Canelo Alvarez. He needs more experience, man. Canelo take him deep. That'll be his best shot, man. But I think Canelo have a little trouble with that shit early in the fight, though, man. This boy is fast as a motherfucker. He's very explosive. All right, here we go. All right, finger boots out there, pole with knee hand. Okay, the plant put the stiff arm on the motherfucker. Cut the right hand from plant. Get his ass up like a five punch combination. Left hook, cut. Loop the right hand. Left hook. Right hand. Left hook on his ass. Put all kinds of shots upside this boy head. Shot the jab out there. Figaro said he ain't going to work. Two, three, come left from Caleb Plant and knocked the motherfucker back on his heels. Stepped in with the left hook to the body. Left hook to the head. Left hook to the body. Jabbing the hard right hand. E right hand. Figaro boost fight back though. Right up because left hook on his ass from Figaro boost to back Caleb Plant ass up. Figaro boost out there bleeding out his mouth. Caleb Plant spit the guard with the jab. Jabbing the short right hand from Caleb Plant. He stepped back in the ring. Here comes Jeff from Figaro boost though. Bobbing and weaving a little bit. Got his hands up good. Here comes Jeff from Caleb Plant. Spit the guard with it. Here comes Figaro boost trying to cut them to him. Here comes Caleb Plant like a three punch combination to back them up. Still got his mouth open wide right. Right now, looking like he needs snaps on the petrol. Lead right hand for Caleb Plant, right upside the head. Back a step with the dab at the time. That's Caleb Plant in an orthodox stand. Here come Fegan Boots over there trying to bob weave a little bit, trying to catch him to him. Stepped in with the dab at the time, going his foot, going his toes a little bit. Caleb Plant shot a little thing up. Stopped his progress with the dab. Might have been the chair coach type punch, couldn't tell what it was. Jab with the right hand for Caleb Plant, right upside the head. Stepped in with a three punch combination, ended with a left hook to the body. Stepped in with the right hand to the body, cocked that left hook in, pulled the trigger. Back a step with the dab. Back a step with the dab again. This Caleb Plant got a defense relax right now. Fegan Boots trying to catch up to him though. Lead right hand for Caleb Plant came back from the left hand, went to the bottom of the right hand, back and stepped the left hand again. That's Caleb Plant. Figure Boots got his hands are good, tried to catch up with the plant. Went to the bottom with the jab, the tire, Caleb Plant stepped back in the range. All right? He would move to the right, back to the left, staying cool and calm. Lead left hook type pump from Figure Boots, but Caleb Plant was holding the phone, staying cool and calm, still moving and grooving and shit. All right? Here come Figure Boots trying to cut the ring out. Jab from Caleb Plant, got the defense relaxed right now. Figure Boots still trying to cut the ring out, still jab from Caleb Plant, jab the work hand from Caleb Plant, and backed his ass up right there in front of Figure Boots. Figure Boots got blood and shit streamed down his face. Here come Caleb Plant. 
with the shots of the body. Back to step with three more shots on Zaz. That's Caleb Plant. He's going to double jab for Figa Boost this time right there in front of Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant staying cool and calm. Jab the loop right hand from Figa Boost. Right up a cut to the body from Figa Boost. Then they got tangled up. Referee about to come break them. It's a minute and one second left to go in the ninth round. Here come a three six type comedy from Caleb Plant. Figa Boost got back on the jab. Came with the jab again right up a cut, but he missed it though. They should defense from Plant. Then he flashed a little smile at the motherfucker. Stuck his tongue out like he MJ in this bitch. He feeling good out there. Referee just came and broke him. It's 47 seconds left going around. He left hoots to the body from Plant and broke back that left uppercut. That's the lead three. Came back with the five. Same thing with the right hand. Took a counter punch from Figa Boost. Then Caleb Plant got back on the jab. Jab to the body from Figa Boost. Caleb Plant posted up in front of him. Double jab with the right hand from Figa Boost. Counter right hand from, from Caleb Plant. He tried to roll the right hand and come back with the right hand. He stepped there with a five punch combination, all with the left hand. I love fighters that got their educated lead hand. Left hook to the body from Figa Boost there on the inside. Figa Boost digging body shots. Hard body shots from Caleb Plant. It stopped him dead in the dead track. Figa Boost pushed him back, trying to come back with two shots, but he missed it though. Then Caleb Plant just slipped the jab and came back from Figa Boost. Left hook to the body from, from Caleb Plant and down there lifted the motherfucker off the ground. Figa Boost didn't like the feeling of that shit. Then Caleb Plant trying to work the free hand in the midst of the clinch. Referee just came and broke him. Caleb Plant stepped in with a jab this time and backed his ass up. Figa Boost right there in front of him though, looking like he the goddamn hunchback of Notre Dame or something in the bitch now. I right, just the end of that round, man. Appreciate the mess of frogs in the chat. And appreciate it if everybody hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. What you think about this shit, bro? Shit, Figa, Figa Boot stumbled on his way back to the round. Shit, man, Caleb Plant turned that motherfucker up, man. Damn near all the way through the round. Uh, good sign. You know what I'm saying? He, he is slowing down, but he's sitting down on his punches, slipping them, and he able to throw combination punches still in what is the ninth round. You know what I mean? Okay, what about you, L? I know I keep saying the same old shit, bro, but Caleb Plant is throwing a lot of left hands because he hurt on the right side of his body. I think he strained something when he missed the punch earlier, bro. Well, well no, I don't think it take all that. Man, when you when you a good school fighter, you know how to shoot a jab, turn it into a hook, then turn it into a left uppercut. That's a sign of a well-seasoned fighter. That don't necessarily mean that you hurt something. I see him throwing right hands. I see him throwing combinations. I don't see him wincing or nothing when he's throwing these shots. He still got the wherewithal to be laughing and smiling, sticking his tongue out. So he having fun in there. I think he's using the left hand because he got an educated left hand, not because he hurt his right hand. We getting ready for the 10th round, though, but we'll see after the fight. Maybe the motherfucker will say he hurt his right hand, but I think it's more because he got the educated left hand. All right, two, three, three came with the three again. It's Caleb Plant. Two, five, broke back the three on his ass again. It's Caleb Plant. Four, three combination this time from Caleb Plant. Stepped in with a stiff jab, a hard right hand from Caleb Plant. Broke back the hook. Stepped in with a jab, right hand to the body from Caleb Plant. That's the four for those that don't know. Then he ripped a few more body shots on his ass. That's Caleb Plant. Finger boots trying to fight back, though. Right hand to the body, right over a cup from Finger boots. Stepped in with a two, one combination Finger boots. Saw right over Cut from plant that hook to the body from plant. Here comes a jab from Figa Boo trying to bob weave a little bit. Left hook to the body, left hook to the head, left hook to the head again from Caleb Plant. Figa Boo trying to fight back though. Then they got tangled up. I might have fucked up the sequence of them left hooks though. My bad. Right. Here comes a right up a cut, left hook, left hook to the body, right left, up, right up a cut from Caleb Plant. Two punch combination from plant. Left hook to the body, left hook to the head, left up a cut to the head, left up a cut to the head from plant again. Figa Boo trying to fight back. Jab the short right hand from Figa Boo trying to come back with the left hook. Caleb Plant with survival left hook. Back on seven, the left hook again. They stand in chest chest right now. Caleb Plant got to the side. Brought back to three. Straight right hand on his head. Here comes a jab from Figa Boost. Caleb Plant just slipped it though. Then they got tangled up once again. All right. Referee take the close look about to come break him. Left hook to the body from Caleb Plant this time. All right. Figa Boost just fought at that shit. Stepped in with a jab on his head. Stepped in with a jab. Short right hand. But he just touching him with them shots. Knee left hook on his head from Figa Boost. Caleb Plant with the gun on left hook. And came back with three, four, five more shots. Touch with that stiff old sharp right hand, trying to beat the brakes off Figa Boost. Knee right hand from Caleb Plant. Figa Boost had to get up out of there, but not before he took a left hook to the head from Caleb Plant. Jab to the body from Figa Boost this time. Caleb Plant staying cool and calm. Just trying to look faint at him. Over there looking for an opening. This is Caleb Plant. Stepped in with a jab this time. That's Caleb Plant. Stepped in with a jab right hand. Came back with the left uppercut. That's like Caleb Plant. Slipped that jab and came back from Figa Boost. Figa Boost trying to go to the body with something. Short left uppercut from Caleb Plant. They head to head, chest to chest. Two punch combination from Figa Boost. Hard left hooking the hard left uppercut from Caleb Plant this time. Figa Boost trying to Fight back with like a five two type combination. Caleb okay, Plant pushing him back with the shoulder, staying cool and calm. He talking to his girl and talk, talking to his wife while she in the ring is in, in the crowd and shit. Three punch combination from Caleb Plant. Here come a double jab from Figa Boost this time. Caleb Plant right there in front of him, slipped that jab. Here come Figa Boost trying to go to the body with two shots from Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant came back with four hard shots and backed them up. They need to throw the goddamn tail in. That motherfucker took short left up a couple Caleb Plant trying to go to the body with something. Figa Boost showing toughness, short right handed time. He said he ain't got no punk in him. Right over cut to the body from Caleb. Plant this time they chest to chest. Can the plant with the shoe sign combination? Can you have a hard right hand? Left hook right hand, right left hook right hand, the rock started off. Who's the boss? Goddamn me.
Hey, that was a, a hell of a master class ass whipping that he put on this boy. They should have threw the goddamn towel in. Whoever is training figure boots need their ass whooped because the athletic contest had been decided a long time ago. There was no reason for him to take all that ass whooping like that. Now, look at Caleb Plant looking in the goddamn camera Man. like he done went out there and knocked out David Benavidez or somebody. <laughs> Let's see him in a good fight in this next fight, bro. What you think about that shit? Yeah, man, I think, you know, he showed out, man. He showed that he was on a whole, way, whole another level than the person that was in front of him, a whole another class. He did what he supposed to do, and he also got him up out of there. Uh, shit, good, good outing. I mean, you need to work on that gas tank, man, but good outing. Yeah, that was the definition of a showcase fight. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that mess of frogs in the chat. Uh, Goddamn, all right. Tom Bankers, it's over. Yeah, King Louis, yeah, for sure, it's over. Cyber Supreme TV said late round stop. Somebody said eight, nine rounds. I don't even remember who said that shit. Y'all had made some good picks though. The Kane Deal said talking about Boogie Man, like he out here with a disco ball. Yeah. Uh 2015. So what channel on Comcast? Man, I have no idea, man. Welcome to the gym. Now I see Kenzie said Planet is not beating Benavidez. I don't know, bro, because you know, I ain't got to get into the backgrounds and shit again, but I just think that this guy got, got, got better skills than being a beat ass. It ain't going to be no walk in the park, though. I think it'll be a good fight. It'll be a great fight. Mark Wunderlich said, playing this bad ass. Yeah, you're a bad motherfucker. D. Walker, what's up, bro? Said, it's over. Gil Cole said, it's a wrap. Yeah, j Dog said, this is the type of fight that gets a fighter killed. Good job, real. Yeah, real shit. Man, they should have been to stop that fight, bro. The corner should have stopped it. They, they know this man ain't got no amateur background. You know what I'm saying? Snacks B said, who's that Ric Flair? Yeah. Now I see Ken said, dude can fight though. Yeah. Jupiter B said, hell yeah, sweet hand got some. Joseph Brown said, close the show on his ass. Cyber Supreme TV said, sorry, but being a video is going to beat the shit out this boy. All right, we going to see, man. You know where I'll be, man. I'll be right here. I wouldn't be, no, I, I wouldn't rather be nowhere else in the world than right here. Fly is God in, on DB. Said uh, Benavidez is the only one I think gives Caleb Plant a real fight at 168. Okay. Uh, Picasso, what's up, bro? Said Trash, you going to cash these frogs in at the strip club? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have actually never been to a strip club in my life, bro. Tyler Timmy said, man, this uh, German cat got his boot smoke for real, man. But we all knew that was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? The Kane deal said, whole coming curse successfully evaded. Absolutely. Mark Blake said, I wish Plant had more power, man. He ain't just got a lot of power, but if he keep on hitting you with them, with them uh, six, seven uh, out of ten type punches, them hoes catch up to you. He ain't got no tens. He ain't got no nines. I mean, you put enough of them sixes upside your head, that shit, you know what I'm saying? So uh, the Kane Deal said, homecoming. Yeah, I read that. I'm tripping. Kenny Lewis said, beat the plasma out of him. You heard me? Yeah. <laughs> Sir Ken said, stop the president. He did his best. Sweet hands by stopping. Yeah. Lou Lupe said, Cater Plant went 10 rounds with a tomato can. Yeah, he did, man. Welcome to the gym. This is your first time. Chris Brown said, hell, Beyonce don't have shit on La La D. Absolutely not. Tom Banks said, Cater Plant is by far the slickest white boy I've ever seen. Well, we can't say that we ever seen. You got to think about motherfucker like Willie Pep. And y'all know I'm all, I'll be talking about Barney Ross. That's one of my favorite fighters of all time. You can't forget about Benny Leonard. You know what I'm saying? There's been some motherfucking white boys that can fight. Square business, but he don't he don't the, the modern day motherfucker that can fight. Now I seen the dream said if he don't belong get in there, get him out of there. Good job playing, absolutely. My man Smooth Teddy B said plan need to work on that gas tank. I agree with you 100 percent man. They need to do something at that snack program. You know what I'm saying? And they forgot what Darrell was doing to Benavidez, huh? Early before the cut, Darrell was doing just putting hands on him like a real boxer. Jab, 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 jab to the body, right hand, spinning on him, turning on him. He was walking up. Benavidez walk up to playing like that, man. It's going to be. You seen what happened to Uzgatagi. Uzgatagi was the boogeyman. Nobody wanted that work. See what Plant did to him with the gas tank. Yeah, I mean, Plant was able to drop him with a left hook early in that fight, too. And Uzgatagi is known for having a pretty decent chin. Mm -hmm. So, you know, okay, the Plant ain't just got nine to ten punch power, but he got a good six or seven, man. Uh, Chris Randy El Chapo said, I thought part of this performance was trying to carry the fight in front of his home crowd and not want to end it early. I don't be agreeing with people that say that shit, man. If you're a fighter, you don't want to be in there no longer than you have to. This man stepping in with four five punch combinations on the motherfucker. I think he was trying to put some hurt on his ass. Juba the Beast said, Plant versus Benavidez would be a hard fight, but I lean Plant because Benavidez didn't look that great against the rail. I had Thanks the rail up to play. A lot of people did, man. 
You know, Anthony Durrell, he was like 192 and 20, I believe. I think he, yeah, I think he was 192 and 20, or he was 193 and 22. It was something like that. So he had a major amateur background advantage over this Benavidez boy, because Benavidez only had 15 amateur fights. So I think that should have helped Caleb Plant too, just having that more, uh, you know, that that more muscle memory and shit. Uh, damn, I just read all this shit. Okay, uh. Uh, Mark Blake, yeah, nice crowd. Set shot said should have thrown in the towel, no longer than one twenty nine in the eighth round. God damn it, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you had picked the you had picked the under too, huh, man? So they fucked you out your money. Tony Boswell said salute Marlowe's corner trace in the chat. Thanks for the conversation, much respect, man. Appreciate you coming through and appreciate you supporting us. Lou Lopez, oh, you said something, bro? No, I was saying salute, most definitely. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Lou Lopez said Benavidez was smoke, Caleb. God damn. Thanks we'll for the see, subscription, man. young buck. We'll be right calling that shit if they do. I eat my crow or I serve that crow. Juba the V said Caleb has the best defense on 160. I think he do too, but I would like to see a little bit more transition from defense to offense. Sometimes he just cool with making you miss. I like to see when a guy make you miss and make you pay. And I really don't like the, uh, you know, keeping his hands low and shit because some of these guys, you know, they kind of fast. You can't really fight like that. But I expect if he fight better people, he'll fight a more uh, tighten up style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's another thing I, you know, that I was gonna say too about him. He needs to get them hands up too, even if the fatigue is kicking in, because that shit gonna help him from getting caught. Because what's the name? It, was, it wasn't like he was catching him a lot, but he was catching him here and there. I think he busted his nose open. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Robert Smiley said his ass is taking a dirt night with Ben Avidez. Get to it. We gonna see, man. <laughs> right as the chance said, Peekaboo is tougher than a motherfucker. Yeah. Derek Bailey said, "What? Never been to a strip club? Yeah, man. I ain't never been to no strip club. That shit felt like a tease to me, man. My idea of a good time is having me a chick one on one, and we in, we locked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somewhere by ourselves. Shit. Yeah, I can't. I, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know nothing about no strip club though, bro. Chris Brown said, Plant beats Benavidez easily, in my opinion, goddamn. Yeah, I, I don't think it'll just be easy, but I think he'll beat him, though. Juba the B said, Caleb isn't a power puncher. He got some pop to keep you off. Yeah, he got. I think he got enough pop, man. Like I said, a good six, seven out of ten. The Candil said, Benavidez just a big dude with hand speed. Skills ain't nothing to write home about. Yeah, he only had 15 amateur fights. You know what I'm saying? Like bro said last time, he ain't turned amateur because his pops taught him a professional style and he didn't want to develop bad habits in the amateurs. And plus, he was 250 pounds when he was 13. So boxing to him was a fat camp, basically. You know what I'm saying? We on, we on Ben I ain't told you uh, <clears throat> Benavidez is weak. He walked you down in the high guard. That's a bad sign versus a boxer, man. Them points all day. Jab, 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 hit around the high guard, step back on him, jab, jab, jab. You seen what Darrell was doing. And then it's, it ain't going to be hard to break Benavidez down and slow him down because he's he in the high guard. Just work the body for round one on. Make him bring them hands down. So Benavidez got a lot of weaknesses in his in his tool bag, man, that could be exposed with the style that Plant got. Yeah, standing up straight and shit. Like Caleb Plant, he be dropping his hand. But you see how he been at the waist and shit, how he getting a crouch and shit. How you make yourself a smaller target, you know what I'm saying? That's what you see from, from better fighters. Kenny Wise said good stoppers, yeah. I think he could have been earlier, though. Nitty G said Plant beats Benavidez. I think so, too. Matthew Lewis, what's up with you? said Plant versus Charlo. Uh, Jamal Charlo, that, that'll be a hell of a fight at 168. I have to see how Charlo power carry up to 168 first, but that'll be a hell of a fight, though. Right now, I probably have to lean towards Plant. Cause you know he just seemed like the naturally bigger man and shit, and plus he got a lot of uh, you know speed and shit like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if Charlo could beat the motherfucker though. Gil Cole said, as a member of the black delegation, I would like to trade Plant for AJ in the next racial draft. My only <laughs> problem with that, <laughs> my only problem with that is Plant last name. That shit remind me of Planter, and that sounds like one of them goddamn me uh uh plantation owner type motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's my only problem with the motherfuckers, his last name. The planter's uh, peanut owner? Huh? I said the planter's peanut owner? No, a, plant, like a planter, like a, a plantation <laughs> owner out there planting that cotton, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that, who is this up in it, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> the King Deal said Demetri P. Roll, the illest white dude I've ever seen. I think he's talking about like American uh, white dudes. I don't think he's talking about the Europeans. Uh, Kenny Wise said, want to see him fight being a V that shit. We all want to see that. Flyers guy said he got power. We got enough power. Hey, J-Dog, I walked away to come back here, uh, you know what I'm saying, get my gas my pump right, 
Don't tell me they ain't, they ain't real that you said he just called out Benavidez, man. Let's go if he did. That's what I'm talking about, PBC. Yeah. Chris Brown said, appreciate the call another fight, the corner, doing the damn thing, man. We uh, we dedicated and motivated, bro. You know what I'm saying? Joseph Brown said, facts Marlo. He said some real shit. Snatch B said, German dude said, you must break me. Yeah, he got his ass broke too, huh, man. And Tom Banger said, Tracks, I'm into this area. All right, I got you. Juba the Beast had agreed. The Rebel landed some great shots on being the beat ass. He must almost, he has almost no defense. Yeah, he was just walking into that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But he broke him down. Smooth Teddy B said, Nicolini, uh, Nicolino Loche, I think was his name, was cold with it, man. That's a, a cold white boy. Yeah, he had the shoulder roll, man. He had that Philadelphia shell. He one of the greatest defensive fighters in the history. And he was he was really just a rock gut motherfucker, man. I saw some videos with him sparring, and in between rounds, he was smoking a cigarette. So he old school like your pop's father. You know what I'm talking about? C-Long Mooney said Uskatagi was a damn good against the Rev. Plant was damn good against Uskatagi. Uskatagi was pretty lame last time. Man. Yeah, absolutely, man. Welcome to the gym. This is your first time. But Casa said, what would David Benavidez do? Shit, I think he'll follow him around and walk him to some shots. I think he'll have a little chance in the second half of the fight when Plant starts to slow down. But early on, he's going to get his ass lit up like a Christmas tree. j Dog said, Plant needs to fire a snack and, and hire me. That gas tank needs work, huh? j Dog said, he like the new Blu-ray in this motherfucker. Cyber Supreme TV said, Plant playing with y'all emotion. Yeah, Willie Wallace said, being the V-Dash would kill Plant. All right, man. Welcome to the gym. c Long Mooney said, Plant, Plant, we ain't seen his best yet. Yeah, we ain't. Yeah, we got. We got to start seeing them in there with some opponents, some good opponents. Then we'll see it best. Chris Brown said, "Facts, men in there too long will get your ass knocked out." Yeah, Smooth said, "The B said can't fade against Benavidez. You might go to sleep. That's what I'm saying. Like it'll it'll be good for playing early, but as the fight go along and he start to slow down, man, Benavidez could catch up to him. Hey, we gonna, have, Ken, we gonna have a lot of fun that night, man. If this fight happened. That's gonna be a night, nice, man. We are gonna have to. We gonna have a lot of fun that night. It's probably, probably give our money right. We are gonna have a few bets going up, <laughs> six pack, twelve pack bet, cakes bets and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give me some of that action too. Now, Siri Kinsey said, "Being a V, that's too big and too strong. I mean, too big and fast for the motherfucker." Now, I seen the drink say, "Hell no, nah, you not getting paid for overtime. Get his ass up out of there." Yeah, real shit. Like they said, they asked Sugar Ray Robinson. They said, is it gonna go, is it gonna go 15? It ain't gonna go over that. Shit, you know what I'm talking about? Get his ass up out of there. Uh J Dow said XFL gonna survive this time. Yeah, I was watching a little bit of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? They kind of held my attention. Cyber Supreme TV said Kelly Pavlik 2.0. Nah, hell nah. Kelly Pavlik stand up straight and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't I don't see that at all, bro. Jesse Marsh appreciate that message for all. Willie Wallace said Benavidez is naturally the bigger man. The power is real. And no hands. So they ain't just about size, though, bro. Skills pay the bills. Joseph Brown said Plant would make David uh, Day. No moss in the ring. Yeah, make him say no moss in the ring. I got you. Mark Wonderly said Peace Out Family. Hashtag LDBC. Appreciate you coming through, bro. Tom Baker said Plant would have to watch out for Ben Avidez's counter left hook. But I think Plant would break his nose with the jab. Goddamn, okay. Peace Tim out. Lewis said Good Show Family. Peace, man. Appreciate you coming through. Peace, man. Peace. Chris Brown said, let's put a C note on Plant versus Ben Davidez. I got Plant, goddamn me. I'm riding with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Needy G said, Plant will step up his game to another level when he fights Ben Davidez. Yeah, I want to see it, man. I want to see this this, this transition. j Dog said, facts. I just said something. Super the B said, I know one thing. Caleb looked better than Billy Joe Saunders and Callum Smith in their last fight. Yeah, I don't remember how to uh, – I remember uh, Billy Joe Saunders had a guy that fought back. I don't really remember the dynamics of the fight, though. But I know Callum Smith fought against a southpaw in his last fight, like a little short southpaw. And he gave uh, Callum Smith trouble the way Tyson Fury had trouble against Otto Wallen in his last fight, who was also a short southpaw. So I think it might have been like a lot that had to do with that style that gave Callum Smith a little problem in that fight. But, uh, but you're right, though. He didn't look great. And neither did Billy Joe Saunders. Willie Wallace said David is just too much. Plant is a tremendous fighter, no doubt. David will be on top for a long time. I, I ain't seen him, bro. I, I, I like skills. I like when a fighter go out there and do something slick, do something smooth on your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that I ain't never seen before, some shit that I be thinking, like, how did that motherfucker do that? How did he get the leverage on that shot? That's the kind of shit I, I like. I don't see that in David Benavidez, bro. I ain't got nothing against him. I just don't see it. Matthew hey, Lewis said that pop ain't nothing. To that pal, yeah. 
<laughs> hey Trey, I yeah. think I think what we might see in that David Benavidez versus Plan fight is J Rock versus um uh Harris that boy that boy heard, bro. Okay. I think that you'll see uh David Benavidez walking towards Plant and then Plant will be able to catch him with a couple of good ass shots. I don't think that's a good fight for David Benavidez if he just gonna walk towards Plant all night. Yeah, he gonna he gonna have to be real good at cutting that ring off. He can't follow the motherfucker around, that's for sure. Jay Dawson said, I don't do the strip clubs, waste of money. I can get a chick to strip and smash comfortably at the crib. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's not my idea of a good time throwing money at bitches, man. You know what I'm saying? My idea of a good time is to is to give me a chick one on one by herself. It's well known that your boy Trey X done tricked a little something in my life. You know what I'm saying? I tricked one time when I was in college and shit. You know what I'm saying? But the damn show wanted to watch the bitch dance. I got my money worked out that bitch, nigga. When we got done, that bitch looked like she had been running a marathon. That bitch had to run a hundred to two hundred. The four by four relay. That bitch did everything for my little uh 150. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> for that 150. Say- you saying you had to, you had to do a long job for the shot puts too, huh? Boy, that bitch was working out there for that one fifty. Yeah, that hundred and a half a cow and a calf. You know what I'm talking about? Snacks B said he calling hey. out Davy. And hey, had to bargain for it too, <laughs> huh? Say and had to bargain for it too. Yeah, you go get your yeah, 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 nigga. We negotiated for that nigga. We went to the purse bid. Chris Rainer said, "Uh, the grand uh, dad, daddy, and Caleb all look alike." Okay, J Dog said he calling out Davy. Right, that's what's up. Did he say anything about hurting his right arm? Like this ghost smelling motherfucker El Fenichi was talking about. Willie Wallace said Ben DeVito. I don't He's think like, he, I don't think he hurt his right arm though. I think he hurt his uh right abdominal, bro. I think he strayed that bitch. Did he say anything about it? I ain't hear him say nothing about it. I ain't listen, but I'm 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 curious. I'm gonna go back and see what he said. Okay, you goat lad and talking motherfucker. Willie Wallace said Benavidez doesn't show his whole arsenal every fight. And if you really watch his fight closely, when he's done playing with you, he lets you know. Okay, Will, all right, man. Shit, show me something, though. I hate assuming and all that shit, man, because a lot of people be saying that. Well, he don't do this because he because he didn't have to. They said that about Pro Gray when he was getting ready to fight Taylor. He got a right hook, but he don't use it. And I man, fuck all that. Show me something. I hate assuming and shit, man. Show me what you got, goddamn me. That's why I took Josh Taylor over Pro Gray, and I'm taking fucking Caleb playing over Ben and V there. Show me something. Eric Law laughing, talking about I'll take finger boost for dealing with what? Tom Baker said he just called out your boy Ben and V there. Yeah, J to the K. What's up with you? Juba the B said, Plant just called out Ben and V there. Picasso said, I can't wait until that train wreck with David and Plant. Yeah, I, I agree. Underground Asylum said, that If it wasn't for that cut, the rail would have gotten Ben and V there. He might have, man. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought Darrell was at the end of the road, man. When I saw him against the cat that Benavidez is about to get ready to fight next, and while y'all bullshit, Benavidez might be on upset alert in his next fight. But when I saw Darrell fight that same guy, I didn't see that good knee flexion and shit. It looked like he lost a lot of his athleticism. So that's why I picked Benavidez to beat Darrell. You know what I'm saying? But I think Darrell was at the end of the road. Hey, Horatio uh, Drago, appreciate you, fam. Most definitely, man. We do this all the time. It was a yeah. 10 round, uh, Willie. No, that wasn't Willie. That was um, John the God. Salute. Welcome. Hey, all the new subscribers, appreciate y'all, man. And welcome to the gym. Gia, Gia, definitely appreciate that shit. What, he just dropped something in the cash app or something? Nah, he said, uh, no, he said on his comment. You'll read it right now. Okay, I done lost my spot. I see J to the K, Jupiter B. Said, uh, Benavidez is there. He should have got in the ring. I done lost my spot, man. Where he the said- fuck was I at? He's, while you find, I'll tell you, he said, uh, most interesting comment- commentary I, I ever heard called in a fight. He said, first time here, but de- uh, definitely a sub. Salute, fellas. Okay, I see not seeing the dream. He said, it's, yeah, it's about who you fight and get them hands up. I see guys hurt a lot of time. The muscle memory make them drop their hands while they're hurt. Yeah, Nitty G said, plan just called up in the V there, Jupiter B. Yes, he just called him out. Let's go. Jay, what's up with it? I don't think Lennox feeling Chris Mannix at all. Yeah. Welcome to the gym. This is the first time. Nitty G said plant versus Ben Davidez next. J Dog plants want all the smoke. J to the K. I don't even know what the fuck that shit mean. Uh Jupiter B said Ben Davidez there. He should have got his ass in the ring. Yeah, like Devin Haney did last night. Joseph Brown said plant called out, David. I got you. My wonder leg said this fight was good, though. Yeah, it was good, man. I was I was entertaining. Gil Cole said another great show. Salute to the corner and the chat, man. Definitely appreciate you coming through. 
We ain't gonna be too far behind you, man. My back is over here like nigga. You already know. <laughs> the Kane Deal said Plant uh said he tired of waiting on uh bum v bum of V <laughs> Cyber Supreme TV said plant call for this ass whooping. I mean plant call for his ass to be whooped, goddamn. So he asked for this ass whooping. C Lon Mooney, I think that's what you read. It's a good conversation. Thank you, brother. Would love to see Ben Davidez pressure versus Plants Boxing. That's a damn good matchup and could go either way. Absolutely. I agree. Mikasa said when Eubanks fighting again, he uh he fight like he in the club, goddamn. I, I don't know about uh when Eubanks fight again. I thought they were talking about trying to make a fight between him and Jamal Charlo. And I seen the dream said a good boxer would beat Ben Davidez with footwork, a good jab, body work, and tie his ass up. Yeah, but I agree. Chris Brown said, Pete's to the corner, goddamn me. Appreciate you coming through, bro. Peace, Tom man. Banks said, Pete Rogue was not slicker than Plant, but he did not have, but he did have more pop. Yeah, Pete, Pete Rogue was a pretty bad motherfucker, man. Chris Brown said, Pete's to the check. Gio Willie Wallace said, David has been wanting Plant's head, goddamn. Willie Wallace said, Caleb feeling some type of way after fighting that punching bag. j Dow said, if Charlo get that WBA regular from Eubanks, he can force a mandatory with Canelo. Force a mandatory with Canelo. Ain't nobody forcing shit on Canelo. You got Canelo fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that, motherfucker, that motherfucker Canelo would drop the belt, yeah, go yeah. up seasons, go down five divisions, and meet you at 154 and a half. <laughs> Real shit. But Casa said, appreciate it. See Long Moon said, man, Billy Joe Sonda looked like crap last time, man. He does that. Some fighters fight down to their competition, though. I see that from Andre sometimes, too. He'll fight down to his competition. Cyber Supreme TV said, I don't know why y'all doing this to yourself, man. What are you talking about? You talking about us riding with Plant over Ben Davidez? J Dow said, don't, have, don't the WBA super have to fight the regular champion if they not unified? Bro, you know, you can't ask me about them belts and shit, man. I do not know, bro. I don't be giving a damn about the belts to be 100. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see the best people fight each other. Uh, jo uh, Joseph Brown says, Silly Wallace, David is bigger, punching bad for Plant. David feet stuck in cement. Yeah, that motherfucker. Uh, uh, Plant gonna be able to turn him shit. Them black, so, said, be the them black straps don't got mandatory. Am I mistaken? Okay, see, Lon Moon said, being a Vidas don't have no magician in him, but he's a uh, good pressure, but he has good pressure, speed, and power. Okay, that's why he ain't got some special effects, but he do got some shit that's working to his advantage. You know what I'm saying? He's a big motherfucker for the weight class and shit. So, you, yeah, I agree with you. Horatio Drago said, most interesting commentary I've ever heard. First time I'm here, but definitely subscribe. Salute, fellas, man. Appreciate that shit. I think that's the one that you read, actually. Uh, Ceylon Moon said, curious to see if Plank can handle the pressure being a V-Dash brings. Yeah, that's why I said, like, in the first fight against uh, Uzkatagi, uh, Uzkatagi was able to bring pressure in the second half of the fight to give Caleb Plank some trouble. And I also saw the same thing to a lesser degree in this fight. You know what I'm saying? When that figure boost uh, in the second half of the fight, he was able to catch up the plan a little bit, put the jab on him, go to the body with the left hook and shit like that. I saw Caleb playing with his mouth open, looking up at the clock and shit. Hell, it even seemed like he looked up at me one time when I was calling the fight. Emmanuel Momo, what's up with his laughing time? I heard that, Trax. I don't even know what I just said, bro. Willie Wallace said, David hasn't had a reason to dance yet. Bet, okay. I don't think he can with his big foot ass. Hell, I'm five foot nine. I wear a size 13. That motherfucker like his feet heavier than mine. You know what I'm saying? Snacks B said, I'm not a strip club, a strip joint dude either. It was never my thing. It ain't my thing, man. Sir Ken said, you guys better remember playing nickname. Came out of the Mayweather gym, and they would better get ready. Gia. John the God 21 was so with it. So what round did the motherfucker get stopped in? I think it was the 10th round, bro. If I ain't mistaken. Willie Wallace said, I guarantee Plant won't be blowing no kisses, goddamn. All right, we're going to see, man. Then he say, uh, love y'all's commentary, though. Had my TV on me listening to y'all, man. Definitely appreciate you coming through, fucking with us, man. And man. feel free to talk your shit, man. It's all good, man. We ain't sensitive at all on this channel. We're going to talk it, but we can we can take it like we give it. You know what I'm saying? So talk your shit, man. Right, that's the challenge. And Plant versus David Benavidez should be the next fight made, man. That'll be good. Sesha yeah. said, Plant didn't mention any injuries, but I thought something might have been up with this right hip or something, or um, right hip or hamstring. Okay, talking to El Phoenix. Don't prove that motherfucker right, man. Man, you know I mean? see, that's what, I, got, that's, what, that's what I'm talking about, Sesha. I'm glad I'm not the only one who fucking paid attention to this shit. Trey S be trying to make me fucking <laughs> act like I'm fucking crazy or some shit out there. I ain't got no straight jacket on yet, motherfucker. Yeah, hey. but you a sub-novice ass motherfucker, though. <laughs> Hey, uh, C. C. Lion Mooney. Hey, me too. They all should have mandatories, man. They all should. 
Gio, Gio Mello, what's up with it? Say who won, man? That'll be Caleb Plant. He stopped him in 10 rounds. See, Lon Mooney said, you banks, I think, staying at 160, but he don't have much for Plant if he goes back to 168. Yeah, I'm not a real big believer in you banks. You banks is 24 and 2 as an amateur and shit. Like El Finici be saying, really, he just relevant because of his last name. It ain't like you just watching, you watching you banks and you be like, ooh, that shit was pretty. Ooh, that was a nice counter right hand or, or a lead left hook. That shit was nice. Like, you don't never say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, a, he a decent, cool little old fighter. Hey, he ain't nothing special. Troll, the troll, the real Al Heyman. The fuck out my gym. Gia, you heard him. C. Lon Mooney said WBA regular doesn't get, a, get you a mandatory with the real title holder, so it don't, okay? And he say, uh, WBA champ does not have to fight a regular belt holder. They rarely ever do. Okay, so that's that's not my thing, man. So if y'all got some information about the belts and sanctioning bodies and, and promotional companies and all that shit, man, drop that shit. That's not my thing. I focus on what's going on in the ring. J to the K said it was a good fight, but I'm thinking. Uh, he can, uh, hold on. He can something it better when you see the old fights from him. He was very aggressive. He had a bad day. That's all. Plant is a nice fighter, but not an in fighter. It's very gay. I don't even know what the fuck you talking about, bro. <laughs> we 100. We got to try that again, goddamn me. But you ain't got much time because we probably about to shut this shit down. Yeah. Picasso said, tip the ring girls with that frog. I ain't even seen no ring girls tonight, man. I ain't seen no ring girls. Ceylon Mooney, Marlo's Corner, my pleasure, my brother. You're most welcome. Wish it was that way, though. Yeah. Right as the 10. Yeah, get the fuck out the jail. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're about to go ahead and shut it down. You ready, bro? Yeah. That was Get our ass on up out of here, man. You want to go first, El Phoenicia? Go smell the motherfucker. Yeah, bad. Hey, man, y'all make sure to bring y'all ass back here for uh, next week fight, uh, Titan Fury versus uh, Deontay Wilder, man. Y'all know what we do. Y'all know how we rock. Y'all know how we motherfucking roll. It's your boy, El Finici, and that Crows Chronicle coming back, and I got Fury versus Wilder. Ooh, that motherfucker just sealed the deal for uh, Wilder to get this victory. He said he's taking Tyson Fury. That's called the kiss of death. When El Finici pick against a motherfucker, that's the kiss of death. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when he picks somebody, that's the kiss of death. But y'all come through and fuck with us next week, man. We're going to be on some trivia either Tuesday or Thursday. I promise you, you got my word. We're going to have another little hot little 40 questions or something for you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to nick you. We ain't going to cut you. Just a little 40 questions. And then we're going to come back and call the fight on Saturday, man. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be electric. It's going to be a, a hell of a night, man. So y'all come through and fuck with us. Got love for everybody, man. Appreciate all the people that be supporting us. All our day one people, you know what I'm saying? New subscribers, everybody in between. If you hit the like button, if you donate in the cash app, PayPal, Super Chat, all that shit, man. Got love for you, motherfucker. That's 100. But I ain't going to talk you to death. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Yeah, most definitely appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know it's always fun hanging out with y'all doing this all the time. We're going to continue to do it, man. Continue to have fun. Hold on, hold on. El Chapo talking about give him 10 minutes before we shut it down. What the fuck? He said he's not ready. All right, man. I can do it, though. Oh, you can do it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, but like I said, though, man, it's always fun, man. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. Until the next time, don't forget to tell them haters and trolls. the fuck out my gym. You heard him. Gia. Bad. Get your ass off the shit up.